went straight I'm, in. I'm live already. You can't just go live as well. I just did. Wow, that's rape. Da, 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 Demand da, da, compensation. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> it is rape. Rape. Right, I'm playing. I'm gonna play Lego Star Wars the original, not the original, the video game. I think is what it's called. Oh, okay. Oh, I like video games. It's the one with the prequels. Everyone loves that one. Stairwares. Ah, und Stevis. And there's an option to turn off music so it won't get copyright. Isn't that nice? Oh, that's cool. Hmm. I can hope that's an option in a game. Well, um, I'm actually surprised it was, to be honest with you, because this game is so old. You know, music old games volume. just don't have options. Hmm. They're just like, um, I don't know. I was, uh, I, I managed to get Resident Evil on GameCube, and, um, I can't remember, I don't know if you remember, Rags, but the way that you shoot is you hold a trigger to aim and you press A to shoot. That's, um, it okay. feels weird. And you can't yeah. change it. Well, I guess you can't change it in-game. You might be able to change it out of game, I'm not sure. <clears throat> oh. But yeah, it's not, it's not nice, you know? It's <clears throat> not nice. It's not nice. They're in a super chat catch-up will be ignored. Metal can mute whenever he wants to address you guys directly. You disgusting creatures. Yeah. We're always well, happy to have you. If he chooses not to, course, that simply promise. tells you what he thinks of you. you. You start a stream above mine and then you give rules to me. That's that's not okay. I said can. Gonna, that's not a rule. I'm gonna I'm gonna call the internet popo. You can't call the so, No. So they call them call you flambunius. I am refus. I do I don't recognize the power of the sovereign state of Metal Commander here. Wow. In fact, the fact that you just referred to Metal Commander as a country, I'm gonna need you to apologize to China now. <laughs> I'm not John Cena, okay? <laughs> not a cock loser. <laughs> I do wonder if it's more than that. Like, if the, if somehow a lawyer got into his contract and was like, yeah, actually, you have to correct this or you can be, like, sued. Or uh, some I, shit. I probably think they just, uh, the, the producers or whoever is in charge, I don't know. It's like, yeah, you might want to apologize because they make us a lot of money and we don't want them to boycott the movie. Yeah. Lame. You gotta wonder how far it would go before even people like John Cena would be like, alright, alright, that's a bit much. We're not gonna <laughs> do that. Bit, that's a bit much. <clears throat> Metal, I may be crying all the time, but I'm not John Cena. Yeah, I'm not a millionaire who's was very successful. A millionaire. Yeah. Millionaire. <laughs> Metal called the crows on him. No, Do it. all crows are bastards. Yeah, all crows are bastards. We all know that. A crab. A crab. <laughs> all crabs are bastards. The Chad Mootle is greater than John Cena. That's true. Yeah, it like, seems like the whole internet is disappointed in him for that one. Um, surely it'll come up in, like, whatever... Whenever he takes, like, a public question, you know? So, yeah, why are you cucking for China, John? Like, yeah, what, what's happening? Shit. What you, you know, know they have, like, shit? labor camps, right? Yeah, it's uh, pretty fucked up. Yes, but money. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> oh no, I played a jukebox and it has, like, the original songs in it. No, shut up! <laughs> I gotta d jump into the next mission. Go, 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 go! Alright, story. Cantina song. We can't be having that knocking the stream down. That'd be terrible. Yum, 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 Episode yum, one, yum, the yum, Phantom yum. Menace. Chapter one, negotiations. Turmoil has engulfed the Galactic mm. Republic with a blockade of deadly battleships. Oh, blockade. A blockade, yes. Yes, yes of course, a blockade. Mm. Yes, today we shall be reading... Super chats from episode one to seven. So, uh, ooh, we're getting there. Yeah, we, we, hopefully we'll get through them. Who knows? I, no promises of any sort. You know what? Lego have their own animations for everything. So there's no copyright in letting these cutscenes play. <laughs> Look, it's all Lego visions, everybody. It's nice and promises, cute. Promises. Nothing horrible will happen. A lucky penny? Hell yeah. <clears throat> Look, Rags, Obi Wan, and Qui Gon. Obi Wan. And Kanobi. And Silver, Ubi Silver C3PO. Scooby -dooby -dooby oh no, they've already blown up the thing. No. What is C3PO's weapon of choice? 
a is, I, I, I imagine it's the blade. That was actually pretty funny. The, uh, the game I meant, not you, Rags. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> well. Okay. Oh, precious, precious money. Doesn't everyone remember playing this game? Doesn't everyone? I, I don't. Oh, what? I Stop do. playing the fucking song! You kidding me? <laughs> like, it's just a meme at every ep level. <laughs> Stop. Dun, 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 dun. 127 was the twin perfect one. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, new Edgar Wright movie looking good. I think so too. I'm going to want to check it out. I hope it's oh, um, uh, all of the films. Have, is, there, is there a trailer? Yes, but. Uh, oh, I haven't seen it. That's the only, the only thing is like, it's. Uh, <clears throat> it was funny. I was um, I mentioned it to YMS and he was like, oh yeah, I don't want to watch the trailer in case it spoils a single detail. And I was like, that's probably fair because Edgar Wright's actually good at his job. So you, you're going to want to. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he's called Edgar Wright for a reason. Yeah, he's not Edgar Wrong. He's a da, Nazi. Da. Yeah, he's always correct. Die, droids. So, you I, one of the things Jay has done on like little little, little like polls, polling in on on the YouTubes or Twitters Damn. is the potential for making a video that's about how Lego Star Wars games are not very good actually. Oh my god. Yeah, can you believe it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, great for children, though, I think is what he's going to clarify. So that's good. Oh, God. It's for space wizards and space children. How do I block? Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm deflecting like a proper Jedi. Oh, I died. Jedi? Yeah. Prepare Jedi. Prepare Jedi. Oh, my God. Look at this tiny little dude. I'm going to kill him. Oh, and this no. <laughs> Who are these guys? What do they want? What do they do? They could have exploded, okay, guys? I couldn't know if they were dangerous. Oh. Oh. Is this what I want to do? Oh, no, Obi-Wan died. Oh, well. Is that canon? Ah, there is a thing over there. That the Star Wars universe is made out of Legos? Um... I mean, how do they do circuitry work? Like really, like more, you know, the really precise stuff. How do they do that? Uh, with gumption. That's the word that people say, right? With a can-do attitude. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Am I familiar? It's like shoot the enemy. No. And not me. Famlors. Very fun of Got a high molar, rags, chat, frogs, rhinos, krogans, and Nazis. Not you, Metal. <gasps> oh, man. Wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> Were you upset that they said hi to the Nazis and said that doesn't include you? No, no. I was shooting a thing because it was an enemy, but the ball spawned a thing for me. It was actually familiar, so I was fighting my... Why did they not say hi to me? Yeah. This, this gets really confusing. Or does it? Yeah, it does. It totally does, it. shut up. You're a fucking nerd. Didn't get a notification, shake my head. Oh my god. Just shake SMH it like we, in my head. Shake, that shake head. his head. Shake everybody's head. Shake, shake, shake. Mole has to collect 1.2 billion studs for chat to be happy. Maybe I will. You don't know. Damn. I'll be your first stud. Aw. That's cute, that is. Um, watching the 90s Berserk anime makes me realize how terrible the dialogue is in a lot of places, particularly the beginning. It's the reason I advise the manga, which doesn't have as tismy dialogue. Uh, there is great dialogue in the 90s anime, but it's specific moments and only at points later in the series, which makes it hard to keep watching. Well, dialogue is genuinely huh. tough. And I have assumed this from the fact that very few things have great dialogue. It's like, um, when you're writing your thing and you're like, oh, we gotta get this information out there, okay, this character says it. It's like, no, 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 you gotta, like, really think why they would say it. Yeah. <laughs> nah. You know. Just have random exposition whenever you want to have nah. anything explained to your audience for whatever reason, regardless of context. Don't nah. do it. That's Satan's Writing ours way. easy. Writing M's, not hard's. Oh, is it? Nay. 
I need C three PO. Oh, what a jip. Oh, that didn't I work C... well last time you needed him. <laughs> That's an I old name. C three PPOs. Oh, too hot for TV. EFAP after dark. That'll stock some shelves in the back room. I get it. I keep blowing up the little droids. I feel bad. You shouldn't. They're oh, racist. Okay. <gasps> you tell me this now? Damn. You could have told me ten years ago. That what would be you? that would be quite the um like uh, like the scandal in the Trade Federation if all a lot of these like uh, factions the and planets found out that the, the Federation <laughs> the battle droids are like really really racist. <laughs> I wouldn't waste my blaster on you, you slimy piece of yellow shit. Like, oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> you you could have just killed me, Mon didn't have to. Calamari, you know. yeah, <laughs> slimy fish person. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Kill them on sight. You offend my synthetic eyes. We refuse to fight for the Trade Federation unless you get rid of, and then they unscroll this massive <laughs> list of races. <laughs> the Jadubians. Look, we're Gidubians, not asking for Gidubians. much. All we want is to work in a pure environment. <laughs> <laughs> we're only okay with Nemoidians. I could picture the Nemoidians being like, how did this happen? And this, this programmer who's like, I... It's you know. It I just, don't know. Just gets Hitler is there as a programmer. He's like, oh, <laughs> no, it's it's. I, they must be developing some kind of artificial uh, intelligence, which has made some racist. <laughs> oh, this feels like boss. <laughs> oh. Uh. Are you fine with Jedi? Well, Jedi are more of an occupation and not a race. <laughs> we, are, we are tentatively okay with the Jedi. <clears throat> Uh, what do you think about Army of the Dead? We have not seen it. Gonna watch it on Sunday. Sunday, mm. Sunday, Sunday. Gonna be great, I'm oh. sure. The script for the live-action Powerpuff Girls show leaked yesterday. It's horrible. It makes Batwoman look like a masterpiece. Uh, it was real because people got flagged for the <clears throat> spreading the script. I have heard. Mm. And um, there is a consideration that we might devote either an EFAB, an EFAB Mini, or something to reading through that script because I've, I've heard it is beyond hilarious, so... Oh, oh the three hosts, we each get to play a Powerpuff Girl? God. <laughs> that kind of works because you're red, Fringy is green, and... Well... And I'll be blue. <laughs> I'll be blue. <laughs> Y'all gonna be bubbles. I guess I'll be Blossom. Fringy gets to be the, the hardcore, Buttercup. the whitewashed character. No, he's Buttercup, the green black one. She's been she was the one that was whitewashed, I hear. That's the logic anyway. You know what? I wouldn't want to spoil because I was just like I said, so many funnies. So many funnies. Okay, that wouldn't work oh. that way, game. I don't believe it. Oh, I see what I have to do. I have to stand on here. Yo! Believe it. Second person. Do the thing. I'm confused. Oh God, this is actually go. annoying. Eh. <laughs> Behave, second player. No, is, it, is that not what I'm supposed to do? What the fuck? Stop. Stop. Am I only able to do this if I have two players? Because that's outrageous. Outrageous. All right, if I stand on this. Oh, he does it automatically. That's good, I guess. Skadoosh. I probably don't need all of the studs. We've almost got the true okay. Jedi of this level already, which I don't even. It wasn't that hard, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, do I do it myself? Ah, beautiful. Um, there is a great dialogue in the 90s anime, but specific moments and only at point. Oh, wait, I read that, sorry. Uh, Lego video games were mine and my siblings' favorite growing up. They were the hilarious back in the day where the characters only communicated through grunts. Yeah, they used to. It used to be a bit of a challenge for them to get a lot of, um, well, funny shit to happen. Because they had to do it through it, physical comedy and stuff. It is very amazing how those people could build an entire galactic civilization using nothing but plastic bricks and grunting to one another. Yeah. It really is a marvel of their tenacity and ingenuity. Well, I always felt, too. I mean, yeah, that's nice. Really goes to show. And they call this sci-fi fantasy, but I feel like it's... Pretty down yeah, to it's earth. Called, it's called, called Skifi. 
Excuse you. Yeah. Skeefy. 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 Oh, yeah. Skeefy. That's just like sci-fi, but like dirty, and there's lots of nude women. But <laughs> oh, it's like it's like skanky. It's not nice. It's like <laughs> back alley hookers being filmed without their consent. And they're just dirty and drugged up. And you can just smell the syphilis in the air. Was that mm. were you in that call where I accidentally flipped the the letters around on Kong Skull Island and I said Skong Kull Island? <laughs> Skong. <laughs> Skong Kull Island. That whore is a bit of a skong. Yeah, she's a skonky one. Don't lie, I'm skunky. So we call them skonks. Oop. Filthy skonk. Oh, Ooh. what? It's a force field? That's not fair. What do you mean? You can use the force, but they can't? Exactly. Wow. So I gotta... Oh, wait. Do I break these? Qui-Gon, help out, you old man. Oh, my back, please don't. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know what's happening. I've pissed myself. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, urinated in my my ro my Jedi robes. Why are they so heavy? <laughs> All of a sudden, how come we're British? So, how so come no. we are pissing ourselves? It's no Why good. is it that we've urinated constantly on this spaceship? Must have been the Force field. Uh, DC Netflix announced their Sandman series cast with the characters' pronouns attached to the list. That surely be be great. I'm sure it will be. Oh, we, I wouldn't, need a... we wouldn't want to misgender a, a fictional character. That, that would be, would be silly. That would, what a foul <clears throat> sin. I need a midget character, apparently. <clears throat> oh, well. Can I do this yet? We can do it in they're free play, little, though. They're, they're called little people. They're called <laughs> not normals. Why are you laughing? Whoa. <laughs> it's like they prefer that. You're like, oh. <laughs> it's like, oh. Well, uh. <laughs> they are a, they are a, they are a wonderful people. Those yeah. little people. I remember I used to watch a show <clears throat> when I was very young called Li No, no, it was my sisters, and I ended up watching it through osmosis because when you're the oldest of four, you just you you just absorb a lot of kids shows. Yes. Um, it was called it was called Little People, and they were just it was like a Fisher Price thing where they had animated characters, and they it was like claymation. And they had all of these adventures, and it was just awful. <laughs> all right. Yeah, there was one called, there was an Asian one, and her name was Sonya Lee. And her little quirk was, other than being Asian, was that she could speak to animals. She could, like, understand animals. Neat. And this is the kind of show where the tiger's name is Tiger, and the bear's <laughs> name is Bear. What did Tiger say? Oh, no. And, you know. I think that's a fantastic name. Yeah, I feel like you're hanger. underrating the show. It sounds kind of kind of awesome. Yeah, uh, well, you know, as as we often say, ideas are cheap. Execution is everything. And I feel like those. I think there should have maybe been a little mass execution. So. Oh. Mass executions? Oh no. Wasn't nearly. <clears throat> was not nearly as good as JJ was. The jet plane. Yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not Abrams. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 specifically referring to JJ the jet plane. You see, he recently said something like, uh, "Uh, there should have been a plan for Star Wars." The Did sequel he? trilogy. Yeah, he was like, "Well, that's embarrassing, considering he made the first movie." <laughs> well, <laughs> if you remember, as Daisy Ridley said, there were notes that uh, Ryan Johnson ignored. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Now I don't know how extensive these notes were, but you know, maybe. Mm. I mean, so I would have been curious to see how a full JJ trilogy would have gone, you know? That is from Thumb Wars, the Phantom during... Cuticle, Connor. Or Conor. <laughs> Your name, you, he, Conor? He put his name as Conor, C-O-N-O-R, instead of two N's. So I can only assume that that is Conor. Which, maybe you should just keep. Fuck. We have enough Connors. We need uh, we need more Conors. That's like the Beastmaster version of Connor. That's your Beastmaster name is Conor. It does sound like and maybe a villain name. I'm not sure. Conor the Destroyer. Yeah, you could be you could be Malor. Yeah. <laughs> That's your Beastmaster name. Metal could be uh, Motol. <laughs> Motol. And I can be Rags. Mutlo. 
Moodle how the, the... stream during a super chat catch up. Hey, I, I started streaming hours ago, all right? No, he didn't. How, He's lying to you. How, how dare mutually stream during a metal stream? No, why are you yeah. streaming right now of all times? Jeez. Uno reverse card. Get fucked. You can use reverse cards on reverse cards, so, you know. No. Well, I have 17 of those. Bum, bum, so bum, 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 bum. Oh my god, droid cars. Rag's gonna be Grogu. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that. That moves OP. Wiped them all out. Even in the small ones. And the women the and the children. We've been over this. They're, they're called little people, not the small ones. I can the call them the small ones. ones. <laughs> That's the small ones. <laughs> Honestly, if I was a little person, I'd just be like, I don't fucking care what you call me. Life's just... I, everything I do is funny. So just call me, a, call me a midget. Call me a little person. Call me a dwarf. Call me Gimli. Son of Gloin. I, just do it. Fuck it. I'm Hobbit. Call me Frodo. Let's you okay do it. with Oompa Loompa? <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh at it. I'd be like, you little Oompa Loompa. I feel like that would be a term of endearment. An Some Oompa might Loompa. find it offensive, though, you know? You have to reclaim that word, Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Don't let them take the Oompa Loompas from you. When we were, when our, when our people were slaves in the fields, the slave the Wonka fields. Call us Oompa Loompa. The yeah, Wonka. the one in the Wonka fields where we were, we would harvest schnozberries. <laughs> mm. My favorite. We, the slave drivers, Wonka himself, he would call us Oompa Loompas, but. Eventually, after the civil rights movement and you know the Emancipation <laughs> Proclamation, uh, and Oompa Loompas got their freedom, we 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 reclaim that word, and now it's our word. And see, I think that's beautiful, really. They'd call us berry pickers. <laughs> <laughs> A bunch of berry pickers. <laughs> Again, the uh, the droids would be like, "Nah, fuck them berry pickers." You're like, "No, you can't. You can't oh, say man. that. You can't All say the hard B." Those are all them orangies. <laughs> I don't trust them. They work for Wonka. Oompa Loompa lives matter. Yes. Lo Loompa lives matter, yeah. <laughs> um, I'd stay, but the triumvirate within 136 is too damn golden, yet pain-inducing. I love it. Hello, Mubshly and Hi Rags. Hi. Hello. Uh, do y'all play Apex? And if so, who's your main? I do quite quite a lot. I play a lot of Apex Legends. It's kind of like the only shooter I'm currently playing right now. Uh, Bangalore is who I play more than anyone else. Um, I got Lifeline up to just shy of 10k kills, but then they started fiddling with her and I didn't kind of like how a lot of their changes were. So I started experimenting with a lot of the other characters and I sort of settled on Bangalore. Really like Bangalore. Oh, there you go. Any particular reason? Is it because she's really hot? So, Bangalore is a really... Uh, one thing that I found is very important and helpful in Apex is that you pick a character that has kind of a... kind of has a survival option to get out of a sticky spot um, because of how, like, damage works and how it, the game sort of plays. It's really helpful to be able to have an oh crap button that you could use to sort of get out of sticky situations. Mm -hmm. Bangalore... Mm -hmm. Her ability, she has, she has a couple. Her passive is that when she's shot at, uh, she gets a temporary speed boost. And that can be very, very helpful in fights when bullets are flying around. And you could use it to speed and slide jump while you're reloading. And you could get really, really squirrely and hard to hit. And she can throw, or she has a little smoke launcher. And she could put smoke grenades out that make these clouds of thick smoke. Which can be very useful for concealing yourself or teammates or blocking lines of sight. Um, and her ultimate sends down this artillery strike, which is pretty all right. It can be pretty darn useful, but her passive and her smoke canisters are extremely useful for uh, getting out of fights and moving around the map and causing a, what's a disruption in fights that I've found very, very, what works very, very well. Well, there you go. All right, this is a very helpful camera angle game. Thank you. What am I doing? What is this? Am I doing science? I'm doing I'm science! Oh, it magnetizes things to it. Um, science! I don't see how that's helpful. These puzzles are too difficult for me, okay? Jay was wrong. 
There, I stopped streaming. Are you happy now? No. Oh. Now do all the puzzles in Lego Star Wars. <laughs> um. If you ever do an EFAP movies for Optimus Fowl, you should invite Cynical Reviews and Celtic Phoenix Productions. They hate that film. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um. Just watched Army of the Dead. It's so bad that I've decided to make a video on it. Keep up the great work, Massives. Also, rip fan spider. Oh, yeah. There you <laughs> went. There yeah, you that went. Yeah, that was... That was tragic, honestly. Yeah. It wasn't. That was really tragic. There was nothing to be done to stop it. Wait, was this... Was this just, like, a weapon I could use to knock out the enemy droids? Was that the idea? What's this do? Oh, that moves that. All right. I follow. Rex, I'm gonna start playing Hellblade tomorrow. Oh, I hope you enjoy it. Nice. Um, yes. I think you'll I think you'll find some things that you like in there. Good, good. Or, yeah. Feel free to backseat this game by the way. I do not mind. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. It's like machine, but it it, it put out some some blocks, but now that's gone and you know, I don't know what it wants me to do anymore. I think you should you need to use your sword to destroy the racist battle droids. I tried <laughs> that already. They're really powerful. Oh no. Oh wow. Mm. I thought you I thought that the Jedi could cut them down like butter, to quote someone whose name shall not be mentioned. Richard? Was it Frankie? Richard? It was George Luke God, I my broke my God. I said I said Come I wasn't I, I'm I said I wasn't Tricked gonna you. say his name, but I did. <laughs> Do better. Fuck. Meditate on the force and it'll guide you. Wow. Well, see, wow. we have free play, so I, I don't mind just coming back to this when we unlock the characters because I don't actually know. Wait, can I just force C3PO through free here? Free play? So you didn't pay for the game? <laughs> That's not what that means. You are very rude to imply such things. I think you need to jump the fence. Jump over the fence. Well, I, I, I was thinking to myself, like, wouldn't it be funny to walk C3PO through it to destroy him, but then it doesn't let me force push him like that. I needed a different droid. You know what, C-3PO, gonna be honest, you look like you're in pain. I'm gonna end your suffering, buddy. Oh no. Constantly worried. <clears throat> Always. Look, kill him. Now he looks better, see? My logic was flawless. I thought you decapitated him. Indigo says the Lego games have more challenging puzzles than Resident Evil 8. <laughs> that's, not, that's, that's a low bar. I'll I can't it. even remember the puzzles in Lego Star Wars, but I agree. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't. I think there was only technically. Was there only two puzzles in Village? I don't know. I don't know if they count. And I, I don't want to speak too soon on that one. You know. Yeah, piano, that's what I'm saying. The dam. No, the piano's not a puzzle. Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah. Then that's zero. Then. Because <laughs> you had. Because I think the, the, the damn thing, damn. Um, not the game, the damn thing, but like the the part of the, the, the lights at the dam when you had to lift the sluice gate. Um, oh, that's Rex, a fun word, I unlocked TC14. What's that? <laughs> what? Are you not a Star Wars fan? What the fuck? TC14. Jesus, that sounds like an eight. That sounds like an age rating in Britain or something. <laughs> I don't know what that is. This program has been rated TC14 by the BBC. It contains Dude, strong violence. Is not allowed. And use of strong, accurate racism. Use of accurate critical racism thinking during the programming is not allowed. <laughs> We did a research. We do the, do the proper racism over here. Racists are not allowed to watch our programs. Uh. Where are we? What is the right way to resurrect a character? Hypothetically, if you want to bring back Vision, how do you do this without uh, cheapening his sacrifice? Um, so the um, reason I almost think it's... Right, Go so it's, it's specifically a stakes thing as far as I'm concerned. The fact that he dies is really significant is because we think that kills him. If it turns out suddenly it doesn't, that shit <laughs> needs to be up and running beforehand, I think. Where it's like... What happens if, you know, you have that conversation where it's like, what, what happens if you just blow up that thing? It's like, it'll kill you, Vision. And he's like, well, I am a robot after all. It's like, surely there's some kind of, there's something that could be done to bring me back. And, and you know, they the, the go over how maybe uh, maybe we could, but you wouldn't be the same. Or so much of your personality is attached to that stone that, you know, who knows what that would mean. We don't even know if it would work. It's like, you need to set all that up so that when he actually blows up and is really sad, we're like, well, there's still that option they talked about before. Instead of just being like, no, actually, it's not that he's really dead, lol. Like, that's, that's gonna be step one as far as I'm concerned. Um, 
if you you're... wanna you wanna avoid creating an environment where people can just go, oh, he's it's fine. It's yeah. all good. He'll just come back. Anyone can come back, really. Nothing that I see matters. Yeah, because that was gonna be the other thing. If everybody can just resurrect and you can't have meaningful scenes where death is threatened, that's out. Sorry. Like Oh no, they might die. It's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Death is chill. Um I think that the way they do it in Infinity War made it seem as though his death was, like, final. And that's why it was a strong scene. But if, if it's like, no, it's fine, he's a robot. It's like, oh, that's lame. But, you know, I'll have to see where they go with it next. He's probably going to turn up in whatever movie, doing whatever, and I'm sure it won't be annoying at all. No, it'll be great. It'll be very well written, and there will not be an agenda that covers the entire thing in slime. <laughs> Dun, 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 Name dun. one movie where it happened. Jonah and the Whale. Okay, and then s s seven movies. Jonah and the Whale and six sequels. Damn it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Damn you, droids. Some, some tasty nuts. Oh my god, there's like warrior Jar Jar people. It's wonderful. Jar Jar people? Whoa. Well, I mean... <laughs> Talking about accurate racism. Binkoids, thank, I don't thank know. You. <laughs> their their pronouns are Jim Jer, please. <laughs> <laughs> the Bink army is on its way. Pronouns I hear sir, sir. Um, boingo, boingo. Oh yeah, in case I didn't answer that Army of the Dead one kind of, it's just like, because they just said that it was so bad they're making a video, it's like, I keep hearing it's awful. Like, I've not heard anyone else say anything else. Yeah, um, I've only I, heard it's I bad. Did. You did? What? From who? Explain From one yourself. Of, one of my friends. Oh no. Explain your choice in friends. <laughs> yeah. I need to beat him up next time I see him. Not even, I don't think even Angry Joe liked it, and he likes all kinds of shit. <laughs> Hey, how am I supposed to hit this target if I don't have a laser? or... Use but the force. My, 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 my taste in movies and the taste of movies of my friends don't really correlate most of the time. You kind of oh, use the I force see. to hit that target, Rags. What, you knew this? How That's do you know it? Use the force. You kind of do that. I said use the force. Yeah, but you can't. You should know that, Mr. Where Star Wars expert. I am a Star Wars expert. Name, okay, Mr. Star Wars expert. Name one thing the Force can't do now. Um, destroy Except a planet. A good script. Coffee. Don't worry. By the next episode, I'm sure they can the destroy. The Force a planet. can absolutely destroy a planet. <laughs> Give yeah. it time. It and the will. Force, and the Force will be able to distinguish the good planets from the bad planets. Yeah. Like Exegol, that's an evil planet, full of evilness. That's very evil. Very evil. That's the Oompa Loompa home one. <laughs> It was destroyed after generations and generations of schnozberry harvesting. Yep. It terraformed the planet into. That's why it's still. That's why the atmosphere is blue and dark. I knew that. It's See, the, I just never wanted to say yeah. it because I, I thought maybe it's offensive, but now that's out in the open, I, I feel, yes, liberated, really. Yeah, it's critique on capitalism. Mm hmm. Capitalism. Rax player two. <laughs> oh, no, never mind. We would yeah, be doing that if playing. the fucking games had online multiplayer. Why don't they? We'll never know. Ow. Where did Rags learn about the Force? On a moisture farm? Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. oh. They're calling no, you out, I buddy. The movies. No, I watched the films. Liar. If you can call that learning about the Force, I sort of... I mean, I'm not so much learning about them, I'm just discovering, just tragically, all the things it could do now. I can't explain it any better than I used to. I just noticed that its destructive capabilities have increased to astronomical levels. Astromononodical. That's the science way of saying it. And then there's astrological levels, which is bullshit. And then there's astronomy. Astronomon. Astronomon, which is a Digimon, actually. Pretty neat. Um... You do? Mola, playing the Lego Star Wars game that introduced me to Star Wars in the first place, eh? A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. I would have thought so. It's a very chill game, Lego Star Wars. You know, it doesn't demand a lot from the soul. They do. They do. They do. Maybe I'll even play the, um, 
the pod racing level before the stream is out. How about that? <gasps> now that's what I call pod racing. You probably should, because... Yeah. It's pod racing. Yeah. yeah. I keep hearing Jar Jar noises. Where is he? <laughs> Which is, is he Because Anakin's dumb, because he, he, like, he clearly isn't pod racing when he says, now that's what I call pod racing. Like, he's clearly not pod racing, but he says that that's what it is. It's so, it's like a huge hole, because he's in like a spaceship, he's not in a pod. It's this yeah, major... Yeah, fighting off racist battle droids in space. Yeah, it might be the biggest hole in all Another of bug. Star Wars. Like the, it's, it's, they should rename it to the Space Wars. Yes. Because you don't fight on a star, it's like, I can get it right. I've heard that science really hates Star Wars because they're like it's not even scientific. I heard spinning's a neat trick. Well, really about your uh, your opinion, you know. Oh, hello. Nom nom nom. But yeah, I imagine that uh, Jay will want to study my gameplay to make sure <laughs> that uh, this game is as good as it is. So I, I, I will willingly become a test subject. It's gonna be great. Yeah, I was wondering, when are you going pro if you're like with Star Wars career? <clears throat> well, if you check all the leaderboards, they all have me there. Oh, shit, alright. I've used several different names, but they are all me. Nah, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, no. A cutscene, but I was collecting studs! Oh, Jar Jar! Guys, the legend himself, he sneezed on a flower. Bastard. No, no, it's good. It's good. Now this is a pod racing. <laughs> I don't know if he said that. I bought the race, yay. <clears throat> Pro Lego Star Wars streamer. Yup. If anyone tells you different, ask them a simple question of any kind. There's a gaming empire on that. Remember, oh. folks, all we're trying to get is true Jedi, right? That's the important thing. Why is there a bike cycle here? Is that a speedrunning speed category? True mm -hmm. Jedi? Yep. Sick. And if anyone denies it, probably racist. Just saying. Probably a Sith. Yes. Mm. We don't like them Sith around here. <clears throat> Disgusting. Wait, wait, um, are we doing Drank just this weekend? I don't <laughs> think anything's planned. Mm. You want to do Drank do you? You just want to Drankle Dankle? I, I always want to Drankle. He wants to justify his alcoholism yeah. by doing it with friends. And he, exactly. he, chronically, he schedules it. It's okay if you schedule your alcoholism. Yep. Yeah, see, that's what I have over my dad. He did it wrong. That's why I had to go to rehab. Oh, there's nothing worse than an unorganized alcoholic. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm, make me go to re I'm not going to be able to jump this high. That's ridiculous. Redonkulous. I'm outraged at thought alone. <clears throat> Wait a minute, can Jar Jar jump that high? Oh my god. He can. Huh? Victory. Wow. Well, Jar Jar, you, yeah, you see him when he jumps into the fucking He's like pond Palpatine. in the beginning. He, Yeah, he is. He spins around and flips. He is, he's not clumsy at all. He has the grace of a, I don't know. He has <laughs> the grace of a pomegranate thrown yeah. into the toilet. <laughs> oh my god, look at the AI controlling it too. It's going nuts. The AI is having fun, clearly. Also, I'm Obi-Wan now? Ew, Qui-Gon. Also, Qui much like a pomegranate, the Star Wars movies are more entertaining when they're ripped apart and dissected. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, did, did you just do a downward thrust? <gasps> Perhaps I did. What is it to you? Wow. Oh my god. Oh, look at this crazy contraption-y stuff going on. Is this like Jar Jar security? Bink security, maybe? <laughs> are, you, are you referring to Loke Skywalker? <laughs> The character. <laughs> More like woke Skywalker. Oh, Whoa. oh yeah. It's 6 a.m. It's time to get up and farm that moisture. Ew. Oh no. <laughs> the sound he makes when he dies is fantastic. He just goes. Oh, I was so slow. I didn't hear it. Damn it. Mahler has become desensitized. To you can roll it back, Mel. It's funny. All right. It's worth it for the funnies. Maybe I will. We're not on Twitch, we have to clip everything to hear it again. Fuck you. Yeah. I ripped into Twitch. Didn't even mind. Give me my true Jedi, give me. What? <laughs> 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 I like 
much of a meme the dream. Yoda death sound has become in the Lego community as well, though. <laughs> oh yeah, the Lego community, yeah. Yep. They're a big community. <laughs> Do just, not- Just them. Don't be fucking fucking around with the Lego community, okay? The Lego community will fuck you up. They'll take your wife, and your pets, and your house. They'll shit on your chest on Christmas. Exactly. On yeah, and of all the times to do it, that's just rule. Give you. They'll leave you a little stocking stuff. In no. There. <laughs> uh. So is now the time we get Rags as Heisenberg explaining critical race theory to Ethan? Also, hi Rags and Mola. Keep up the good work. Not metal. No. Hi there. You 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 know why. <laughs> But yes, uh, I'm sure Rags is recording that script as we speak. It's mean. Die. Uh, besides Gimli wanting Frodo dead, what's the weirdest take you've heard? Hi Rags and Mutlo, Moobly, play Mass Effect sometime. Maybe I will. Maybe oh, there's no, you so won't. many. Play um, Alta Wilds. That is a good game. I might do that I too. I think one of the worst takes that we've had in EFAP is actually fairly recent. Ooh. It was the extra credits orc video where oh, they think yeah. that it's 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 worse to kill someone who didn't have a chance to be who is like intrinsically oh, yeah. evil than it is. It's it's less morally complicated to kill someone who was convinced to do evil things than it is to kill an entity that's intrinsically and innately evil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had it fucking backwards like, and they didn't realize. It's insane. Like that one, you that one sinks in, and you're like, fucking so, hell. For me, it's a category. It's like that one is definitely one of the top tiers for like, I guess, morality because we we have so many of those ones. But you know, like analysis. <laughs> like I still feel like Cinema Wins kind of wins out with the whole like, just pretend it's what you like and then see what you think. Like that's that's another big one. <laughs> um, why, why did you say so, that? Uh, it hurts my brain just thinking about it. It's like it's the ultimate concession of it. That it's shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're just you're just literally starting off your video, just saying, just pretend you like it, you know. Please. <laughs> it's like cinemas. Why do you think we're here? Like the the whole point is I consumed it and I had an initial feeling of hmm, no good. And now it's not time to figure out why. And it's like yeah, but what if you did like it? I'm that sure there are everything. many many others. Um, let me see. Uh. What kind of ones that come to, I'm, it's weird. It's like plucking out a star from the yeah. sky. You know, it's just there's so many to choose from. That uh, any, I bet every EFAP has at least one or two, or maybe more. Um, there's the whole no one knows what a Y wing is, so it's okay if we make new stuff because no one knows what the old stuff is. That's, that's that a was stupid a, launch that was special. Bizarre. That's a special one. That one's really dumb. Uh, the, the in the Resident Evil stream, we had a lot of people saying it's okay if it's dumb because it was always dumb. That one's been on loads of stuff there like um, yeah, King Kong, uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, as well. Yeah, it was there too. There needs to be a um, like a name for it, like an appeal to, um, like I don't know. Uh, uh, Could you call like traditional some... stupidity? Yeah, I was gonna say it's kind of like appeal to tradition. It's, like, it's always been yeah, retarded. Yeah, appeal though. to traditional stupidity. Well, we've always been stupid. It's tradition. <laughs> tradition. tradition. <laughs> like I said, I stand by it. A lot of people I've seen discussing it in threads are like, we wouldn't want Resident Evil to make sense. And I'm like, bullshit. You would like it. Bullshit, yeah. Imagine how much you would like it if it would make sense. Yeah, the, the, the other way around. Oh, Obi-Wan, what are one. you doing, buddy? He doesn't <clears throat> understand. Look at this. Obi-Wan's like, yeah, oof. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is Let Jedi like weightlifting. Give me your hand. Come on. Me next. Me next. I want to go to floaty thing. Oh, wait. Do I do the double jump straight away? I don't know. <laughs> that's not gonna do it. Huh? Huh? I'll, I'll blow. Ah. That's a Jar Jar sound. I'll oh. blow. Oh. Rags, what's your thoughts on Apex Arenas? It's fine. I don't have any strong feelings for it either way. I prefer the tip, the, the regular mode, but it's fine. You know, it's fine. Is it fine? Is it? It's fine. Is it though? It's you just right? don't sound yeah. convinced, you know? Like if I said, you know what? 
Jar Jar's fine. Like, what? Jar Jar's amazing. Exactly. And so if someone said this, he's fine, I'd be like, you know, I'm starting to think you hate him. Yeah, I'm starting to think that you're just a person who's wrong for a living. A person who's bigoted, maybe. <clears throat> maybe. Am I supposed to do it this way, or do I need R2-D2? Is that how this works? R2-D2 could do this, couldn't he? Oh. R2-D2 can do anything the plot needs him to do. Absolutely. Damn you, R2! Remember that time they gave him random jetpack legs so that he could fly something? That's precisely why I need him, because he can get across here with his jetpack legs. Oh. God damn Why it. can't uh, one of the Jedi just force lift and... You know what? It's fine. <laughs> they don't both need to discuss it. lift Jar Jar and toss him at it. He's oh. just like, wah! <laughs> Get the coins, you piece Misa of going shit. Home! <laughs> oh, that would be such a meaningful death scene for Jar Jar after his like three movie trilogy thing, and it's like like he he's on his deathbed, and and like they just hold his hand, and he's like, Misa going home. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have uh, we have fun. Let me I go. just want Jar Jar back. Bring, hashtag bring back Jar Jar. Hashtag bring release Jar -Jar the Jar Jar home. cut. That's what it is. Jar Jar cut. I'm gonna cut Jar Jar. Yes. The Punisher. You can make him the Punisher. <laughs> Grizzled <laughs> bearded Jar Jar. Yeah, okay. Misa gonna fuck you up. I, I swear they could have so many great entrances for that. <laughs> Misa learned that the only justice... I, I don't know what, he, what would he say. Something like, "Misa, believe in the only justice come out of the barrel of a gun." <laughs> <laughs> give me a, uh, just give me ten million dollars, Disney, and, uh, and the rights to Jar Jar. I'll do it. Yeah, we know you give money to any. <laughs> You'll just do video. anything. So, him and, and and if it's a good movie, I'll get Mace Windu back too, and they'll team up. It'll be a good guy, a good cop, bad cop sort of situation, with Jar Jar being the bad cop, of course. Jar Jar and Windu, yeah. Binks, Windu and Binks. That'll be what it's called. Yeah, like WandaVision, Windu but Windu Binks. Binks. Window Binks. <laughs> Windu Binks. A partnership that spans decades. Are there just roommates? And every episode's just their wacky shenanigans. You know how like Mace Windu is always up for like killing people and dealing with problems that way, but Jar Jar is like, no diplomacy. We can, we can win them with argumentation. And then and he's very well spoken. Yeah, yeah, but then there's like the big reveal that when the chips are really down, and you know you think Windu is gonna be the one who's like fucking around and killing people, but Jar Jar like reveals he's had a lightsaber this whole time, and he's like, enough. <laughs> enough. Misa and the Senate. <laughs> It's like, where did you learn this? He's like, Palpatine had more than one student. Misa was born in it. <laughs> Misa molded by it. Misa molded by it. <laughs> I never thought a I never thought a game could ruin the word mold for me, but somehow Resident Evil Village managed it. <laughs> mold. You just see it like in your in your flat, see if like mold on walls it's like. Fucking Resident Evil 8. Fuck. I mean, it's like, we used to have... It used to have such a pleasant, positive connotation mold. And now, <laughs> it's been ruined. Now I think about, like, ugh, Resident Evil. They took mold yeah. from us. What else will they do? Can I destroy this robot? No. Oh. There is no robot. I feel like it just beating these robots up for fun. Uh, yes. Army of the Dead is so bad it requires at least a 12 hour long stream. Oh boy. Oh god. Not again. I don't know about that. That sounds a little terrifying in its own way. Sounds horrific. Played RE8 six times and I want to make a critique on it. You're 100% right, Rags. Oh! <gasps> oh my god! I know. It's just nice to hear other people recognize my incredible genius. Your uh, galaxy brain is seeping through the screen into these individuals. Which makes sense, because it's a galaxy brain. Also, we got True Jedi, woo! Hashtag no True Jedi. <laughs> Just shrug, they're like, yeah, we'll follow him into his water palace. <laughs> <clears throat> My god.
See, back th at this point, it was enough that they just looked like Lego visions of what you saw in the movie. That was enough to make you go, oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> oh man, it's like the thing I know, but Lego. Freaky. Oh my god, my first vehicle mission. Oof. Jar Jar Binks, I've unlocked him. Oh yes. Help. <laughs> you mean you've gun locked him? Oh. Because oh, he's you'd a think, gun gun? You'd think that like the final unlock in this game is the golden Jar Jar. Like that would be the ultimate. The golden Jar Jar. <laughs> That's, that sounds like the name of an Indiana Jones film. The golden Jar Jar. <laughs> the golden Jar Jar. <laughs> um... All we have to do is decide what to do with the time that is given to us. That's from Lord of the Rings. And then the greatest teacher failure is from TLJ. Aside from whether or not the text supports the quote, is there any difference between these two types of lines? Um, sure. No. Yeah, there is. What? Like, of course there's differences between the two. Oh, I thought you were saying there wasn't. Like, that's... Oh, yeah, there definitely is. There's There are differences. I must have heard the question phrased in a different way. I, I was just thinking about the Golden Jar Jar... Because the Lucasfilm, <laughs> like they own both properties. Um, like they own they own Indiana Jones and Star Wars, so, so they could it can do it. Is what you're saying, yeah. They could do it. What I'm saying is that what I'm saying is that it could be done. It's possible. There's a possibility that the Indiana Jones Gungan cut is hashtag release the Gungan cut is gonna it. It could happen. It's not beyond the realm of impossibility. Um, this is the thing. I actually appreciate both sentiments. Um, I don't. I don't think they're the same. Like one is meant to help you out when you're feeling like you're, like inadequate. The other one is to help you out with like, almost like the meaning of life. At least that would be the very very simplistic reading, uh, before getting into both of them. A bow. I thought you would play the second game, but then I saw Return to Dr Dexes. Good luck with the original. No checkpoint pod race, mutually. No checkpoint pod race? Oh. I feel like I'm not going to be able to do it very well, then. Wait, I didn't get my vehicle mission. Boo! Correct. Yay, Jar Jar's here. Oh my god, that guy's kicking a droid. That's fucked up. No, that means he's... Jar Jar's a goddamn hero. No, Jaja wasn't doing the kicking. Oh, who was? It was some Randy named Bob. Pew, 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 oh, pew, pew, pew. is he a Gungan? What species is oh, Bob? I think he was. He was a Nabooan. Nabooan. Oh, a a Naboob. Oh, you can't say that. That's hot. God, it's like full on war. War games. War. <laughs> yeah. What is a good fall? That's what Star Wars is all about. What is the good of war? Absolutely all about family? Hate again. Yeah, family is about war, I would say. Yeah, you're right. Hey, we got some of us have those families. We oh I've got the grapple hook, I'm like a bounty hunter. Oh no. You know it's way faster to kill in this game as a Get pissed with the blast and it's the, with the, the force and the lightsaber and stuff. I suppose that's just accurate. <clears throat> My mind wasn't immediately going to RE8. Like, it's faster to kill people oh, than uh, Resident yeah. Evil 8. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Your Resident Evil was portrayed it accurately. Um, speaking of Yoda's death sound, I finally remember Anakin's death sound in uh, Revenge of the Sith game. Look it up. Well, if anyone wishes to, there you go. Here's $5 for rags for getting me into Guild Wars 2. What is your race slash profession slash build? I have many. Of the latter two. However, all my characters are charred because it's the only interesting race. And fuck all the other races. Just They're just so dull and uninteresting. Damn. And lame. Humans, I've never seen a, just a more lame human in a game. Other than Movie Bob, than the humans <laughs> in Guild Wars 2. What a bunch of shitty fucking simp losers Damn. who worship all these shitty fucking gods who are cowardly pieces of crap. My god. The Char are like, no, we fucking killed our gods. Fuck gods. What have they ever done for us? Oh yeah, that's right. Fucking nothing. Fuck them. We're gonna we're the makers of our own destiny. The Norn are just big humans <laughs> who worship who, who like praise spirits and shit. Because like they that. wear shoes. Fucking lame. 
<laughs> big humans that wear shoes. It's like, all right. Oh. You have Asura who are just who are just rats, who are just quirky rats, and you have the Silvari who are British plant people. Yay. Then then you have the Char who are just a bunch of fucking chads, man. What a bunch. There's a whole race of chads. And they're constantly fighting because they have to. And they're hardened. And they they just get such little appreciation for all the shit that they do. And wow, what it's great. What a great, what a cool, interesting, nifty culture they've got. They're so aesthetically awesome and they're so badass. All my characters are Char. Alright? Because Ascalon belongs to the Char. So, uh, my two favorite prof uh, my two favorite classes are probably um, Necromancer and Revenant. Um, with um, Revenant, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Renegade specifically. Um, but yeah, those are my two favorite uh, class. As for what was it? Profession what was the third one. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't do too much of the profession stuff. Um, I think I've gotten the most use out of um, tailoring and uh, probably cooking. It's probably the two that I've gotten the most use out of. Mm -hmm. Ranks, do you think this this painting of Leia is um, sorry, not Leia, Padme is is flattering? Let me take a look. I think it's pretty hot. Oh, yeah, it's a spitting image! Yeah. That's her! Yeah. That's her. I was thinking so. I think I need a you force almost... user to do something with this. I was confused oh. at first because you said painting, but I was <laughs> like, well, that's not a painting, that's a photograph. What is happening? Where's the painting of Padme? Uh, did it, it's, like, a, oh, yeah. uh, it's doing a bouncy bounce. Why, why, how do I make it do more or less? Or, uh, what's... It's, it's, it's a barrier level, jump in! I want to jump in! <laughs> I don't know what I did to make uh, it do that. Dude, uh, there it goes again. What the? Is it alive? Is this like existential horror? Is the painting? Oh God. Like, do we paint a person? They become it? Like ah. Uh. Guys going inside as a. <laughs> Feels bad. Uh oh. Let's a go. Let's it go. Da, 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 da. It's breathing. <laughs> it's horrifying. Oh, look at these lads getting fucking wrecked by Padme. Oh, didn't stand a chance. Really? Straight into them. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> More like Chad May, am I right? <laughs> oh. 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 Chad May, what'd you bring me? Wait, how do I. Yeah. No, I didn't mean to break one over there. Now I gotta go run over there before they disappear. Boo. You fool. <laughs> uh, just watch Angel Season 5, Episode 15, Cried Hard. Oh, now I gotta check which one it is. Thanks. It's a sad one. Yeah. There's a lot of sad ones in that episode season. Uh -huh. I, I think I know which one it is, but I'll just check. Ah, uh, yeah, it's that one. It's one of the, the best of... One of the four best episodes of both shows. Pretty good. I'm glad you're alive. Some people just, just, you know, it's just that sad. They can cry so much. I don't know if you've seen it with metal, but sometimes this room fills with the tears. It's yeah, it really dangerous. Nice to get, it, get it all out. What's so. some? He starts swimming around. Uh, he's never filled the whole room, though, so. Oh, that's good. Mm. Ba -ba -bing. Turn on my AC. It's getting a little, uh. Toasty. Can we get up there? I don't know. Alright then. I'm gonna AC. Warm, must be nice. Warm. Um, Alright, by that logic, does Steve's sacrifice and resurrection function in the first Avenger? They didn't set up the idea he could survive, frozen in ice for decades, and be just fine afterwards. We know because meta-knowledge. I would say that uh, we've never had a definitive reason to know that he can't survive that. For example, can Steve Rogers survive two shots to the gut? I'd be like, um, I guess so. And if someone uh, is writing it and they go, no, he dies from that, you'd be like, oh. Yeah, you know, I, I guess that kind of makes sense. I don't know, and I don't think he knows, that whether he can survive being icicled. Um, which is why I would say that works better, because we don't actually have a definitive answer. And uh, there's no reason we would. And so, him going through that, much like he does in Winter Soldier, with, with significant damage, I'd say we're all like, oof, is that death? I don't know. Is this loss? You know what? I think it is. 
Shoot. Well, up. now that you're done with your racist rant, mm -hmm. um, I'd like to let everyone know that I was reminded of a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. I'm sure you're all very interested in knowing what it is. Oh, no. So, I will tell you. Thank you for asking. Now, over no on my AC unit, it yeah. is like this, this digital thing. It's kind of nice. Um, however, there's something that really peeves me about the dare I say, the, the UI design, the layout of the buttons and such on this mm -hmm. uh, air conditioning unit. The So as you all know, well, I suppose I should describe what part of the layout annoys me. So there is a button next to the power button that chooses what mode you want it to operate on. There are three modes, just having the fan running, heat, and cold. Now... The thing that really bugs me is that these are the, these three modes are listed vertically, right? Uh huh. And you have on the top you have cold, and in the middle you have fan, and on the bottom you have heat. And my pet peeve is that it should not be in that order. You should have hot on the top, and then you should have fan in the middle, and you should have cold on the bottom because mm. everyone knows that heat rises. So it only makes sense and is more intuitive, especially in the dark when you can't quite see the, the, the buttons quite well, that of course, if I want it to be hot, the top light should be on of the three because heat rises, but it's the opposite way. And that's how I know to remember because I know that the AC fucked it up. And so oh, yeah? I have to do the opposite of what would really work. It's colder at the top of mountains than it is at the bottom, so get fucked. Oh, wow, that's that would be really great if I was a Fucking geologist. <laughs> you, wait, you told and me- And I studied mountains. The whole reason we started this podcast is because you're a geologist. What the fuck? I quit that. That's, that, that's an old <laughs> life, that. Mahler. That's I old quit me. geology. Evolved that's an, yeah, that's the old me. The newbie doesn't fucking give a shit about rocks. Damn it. Rocks ever a... Ugh. Well, as I've evolved as a geologist, you're damn right. It, it, yeah. I'm I'm offended, on behalf of rocks. It's like that kid in <laughs> what is it, Space Raiders? He's like, God damn rocks! That was that. He's my hero. <laughs> I thought Jojo was your hero. Fuck rocks. Get my rocks off of my life. Why can't I destroy all these and they don't drop car. studs? What's that about? I feel like this is just straight up vandalism now. Yeah. Also, how come I can destroy that one but not this one? What's going on? Oh, that's better. Fine, I won't destroy everything, just some stuff. Why is that not working? I'm kind of offended, if I'm being honest. I like destroying things, stop judging me. <laughs> I'm, I'm super judging you. No! I've seen you play Binding of Isaac, you've killed people. Only like thousand or so. Hmm. So is that real in Binding of Isaac or is it just like some some vision or a nightmare? Or like a a drug fueled fever dream? I'm actually not sure. <laughs> I don't know if it's up for like interpretation maybe with Binding of Isaac. I've never like there are breakdowns of Binding of Isaac's story on YouTube but I've never even paid attention to the story that much. I'm just like, yay Rob like <laughs> Yay <laughs> Um, <clears throat> Moodle, tell the Dumbos how much you liked Outer Wilds and how they should play it. Also, hi Ragu and Discount Smiler. Oof. Oh my goodness gracious, I can't believe they called Mahler Discount Smiler. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucked up. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah, uh, Outer Wilds was a really cool game. Uh, huh. Is it absolutely though? Absolutely re recommended. So if you like exploring and mystery solving and some puzzle stuff, uh, play Resident Evil really good job. Mm. No, stop it. Oh. <laughs> no. Yeah, the, the game is basically like you, you start the game, and the game's like, here's a little bit of tutorial, here's the basic mechanics. Now go wherever you want and figure out what's happening. Oh. And it's really, really cool. It's like one of those games you uh, can like fully experience once. Oh, I gotcha. Because like, if, you, if, you, if you know, you know kind of type of deal so you okay. definitely don't you All don't right. want any spoilers you want to go in blind you know hellblade's kind of the same way yeah i know nothing about hellblade so i'm excited for that one 
No, yeah, what if you end up uh, hitting it and review it negatively? I mean, I guess I have to come up with some good arguments then. Rag's gonna beat you up. No, not again. I'm gonna sell it's you. one of those games where I totally like. I, I totally understand if the <clears throat> white people might not like Hellblade. Are there any games that, yeah. if someone said they didn't like it, you wouldn't understand? I wouldn't hmm. understand. Um. <clears> hmm. <throat> Even some of the basic games, like is, like I could see why someone might not like Tetris. Maybe they think it's boring and it's just not engaging enough. And I don't mm. know, I, like like understand why they don't like it. Yeah, I I guess I don't know if there's a game I where I wouldn't understand, like or, or if I couldn't believe not everyone would like it. Um, I would think it's odd. Like if someone said I don't like Tetris, I I do think that's odd. Um. But I guess if they explain to me why they don't like it, I'm, I, I would potentially understand. Mm -hmm. Still still strange, though. Mm -hmm. That game's pretty great. That game is Poggers. It's yes. very Pog. Yes, very Poggers, yes. Uh, oh, God. So, he, he's using the phrase Poggers. They need that in, like, you know, really old-fashioned or era-driven, like, stories. Just have everything accurate except one character says, that's very Poggers, sir. Yes, and then is and then he has like maybe a butler, and when the butler brings in the tea, he says, "Here's your tea, sir. I'll leave it here for you and the guests." Yolo. Mm. And he's like, "What do you mean, Strathomire? Because it's got a long name." But it's too late. I've already left, <laughs> leaving behind me the satisfaction of a job well done and the faint scent of chamomile tea. Beautiful, you might even say. Just beautiful. I mean, Y'all remember YOLO when that was a big thing? Ever before anyone did anything, they'd be like, YOLO. Like, they could be drinking just coffee. And <laughs> say, oh, YOLO, and they'd Hey, what if it. the coffee has acid in it? You don't know. Yeah, as if death was a potential outcome to the coffee that they were imbibing. Nobody says imbibing yeah. anymore. They say YOLO. Well, I'm bringing, I'm bringing it back. <laughs> I'm, I'm, re, I'm reclaiming the word. <laughs> Imbibing is our word. Yes. Reclaiming it for us doggos. I unlocked the gate. Oh, I'm so good at this Star Wars stuff. That's a weird me mechanism for your gate. No. The Stargate? Yes. Oh. Wait a minute. Could I take my Jedi all the way back now that I've unlocked They were going to make an amusement park for that IP. Or were they? Yeah, they were. It was going to be in San Diego, uh, in the Bush Gardens there, and they were going to call it Stargate SG Fun. Yeah, <laughs> Garden of Bush. <laughs> Bush Gardens was... Car Bush Gardens was poggers. I, I went there many years ago, and I'm, I'm a roller coaster junkie. I love them. And they had many great roller coasters that I enjoyed immensely. Mm hmm Oh, what? They take my yeah. Jedi away. What? That took you, well, that's that took bullshit. you a while to what? realize. <laughs> what do you mean? Did, did they take them back really early? Right when you went through the gate with the Jedi, this was only Padme and the... That's the not fair. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Lego Star Wars, thumbs down. Oh, thumbs shit. down. Someone has mentioned the alternative to YOLO, which is yo-yo, which means you only YOLO once. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. Someone's asked if I've been to Silver Dollar City. I have, like, half a dozen times. I really enjoy Silver Dollar City. It's a, it's a hillbilly paradise, and I, I really do love it. Golden Dollar City. <clears throat> Silver Dollar Shitty. Shitty? Shitty. No, damn it. <laughs> shitty. No. <laughs> shitty. 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 You don't know, use that kind of language. We're a God-fearing folk. <laughs> oh, Silver God. Dollar City is, like, the... It's the opposite energy that country jubilee has ah we all understand what you mean by that because there's a fuck in downtown branson there's a fucking sign that says country jubilee on it and there's some people sitting there in their fucking faces and they've got these outfits on 
and guitars and oh what a miserable miserable experience that must be to go to country jubilee where for two hours you can listen to just the most tame inoffensive worthless music imaginable while they talk lightly about jesus that sounds like my jam and then you go to Silver Dollar City, and there's delicious food, and you don't have to dress up, and you can leave whenever you fucking want to. You can go to, naked? And... I don't know. Probably probably not. <laughs> I mean, I can, but... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but there's some, there's some roller coasters there that are pretty neat, and there's some water rides, and the food there is insanely phenomenal, and none of it's good for you. And it's the kind of place where... It's like, like Olive Branson, where if you, like delicious jams and jellies and candied sweets and excellent just food and shirts and old-timey wooden signs and stuff like that it's amazing and i'm a big tech guy but i can appreciate the the joy of places like silver dollar city rags have you seen shoji tabuchi and branson no i never saw shoji tabuchi but i saw yakov smirnov when i went to um Branson once and that was a really great show. I really I really enjoyed Yakov Shmirnov. Did, did did he enjoy you? Um, I don't know. We never spoke. Damn. That's a shame. I yeah. said hi to David Copperfield when I went to <clears throat> Vegas. I went up stage and I was part of a I did, I not I didn't upstage him. I, I probably lacked the capacity. Mm. Um, but I was part of one of his magic thingies on mm. stage. It was really cool. That fucking guy, he did, did he make you disappear? Shit. Is that why he you're a dog me... now? I was, well, no, I'm a dog because my parents were dogs. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, but he, he, he didn't make me disappear. Um, but he made me believe in magic. Nice. Not just in a young girl's heart, but like everywhere. It could be anywhere. Magic is, magic is everywhere. Calvin was right. Mm. Magic is everywhere. Only in Soviet Russia would like... Well, yeah, for those of you who don't know, the whole in Soviet Russia, car drive you, and all those jokes, I think that was Yakov Smirnov who started those. Mm. I think. I'm not sure, though. But um, he, he was funny. He was he's, he was doing, like, a fake um, running for president thing. He was like, I will, be, I will be president of America. I love America since we moved from Soviet Union. You know, in Soviet Union, the national flower was concrete. Uh, it's very funny. Mm. And maybe like, I will run for president. Ask me any question. I'll tell you what I will do as president. And someone said, how will you lower gas prices? And he said, it's simple. I will sell it in courts. And this was very funny. And so we were all just, we all just had a, we just had a great time. Mm -hmm. I can, I can understand. I have many memory. Silver Dollar City is the kind of place where your memory of it is like, an, and it's, it's an aroma. I'm not even going to say it's a smell. That demeans it. It's like calling a, a film a movie or a flick. No, no, no. It is, a, and it is an aroma of delicious food and just wonderfulness. And I love it, and it's great. All right. So that tangent's over. Let's proceed. Uh, Mola, Davy Jones' voice and Oscar Rags' thoughts on Ethiopia and Rags respond with your Heisenberg voice, Mootle, be my Jar Jar. Enough! <laughs> Enough! <laughs> These voice requests <laughs> trying to get through questions you know how far behind we are you crazy voice requesters um so, so for example have you guys seen invincible if so thoughts it's like no we haven't i have not no, seen no, invincible no, 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 no though many many people have asked mm -hmm. so maybe we'll check it out and we'll tell everyone how bad it actually is sometime it's the cool but new who knows? thing it is the cool new thing um I don't know. I mean, I'm not against it, but we've got a lot on our plate. Yeah. Especially metal, because it's fat. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. You're supposed to have lots on your plate if you're fat. It's the part of the you're rules. You're supposed to have lots on your plate if you're in Silver Dollar City. Oh. Well, you should go to Silver Dollar City. I hear they have lots and lots of awesome. If you That's... ever come to America, we'll go to Silver Dollar City. I'm sure. to Golden Dollar City. Huh? I'm too poor for that. that. <laughs> they had to they had to downgrade after mm. the COVID. Oh, bummer. Now it's silver dollar. Then they'll be just like <laughs> copper penny city. And then Damn. they'll just be aluminum town. <laughs> that's, that's, you know, something. You know? Yeah, then after that, they'll just be shitville. Shitville, well. I feel like they, there could be some fun stuff in shitville. I don't know. Poopyville. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, are you guys sure Resident Evil 8 is better than 7? 
Yeah. Um, because uh, I have yeah, basically I all the same so. issues with Seven. And seven's seven, smaller and thinner. Yeah. yeah, Resident Evil 8 is a somewhat improved... Ver a, a definitely, but only minor improvement over Resident Evil 7. Like, I would call it a refined Resident much... Evil 7, which is not something I wanted. Yeah, um... I would much rather play Village than play Resident Evil 7 again. It's not even close. But I would just... I'd rather play another... I'd rather play co-op Resident Evil 5 than Resident yeah. Evil Village. Agreed. Is Resident Evil 6 co-op? Yeah, yeah. Should that be on our list? Where have you been? There's been like several super chats that I've said we're going to be doing. David Copperfield made me disappear. Oh my <laughs> good god. <laughs> We've been over this. Wow, look at this. It's like, oh, you, you, you get true Jedi? It's like, already got it. <laughs> already Without. got it. I'm just so good at this game. Like, Lego there historians will watch me play this game and just not understand. I don't get it. There's a Jedi going rampage on our roof. I don't know what to do. No, he's escaping. It's okay. I'm escaping the <laughs> evil droids. Or they hit me with their racism lasers. Oh, no. Hey, no one massacres those younglings but me! Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I like that meme where he's like, Anakin tells Palpatine what he did. He's like, what? <laughs> Why? You did <laughs> what? Like, you did what? <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! Anakin. We can re-educate re re them and everything. It's like, you did what? <laughs> you told me to kill all of them. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Anakin, just wanted to let you know before, you know, before you go over to the <laughs> Jedi Temple, I know there's going to be a bunch of younglings and stuff in there, and they're probably a bunch of dumbasses, don't know anything. We'll just re-educate them and turn them into Jedi of our own. Wait, you did what? That's... You did what? <laughs> what? Holy fuck! This is what you wanted, right? Turning he's like, into well, Skeletor! Yeah, he's like, that's a little cartoony evil, dude. Like, you know. Take a Holy bit fire there. fuck, Anakin. You're fired. <laughs> I mean, I know I renamed you Darth Vader, but oh, <laughs> holy shit. That means, you know, Dark Father or whatever. It's not, it's not like the worst thing. Well, this game's on PC. Why are you emulating it? Fucking last time I... Did, I don't have it on PC, I think. It works on emulator. What's wrong? Why are you complaining? I hate everyone. No. You can't just um, I meant, is it inherently bad for characters to state the theme in the text, like Yoda and TLJ or Gandalf and Moria? I don't think so. Um, it's really a matter of earning that kind of dialogue, and then it can be used as a sort of... Uh, cherry on the cake for explaining the thematic throughline. Um, I just think it's cringe I, yeah. when it comes out of nowhere, or if it's completely contradictive. Or when you treat me like an idiot who can't piece together what the obvious theme is yeah and you know but like when you when gandalf says it in moria they have a whole discussion about Gollum and bilbo and all that stuff and it, it comes across as really great yeah, remember, it comes um, across as natural there's the stuff with uh with pippin when uh the troll is breaking down one of the last doors in minas tirith and he's, he's talking to him it's like a i think that's probably like a sister scene in a way and it's just kind like of. as long as it's contextually appropriate i'm totally fine with it you don't just randomly start talking about the theme, it's just like, oh. Bam, bam, bam. Oh yeah, and there's so many people who are like, I can't wait for the coverage of uh, whatever of the dead, Army of the Dead, to come out. I'm just like, we're gonna watch it on Sunday, which means you guys probably won't see it for like a month, you know that, right? <laughs> Feels bad, man. The Mortal Kombat one, that was it coming out as fast as we could. You know? Oh no, my several bricks fell apart. If only we could put them back. That's Several the one bricks. thing you didn't want to happen. That was the one Earth's thing we didn't. Oh my god, it's Anakin! Beta! <gasps> He's right there. Da -da 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 -da. Oh look, they've got the perfect 500. Oh, I've got plenty. I've got like 100,000. So we can definitely afford that. Hey look, pod racing. Oh no! We're getting the, the freeze warning that we got in the other... Uh, in... in Fucking monkey ball. That is not good, everyone. Mm-mm. You're doing uh, it wrong! This money is for Rebel Friend. Uh-oh, here we go. It's pod racing. Would you well, guys why be... don't you just bypass the compressor? I know. Girl, I love that... I love the pod racing game on N64 back in the day. I played that shit a lot. That's your opinion. No, it's happened. 
Would you guys be interested in a new Star Wars trilogy by George Lucas? Sounds kind of interesting to me, but I don't know. It's kind of like a little too late. I, I would sure, take it. Sure, fuck it. I would take it, yeah. Let's do whatever. Oh, what are the controls? A to go faster. Okay. Can I shoot? Oh no, it's a pod <laughs> racing. I, I shouldn't be able <laughs> to, to go shoot. Fast. Just kill them all. <laughs> Oh, go faster, 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 faster. All right, faster. there's a good chance we'll be playing this level multiple times because I fucking yeah, I'm bad at pod racing. Well, no human can do it. Well, except Anakin. Anakin's not a human. Uh oh, what? I went on the off ramp. We. Yeah, Anakin's not a human. He's a forceman, idiot. Forceman. Oh, a Jedi? We 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 agreed that that oh, was I... a, an occupation, not a race. Oh, I died. Oh wait, do I have- I didn't even spot my health. Okay, alright. Is there any way to turn faster? That's embarrassing. Go slower. slower. <laughs> I shan't like to go slower, although I will not win, and I can't have that. So am I allowed to go on the off-ramp, or does that take health off me? Because, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh, do, 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 do. Whee! Am I winning, Mom? Also, someone in chat said there was no checkpoints. That's not reassuring. Even slightly. Oh no, Tuscan Raiders! Sand people! Raiders, please. Um, by the way, Muller, I thought you said uh, RE7 was good. Hmm. I might have said I... that in my video when I first did it. Did I? Uh, that sounds... Uh, well... I almost feel like... I think your position has always, to my understanding, been that, like, the first bit is good -ish. yeah but like, like that the shit wears off really quick yeah the house bit and even then like i'm mm, but it's definitely the best part it just sort of goes it just goes to places well i would certainly update that at this point to be like uh what did i even if i was to give resident Evil a number it just it goes below five i know that i just don't know exactly where and that means you can I'm thinking like three ish. Cause it's not. I almost feel like going below a three is when you start getting into broken territory. Yeah. In Resident Evil 8, it's not broken. Yeah. It's just really, really poorly designed. But it works at what their design was. And then Resident Evil 7 is just like that, but less, basically. I wonder, oh. I wonder what this guy's stealing from me. Feel free to, but I'm, I'm just curious. What Two, from. one. Oh, did I lose? Oh man. Wait, they said no checkpoints. This was a checkpoint. You lie. Unless it counts as losing some kind of life. I don't really know. You this whole pod raising thing is rather baffling to a man such as myself. I don't understand yes. it all. Get them all. Pew, 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 pew. Oh my god, so many coins. I'm winning, Mom! And I got a mini kit. And more coins. I bet all your kits are mini. I don't know what that means, but yeah. I'm still trying to figure it out as well. This is... This is a weird pod race. I'm gonna be completely yeah. honest with you. Played a lot of pod racing games in my time, probably. Oh, ah. Really? God. I think so. I feel like it. It's probably true. Yeah, I got True Jedi already. How did I do that? I've only played wow. a third of this game. I mean, this race. Well, I mean, if only humans can do pod racers and you're playing as a human, you must... Surely, like, the only <laughs> rank you could get is a True Jedi, right? Look at this dude. Oh, no, he killed him. It's just like the movie. Um, I guess I'm a fake Jedi if I can't get the uh, all the coins. Disgusting. Did Rags just say they did it good the way they did it? Um, not really. Um, I think, uh, if, if I'm gonna rephrase, or, or maybe elaborate on that, um, I think when it comes to a game's mechanics, like, if you play Resident Evil 8, there are not many oh. bugs or, like, glitches. Things don't not work. It's not a broken game. They just made a lot of very poor design decisions, but those design decisions function as they quote unquote should. And I feel like once we start getting into the three-ish range, maybe that's the uh, the qualifier that brings it down below that. 
but I don't know. That's just me talking off the top of my head casually. Definitely something that can be explored further. Hopefully we do more gaming related EFAPs. Yeah. Um, so, ah. oh, good. I seem to be in agreement. So, yeah, because both the Amnesia Rebirth one and Oof. the uh, Village one. Oof. Unfortunately, both of these games are not good. However, <laughs> they were, the, the EFAPs, it's fun to bitch about bad games. Yeah. So, God there's damn it. definitely an element of that in there. Uh, we need a 10 hour EFAP on the Pod Race gameplay of Episode 1 of Lego Star Wars. Yes. <laughs> All of us must play it and dissect it. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's not great. The controls, pretty clunk. You know? Pretty clunk. They're the kind of thing that right. you're like, hmm, yeah. this is clunky. I reckon you would even say that, right? I think you would say, this is clunky. That's just my opinion, though. Oh, am I not making it again? God damn it, I'm like a split second away every time. I guess I'll stop trying to collect the mini kits. That's that's my error. Oh, I d oh. All right, all right, all right. I get it. Rex, how do we know that you didn't have the game on the menu for 23 hours while watching Mola stream? I love you, Rex. Don't hate me. <laughs> because I paid money for that shit, so you bet your ass I'm gonna play it. It's not clunky. Just get good, my dude. This is clunky as fuck. Bonk boy. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm making a straw pole, but I'm gonna. Awesome, uh, uh, what is this ball going quick, to be? Curious. So, the Phantom Menace pod race scene. Good <laughs> or bad? Mm. Do you think that the pod race sequence in the Phantom Menace is objectively good or bad? So I'm going to have my options here, and they're going to be a... a mi I'm going to do all four of them. Well... Oh, you're gonna do like good, but I like it. Good, but I don't like it. Oh, and then well, yeah, the form. <laughs> huh. Eh, these mines are like worms mines. That's not a criticism. <laughs> oh fuck! I gotta go. Back. I I hit enter, and instead of going to the next line, it it created the whole thing. <laughs> Damn. What a stupid fucking. Uh... You'd think they would clarify. Like, are you sure you want to create it? Yeah, because, like, my mouse was on the text, but if you hit enter, it just creates the whole poll. It doesn't go to the next line, or the next answer option, so I gotta make it again. Give me a second. Um. I think when you collect the minikit, it collects forever, so that's good. Yep. Well, well, well. Good. Prong, prong. I wonder if you can collect all 10 in this without having to redo it, like, uh, in free play. I don't know. We. I know, but I will tell you. I feel like I just keep taking over people, and it's like... Doesn't have any relevance to anything, really. Also, I don't know. That one's gonna be hard to get. I gotta, like, be fast, but also swing left when we get there. me, 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 me. Um, next oh, time you cover Mark Brownlee, you should get Small Ant on. He's a speedrunner. He could tell you about all the chaining, versatile verbs together. Oh, no. Nice. So much landing. Well, I'm gonna leave you now. I'm gonna go to bed. Sleep well, late. mortal. I'm gonna catch you around. Toodly pipples, cheerioso. Bye-bye. Good night, Nightmares. Where's my mouse? Oh. oh, there it is. Bah. Boop, boop. And so, metal is gone. Defeated. Dead. Mm -hmm. Alright, there's. I've got six options that I think will appeal. Six, that, that will damn. pretty much cover pretty much everything. So, mm -hmm. um, I'm creating the poll, and I'm going to put the straw poll in the chatter room. Neat. Whoa. Yeah. Oh my god. Like dragged my 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 pod into the stones. That's not fair. Ow! Ow! Well, that went well too. I don't like being shot at. I think it's it's off-putting to driving to be shot while driving. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm assuming you've been in several car chases, right? Oh uh, yes, yes. 
It's just like when you're driving, you're having your you know, little, little fun, and then someone's like, oh, I'm gonna shoot you. It's like, eh, you're kind of ruining it for me. Mm -hmm. I was having fun, but so you had to fun, you know. Gonna let that play for a bit. Uh, gonna put it in the chat a couple more times for everybody. Straw polls in the chat for people listening, the YouTube chat. So Jeez. take a look. Give it a little, uh, give it a little thinkerino. Drop all in the chat, everybody. I'm curious what um, everyone has to say, and I'll, I'll take a look at the results. And uh, I don't know, maybe by the, well, maybe at the end of the stream, I'll give the results a little read off. And I'm not gonna look at them until then. So I don't even know what to expect. People will say. Hmm. They're sure you're not talking about this game, right? They are talking about the movie. I, I, I did say The Phantom Menace, so mm. I am uh, I am referring to what? the movie, yes. Rags, look at that. It's a race between he and I. I took over him, but I didn't beat the timer, so it counts as a loss. Like, that doesn't make any sense. That's dumb. That's not how a race works. <laughs> Guess I gotta hit all the pads. Oh no, I, just, I did it that time, okay. No, I don't play music from the fucking film. C3PO has a the gun. Oh, we got five hundred bucks. That's a five hundred buck right there. He's got five hundred cents. That must be tough to slide things up there with all the knobs on it. Yes. We did more than into pod race on a moisture farm. Yes. Yeah. You did it. I'm so glad that ever Oh, you didn't get you didn't get attacked by Darth Maul. I did not. Not in this story. Oh, also, that could have been like a sequence. I got all ten mini kits on this one. I didn't know if you got a free play. Wow. Oh my god. Guys, goodness. I might you... be the greatest pod racer in history, I'm not sure. Um You might be. Might be. It's incredible, you know, incredible. Continue the story. This is pretty cool, because if anyone in chat has never watched any Star Wars, this is like they're finally understanding the Phantom Menace's plotline. It makes just as much sense in Lego form as it does <laughs> in the actual movie. Probably more so, even. The PC version doesn't have the timer, just saying, you know what? PC version's probably better. It probably is. Uh, I liked Indio Gaming. You should have him on more often. I also like this Doom Sausage guy has become a regular. You should make Metal the fourth host. I don't think we can survive having four hosts, because then we're not going to have... We, we may as well just make everybody a host, all right? And that's how it works, every time anyone comes on. But the thing is, um, the, the poor, the, the, the cruelty of being a host means you actually have to consume all the media we're going to be covering, so... Poor Fringy. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not something that I'd like to wish on a lot of people. Except yeah. Fringy, I'd wish on him. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we'll have Indigo Gaming back for sure. Yeah. Um, is this an objective flaw that Qui-Gon separates from Obi-Wan during the Darth Maul fight? Why didn't they stay together to fight him 2v1? Um, it seemed to me that, uh, Qui-Gon's, like, exhausted, like, pretty quickly. And that, um, I'm guessing Darth Maul is just better than them, and he's a bit freaked out and doesn't know what to do about it and doesn't want to risk it, that sort of stuff. Oh, wait, sorry, you're talking- I, I was thinking of Tatooine, you're talking about the end. I think, I think it's relatively fair that Qui-Gon could have waited for Obi-Wan to increase his chances of winning instead of just going it, you know, straight up. But if you remember, Qui-Gon's pushing Darth Maul forward. So if he just, like, hung back and waited for Obi-Wan, uh, probably would have turned out differently. But I guess, uh, old Qui-Gi real, really, really thought that he could, uh, he could do it himself, you know? Also, what's... Oh. I can't move. Yeah, yeah. I can't even move. What's happening? Oh, there wow, we go. that AC is strong. Yeah, I, I, um, I'd be curious. What was more luring Qui Gon back? Well, surely this is the thing. I don't know. If we can make any character arguments because Qui Gon's supposed to be quite uh, stoic, like aware of what the best decisions are and stuff. If you wanted to argue, he's kind of like just going it because he wants to get Darth Maul. It's like, oh. Does that match him? Do it, doth thou? I'm welcoming opinions from chat, what do you guys think? The laser holes doesn't really make a difference. 
Like, he can obviously just, once they all open, be like, Obi-Wan, catch up. Ugh, I hate when they scatter out like this. How am I to collect all of my money? Ridiculous. Also, we have R2-D2 now. Does he do the jetpack thing? Oh, he does. Look at that. Oh. And he can electrocute enemies. What else do you want? Can we get the pole back? Uh, Rags, are you there? Alright, well, when Rags is back, I'm sure he will post it again. Also, we're gonna need, uh... Gonna need Jar Jar to jump on that one, I guess. Hey, Rugs. Someone was asking hey! for the, um, for the pole again, if you can. Pole again... Also, in the chat again. do you think it is a flaw that uh, in the final fight in Phantom Menace that Qui-Gon doesn't wait for Obi-Wan, he keeps going ahead? Yeah, I I feel if... I know I would have. I feel like Qui-Gon should have been smart enough to do that. He does seem to be the more, supposedly the more wise one, who isn't, you know... That's the thing, if it were Anakin and Obi-Wan, I'd be like, nah, Anakin would totally just run off because he's like that. But Qui-Gon, it's like, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that one. That's, uh, yeah. I, I don't know about that. I I think there's definitely some discussion to be had about that part of the film, but... Mm. Yes. Yeah, man. I know I would have stuck with my buddy in a life-or-death scenario, and I had my swordsman to help me there. And this yeah. other dude is clearly very skilled, and I would be waiting for my friends. Oh, when you kill Droidicus before would... they activate shields. Oh. And I'd also be checking to see if Obi-Wan was, like, okay after he got kicked off. Yeah. I suppose, um... He knew. <laughs> like he just, I don't know. This is the thing with that fight. It's kind of like, I don't really... It's a little weird. That's, um... Super flashy, though. Very flashy. Definitely entertaining. Right, I can't open the link. Um, oh, no. It works for me. Eh. What's going on around here? You kind of shoot me. Oh. You can't shoot me. Or rather, don't shoot me. I feel like you would be breaking some form of law. Um, if neither Steve or Vision had reason to believe they'd survive, then why does the former work and not the latter? Um, I don't know that Steve would know that he's going to die or not, but uh, I'm pretty sure they make it clear that not only is Vision in that stone, but that removing it from him non-surgically will just, uh, kill him. Like, that's how it works, sort of thing. But Steve, um, freezing him, I think, was up in the air. I don't think anybody knows if that's gonna kill him or not. But, uh, it would be reasonable to assume it would. But, turns out it doesn't. I don't know that meta-knowledge is the thing that makes that okay. I don't, I've never really felt that way. And they use the mechanic a whole bunch with the Bucky, of course. Freezing him and stuff. Super soldiers can survive freezing. It's just apparently how it works. I don't think that would hold up in any kind of biological discussion, but uh, I think that's one of those sci-fi fantasy things. Come on, get up here. How do I do this? Oh, is this how I have to do it? Stop! Gotta be fucking joke. <laughs> well, I guess we gotta kill him first. You're a super chat misser. Oh my goodness. Would you guys be interested in a... Oh no, wait, we, we answered that one. Unless you're talking about a different one. Uh, we would be interested in a... Uh, George Lucas trilogy, mainly because I don't see why not. Not that that's a great reason, but, uh, you know. I'll watch I, it. I would be interested, yeah. I would absolutely be interested in seeing that. Where did you learn to start on time? 
on a farm. Please yes. do another. Please do another Toy Story 4 video. It's a special kind of torture, and I want to suffer. Oh, we can't have that. Um, I heard Shafrillis thinks the Toy Story 4 is the best one. Maybe he has a video we could cover. Maybe, but well, he's an idiot, so it's very possible that he thinks that. Who, who knows? How, how who knows? Eh, yeah, this is annoying. I, I guess we'll go kill him with with Leia. Sorry, Padme. I keep doing that. My brain's got Padme locked in a box. Goodbye, racist droids. In a box, locked in a box, in a box. Our Lord Tonald is in chat, is he? Oh, really? He is, hello. Hi, Tonald. Hello. Uh, I'm sure he likes Lego Star Wars. Who doesn't, you know? Who doesn't? Like, other than Jay looking to rip it down because he hates art. I can't check because they used to have the thing on the... Wow. This is one of those things, like, they removed, and I have no fucking clue why. But they used to have that option where you can go to channel on someone in chat. Like, you could go to the little option drop-down, and, and you had the option that said go to channel. And that's how you could tell and make sure. But, um... Oh, yeah, apparently that... It, well, yeah, I was gonna say... But it's we, gone now. Is it him, or is it a phony? Yeah, but they, it's like... it's That's YouTube, though. They just... It's gone. That option just doesn't exist anymore. And I have no clue why. Why, YouTube? Why do you do this? I was going to say, how do we how do we get proof then? How do we know? I don't know. Hmm. He it has was... to say something that only Tonal would say. I don't think that's going to do it. <laughs> Well, sure it would, because only Tonald would say it. Mm, but a Tonald imposter could do it. That's airtight what? logic. Why is this a thing I can do? What is up? What is, what is the benefit of being up there? I don't understand. Hmm. Wow, children can only single jump. What's that about? That bigotry. Whoa. Hmm. Dum 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 dum. Um, well, I know how I would know. He could DM me on Twitter and be like, yeah, that's me. That was, that's the oh, ultimate. That's, yeah, that is, yeah, it's true. Because uh, he can come hang out if he wants to. Uh, yeah, sure. Let us know. Maybe, maybe we talk, talk some Lego Star Wars, yeah? Talk about, we can talk about food. Yeah. In fact, yeah, that, that might actually help because I, I sent you a picture of it. That chicken that I got. Mm -hmm. For like four and a half bucks, those those big old chicken chunks. I got a. I I, I generally uh, I I don't really know what to do with them. I'm probably gonna bake them, but I'm not sure because I don't Boy, generally ever bake them. stuff. I I just I'll, I grill or something like that. I, I don't bake, so maybe you know could be a uh, could could be something. Could be my first bacon, my first baked chicken that I've ever done. I just I just never baked chicken before, so that be that could be cool, because uh, everyone knows baked chicken is very excellent. I've had lots of baked chicken. My parents do it all the time, because uh, they like to invite me over because I'm such pleasant company. Apparently, so, he deleted his Twitter. Uh, then Discord should work, because uh, I've got I've got a history of uh, back and forth with him, so I'll nice. know if it's the real one. Oh, that's really because we've had we've had a couple Someone people said, faking accounts before. Someone said, marinate them in Mountain Dew. That's a solid option that I'm uh, <laughs> definitely considering, of course. Um, someone said, barbecue it. Well, it, it's like it's it's like a pre-seasoned a, a, a kind of chicken that they sort of did. And for whatever reason, it was just insanely cheap. So I'm pr I, I don't think I need to actually do anything to it. Um, so I'm probably going to go and actually get a pan for it. I might hmm. just get aluminum. Just get some aluminum foil. I wish I had a like a Dutch oven or something, or um, like I, I wish I could make a fire. Cause I can't around here. I don't have a place for it. Um, and then just do it the old-fashioned way. That would be fun. That'd be a fun thing to do. But oh. um, alas, I'll have to just uh, 
It's something else. So hmm. uh, it's been years since I've seen the Phantom Menace, but I've always interpreted that scene as Qui Gon sort of taking an acceptable risk. I don't know. Um, What's the? Why would it be acceptable? So yeah, why is that a risk that you would take? Just seems like... especially when your life is on the line. Yeah, you just it seems like you're crippling yourself in a sense. Yeah, just just wait for Obi Wan to show up and then continue fighting together. Because of course, if he was being drawn back and back by Darth Maul, I'd be like, eh, well, yeah, that's reason enough. But uh, it is him pushing Darth Maul further, so it's like, could mm -hmm. just you know not do that. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm not sure I've thought much about that. So I think it's a it's a fair comment. So everybody, stand on your switches. Yes. Um. The Phantom Menace is objectively the best Star Wars prequel film. Episode 2 is the worst, and Episode 3 has the biggest 180 character flip in film history. Oh. Wow. Interesting opinion. Uh, Be willing to hear it out? Or... I don't, you know what's the funny part? I don't know which character they're talking about. I'm assuming Anakin, but it could be others. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm not exactly certain myself. Huh. Ah. Precious Minikit. Hmm. Um. It's basically my birthday. Can you all say oo-woo backwards? Oo-woo? Oo-woo. There you go. Nailed it. Yeah. The deed is done. Hello, Theo, Frog Daddy G, North Hoof, Capital O, E Fappers of Botswana, and finally, without any further ado, hello, chat. How are you guys? Oh, that's nice. I guess we're, we're bouncing between today's and uh, E Fap 127s, if ever there's confusion. Sure. Um, yay, more E Fap. Hi, Rags. Aw. Hi there. Stan Crude's 2, Southpaw Goodtism. Hi, Rags. Hi there. I have heard good things about the Croods too from from their circles. Not seen it yeah. myself. Yeah, I've never seen the Croods, any of them. Damn it, Padme, shoot up, up. See, this guy kind of aims the gun up like that when he jumps. Yeah. And it actually gets me to shoot these things and get money. What's that about? Are they saying black people are better than women? What's happening? Wow. Nah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. You can only shoot the upper window from far away. Uh, debunked. Black people can shoot windows from right next to them. So, you know, get your facts straight, bro. This is what I mean about me being yeah. the greatest LEGO Star Wars player in history. There's all these rumors about the gameplay, but I'm like, hey, bro, come here. About to destroy your rumors. See, look at that. He, he lifts it up, because he's a good man. That's what you need in your, uh... Your window destroyers. Legend. <laughs> or I guess that works too. The Phantom. Oh wait. Uh, yeah. By the way, uh, what was our rating? Was it the the first one's the worst, second one is slightly better, and the third one's the best? That's what I recall. Yeah. Who knows? On another rewatch, though, it's always hard to get all of the references. Of which there are many. Uh oh. Blast them. Um. Dear Rags, regarding your stance on the Asura, your mother is a hamster and your father stinks of elderberry. Sincerely, an Asura fan, I guess? Okay. What is Asura? Is that an anime? Uh, oh, they're one of the races in Guild Wars. Oh. Well, there you go. Yeah. Like yes, rats. also hi, Rags. Hi there. Can I jump out these windows and not die? That is a no. Why? Oh, uh, capital opinion sounds like casually explained. Ah, fascinating. Uh, this weekend you can see Cruella or A Quiet Place 2. Which do you see and what do you think of covering them? Um, AQP is bad. The dad died for nothing. AQP? Quiet place. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. The dad did die for nothing. It was really stupid. He um, what does he do? He like he makes a bunch of noise for them to come right to him instead of just fucking yeah, throwing he yells. it. 
Yeah, he doesn't have to yeah. do that. He has plenty of instruments to make loads of sounds. Um, it makes for a good payoff if you're not thinking about that sort of thing, though. Like, mm. wow, what a sacrifice that lad made. But, like, it, that's the that's the fucking... Does that not sum up the problem? <laughs> like, of the emotion versus the logic. Because I think the only way you can translate that to somebody is just randomly in a scene, like if it was like Star Wars, Finn just yells and everyone's like, wait, what? And shoots himself in the head and it's like, he had to make that sacrifice. And like, Why? And then it's, and all the stormtroopers are just so like, what the fuck happened? They're so confused by that, that <laughs> it gives everyone a moment to run away. He had to make that Instead sacrifice. Instead of Finn just, yeah. All right, have I got any more boxes or do I have? Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, um, I could see us covering A Quiet Place 1 and 2 back-to-back -back at some point, because, um, it's like, people are always curious about coverage on that one in terms of, um, additional flaws than the standard ones, and it's like, I think we could have some fun with it, especially if the second one's out. But, um, you know, crazily, I've heard that the second one is good. <gasps> yeah, who knows? Who knows? Can you add em and believe it? Oh, these are evil switches. Only the Sith can open them. Really? Yeah. Oh. At least I think so. They're red lights and I don't have any control over them, but I think the Sith can light them up. Is it the Palpatine lights? It makes sense. Oh my. Um. Quiet Place 2, an even quieter place. Yep. Hmm. Padme, shoot them. Uh, do Nostalgia Critics, Man of Steel featuring Angry Joe. Also, Meme Fat Part 2, when? Oh, that's relevant now. That's been recorded. It's ready to release. I'm just going to try and fit it in with this, the, the rest of stuff happening in a, in a nice slot. Uh, it's coming. Hmm. As for more Man of Steel videos, oh boy. There's just so much for us to cover for, you know, the flumps of people with, with the DCEU. Um... Can I not do anything with this? I need Jar Jar and, and Sith powers, I think, so... I have to leave that for now. Well, that sounds interesting, though. The, the, uh, the uh, A Nostalgia Critic Angry Joe team-up on Man of Steel. I don't even know what to make of it. Just feel like it's gonna be ass to watch, but I mean, we could. You know, we could. But should? It could be interesting. Should we? Should <laughs> Should we do any of this? Spring frog is my favorite bean. All right. That's a fair choice. Favorite bean? Apparently, yeah. Watch John Solo messed up origin series where he goes into detail the difference between Disney's animated movies and their original source. They're so much better than Wisecrack's video on cute. I'm sure they are. I th I, their video was useless. It was like... People in the comment section were trying to like make better arguments for like a similar type of argument. But um... Yeah, I I'll repeat it as I always do. I remember when I first heard of Wisecrack and first watched their videos ages ago, I was like, this channel's kind of neat. But from what I understand, they switched writers, and now it's garbage. It's like extra credits. There was once upon a time where people liked extra credits, right? Once upon a time. There was. Once upon a time. So much better when they... Oh my god, Anakin's sound when he gets hurt. It's fucking weird. He sounds like anime. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> it's like, what a horrible infection. Yay, sprinklers! Oh, and money. Dude, can you think of a better game when you're getting sprinkled with water and money? No. Exactly. Uh, Non-linearity in video games is overrated. Discuss. Um, I figure they're both correctly rated. I don't. I don't know that anybody. Uh, maybe I can agree when people are like, "This game is open world." These days, I'm like, "Yeah." Open world just because a lot of open world games are done a certain way and a lot of the times they're just not that interesting and they don't really take advantage of open world elements 
Um, I'm fine with open world games. Yeah, because concept particularly. The problem that I'm dealing with right now is like, isn't open world overrated? And it's like, well, no, because open world can be incredible. Like, same with linear. I, it's just that we have a lot of shitty examples of both, to be honest. So, uh, I don't know, but maybe overrated in how it's used marketing-wise. I don't know. Like a lot of people can get really overexcited about something being open world when they should know what it means by now, which is that it's probably going to be an empty world or repetitive world. You know, team, you could try and defend me while I do all of the puzzles. Are they actually puzzles? Yeah. My god, they actually are defending me now. They keep taking the shots. <laughs> Their AI must be broken. <laughs> they wouldn't want to defend Clear. you. Clearly a bug. EFAP on WandaVision next week? It's really bad and it's got lots of Disnoids defending it, such as J vs. Ben? Or Mr. Sunday Movies. Also, High Rags and Muller. And M. Hey there! We did cover that. It was terrible. The the, the show, I mean. And um, I can totally picture loads of people loved it. Which, you yeah, know, it happens. What you gonna do? Uh. Oh yeah, so out of, by the way, which one are we thinking of covering? A Quiet Place 2 or uh, Cruella? I would much prefer to cover A Quiet Place 2, because Cruella... Do... Are we, what are we supposed to do about Cruella? Like, watch 101 Dalmatians first, just to be even more depressed, or watch it on its own? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We can do either. Either is fine. Yeah. This isn't quite right. Hmm. Gonna need a combo of characters at some point, I think. I'm tired of turning lights on and they don't do anything except turn on. Outrageous. It's unfair. It's not fair. How can you be turned on but not provide me any money? Doesn't make sense. Not what I learned in school. Oh. Such a good Jedi right now. True Jedi now. Mm. Takes a lot to be a true Jedi. Hey, can I destroy these? Do it from the outside, I think. Gotcha. Have my promotion money and have a good day. Oh. Oh, thank you. Good news on Howdy the promotion. Noise. We're gonna go over here first and kill the guy who keeps shooting at me, I think. The vengeance play. Um John Krasinski said the monsters in AQP are aliens. Uh, I always thought they were, are they not? Yeah, I thought they were. They like landed, right? I think it was some kind of scary, uh, like, kind of like an invasion. Or if they arrived by like a comet or something. Stop killing my friends. Also, you could, you guys could drop more hearts. I'm gonna say it. Uh, hashtag based brown table. Don't know what brown table has said recently, but sure. Me neither. Mm hmm. Oh no, did Anakin fall down? Oh. Oh no. I can get over there too if I really wanna. I just don't. Bit. Yeah, see? I told you. Anakin ain't so special. Oh, wow, I'm not sure we'll be able to get all the money in this one. Uh, I have a worry. Am I not a true Jedi? I guess. I guess maybe not. Hey, there we go. Uh, I still don't see how Vision sacrifice is undone or cheapened if at the time he sacrificed himself with no expectation he would or could survive. Um, so when you watch it again, you'll know it. that that's not what it means. And so you're just like, oh well. It's not on his character. We just know, especially moving forward, whenever anyone supposedly yeah. sacrifices themselves that... And now other characters are kind of a of it too. That there's a way for them to come back through magical bullshit. Which is, yeah, I mean, isn't everyone back now except, um... Fuck, I always forget his name. Uh, Idris Elba's character in Thor. Like, he's the only one who hasn't come back, but apparently he's going to be showing up. That's it, Heimdall. I think he's going to be showing up in, um... 
Love and Thunder, that's what I've heard, so... If he's back too, that's just everyone. Hope, um... You know, hope it isn't shit in terms of everybody's returns, but... I don't know. Uh... Have you guys seen the Eternals new trailer? It's going to be entertaining to see Disney writers explain where they were and what they were doing when Thanos was snapping away half the universe. The fact that everybody has that question means that they're not going to be able to get away with not answering it, I don't think. Which is probably what they hoped. They they could they could totally just ignore it. Well, they can do that. I just think that this is one of those ones where even the general public, who've been paying at least some attention, might be like, hmm. I, I guess, I guess maybe. Sense. I think we're going to get, at best, just a throwaway line. We shall see. Only keeps forgetting Black Widow, Batman. She's got her own movie. That's like the, you know, like so. This is the thing. All of their resurrections are different. Like she's the only one that canonically isn't being resurrected necessarily. But um, I'm not even sure that we can guarantee that until we see her film. Because I think Fringy had a worry that uh they might have it so that. Her clone or some shit was in Endgame and not the real her. Obviously not, like, an actual, for sure, definite thing. Just, just, you know, have some worry. Um, and yeah, I, I... I just get worried with um, what they're going to do to these characters too. That's obviously on top of everything else. Is that an Anakin hole? Hmm. An A-hole? Yeah. East an A-hole. Oh, no, 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 no. That's dropping things and he can't pick them up for me. Go, Anakin. Grab them. Oh. Well, what are you gonna do, I guess? That yourself. God darn it, concern it. Hmm. I don't know why... Hmm, alright, well... Go down here. Uh, I meant to make Metal the fifth host, sorry. Wolf Forever. Also, hi Rags, long live Sport. Oh, hi there. Yeah, Sport's great. He's a good guy. He's he's done nothing but help, so, you know, people who hate the Sport, you know, I, I don't know what to say to them. They're Maybe wrong. They're, you know. Oh my god, that's how you're supposed to do it. Alright, Jedi. Fuck it up. No, no, uh, well, that was, that went really well. Let's just move on. Fuck it up. Oh, yeah. Did I just hear the resistance theme? Shame on you. I can fucking, the, the soundtrack in the sequel trilogy is not terrible. It's just reused and then some stuff is original. It's like, okay. I can hum whatever I want. Because that mm. is the power of the individual. We are, that is, that's what we're all about here. I'm a true Jedi, like my father before me. Uh, please read the Powerpuff Girls CW script on EFAP. We have considered it. All right. We've considered We've it. We've considered it. So it, it'll it'll possibly happen. Who can know for sure? Give this five to Rags because he's a good boy who frequently says disparaging things about movie Bob. Also, high mutually gay. <laughs> hmm. Hard to be disparaging about Movie Bob because he's such a, a cruel creature that like what you say might just be a compliment. Yeah, we're not we're not insulting Movie Bob, we're describing him. What's the plan for EFAB 150? Hasn't been much talk about it. Oh, we're still a good two and a half months away, right? But um I don't think this is the thing, I don't think anything's gonna be as special as the first anniversary and the um, episode 100 until we hit like a thousand, you know, so this is just gonna be, gonna be a long EFAP. We'll try and cover a whole bunch of subjects, have a whole bunch of people on. Hopefully it'll be real fun. Hmm. Who knows, maybe I'll play Lego Star Wars during it. That would just be like the ultimate gift, I think. You, uh, Benis or Benis? Just, just that word alone. Benis, Benis. 
Where does EFAP critique? Um, on a farm? Well, I mean, yeah. A farm yeah. where we grow delicious critique. Mm-hmm. You can milk critique from the rhinos in this farm. Like a shortcut to victory. Um, I can't believe EFAP is airing out of order. I'm going to complain to the manager. Jay's probably too busy with a certain doctor. Yes. Also, wait, it didn't air out of order, did it? What? News to me. You, that EFAP was airing out of order. Sounds like that. lies to me. Oh, mm. man. That kind of gets up to you. Yeah. Oh, ooh, hello. Makes me wonder what other lies the Jedi told him. Hmm. I know the lies of the Jedi. You guys are all dicks. Yeah. God, I need Jar Jar for like everything. I guess it's kind That's of just life. It's just true to the movies, isn't it? It's like we really needed him, and they kind of betrayed him. So yeah, what happened? Hey guys. Ah. Hey. Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm playing some Legos, as you do. Legos. Probably the most adult game I've played on Super Chat Catch-Up. I've had to Way tell more. the audience to look away sometimes. Way more adult than uh, Resident Evil. Mm-hmm. This, this game has uh, stakes, you know? You don't, you don't quite know who's going to make it. You don't know when Yoda or Jar Jar will fall off the map. And scream. And go, huh? Oh. You'd think R2 was capable of more, but no, he just falls over and dies. Yeah, how you doing? What are you up to? Playing video games? Uh, Ooh. mostly just editing right now, but, um, yeah, just, yeah, he reached out to me, so just thought a good chat. Be fun. That's what we do when we've got not a mainline episode to do. We're just gonna catch up with all those messages we've been sent. All those memes. Which, if we're finally actually catching up now, it's, uh, it's, uh, we're doing well. Getting That's there. incredible. It's only a matter of time, though, before we're stuck being falling behind again, because this is, like, the biggest media drought we've ever had, and we have plenty to do still. I don't know how that works, but it, it works. Yeah, I think we're still recovering from the 2020, uh, disaster. Mo every movie got delayed, like, a year or two. Which means we're gonna get, like, double the movies soon, and everyone's gonna be like, cover it, cover it, cover it, and we'll be like, you know what? You just can't. <laughs> Look down and whisper, no. <laughs> <laughs> they must accept it. Modding RE6 is very fun. I, I've, I've seen um, someone modded it so that they turned all the zombies into like Shrek, I think. Which is, oh no! This is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I could see I that improving it. I think the day of the release of RE8's demo, they had already done a mod with Thomas the Tank Engine to replace Lady D's face. I remember seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sorry, excuse me, but the Jedi just did a jump that is enormous, like more than double what Jar Jar can do. That's not fair. Rags, watch this craziness. All right, let me... What is that? I can't do that. The fuck, guys? If I had this... Whoa! <laughs> like... That's some bullshit! I need to be able to do that. Like, it's super useful. Ow! Where, yeah, just pulling abilities out your asshole because you need to, wow. Well, yeah, we need we need this for the, the, there's a coin over here that I can't get. Like, what's going on, guys? Outrage. Dissonance. I can't stand it. What is... It's wrong. So... In the Lego universe, things can be made out of their proper materials, like stone and things like that, but you also have like the details that are just plastic. You know what? I'm not sure like how it works. Like fences and... Are the plants made of Legos? They don't seem to be. They're kind of selective as to what's a Lego and what's not, right? Yeah. It's kind of random sometimes. Sometimes it's like... real. Like, look at the floor in this place. It looks kind of nice, actually. Marble. Marble. Floor. Yeah. Like, does Lego do marble now? I don't know. I wouldn't want to assume, you know? Defensive to the world. Um. 
Please read the... Oh, yeah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Which is better? Games with good gameplay and a bad story, or games with bad story and a good gameplay? I think we... Good we answered this before. Yeah, we're, we're very much on uh, team gameplay for, for video games. Not that, um... I'd be... Because this is the thing. Going to, like, an extreme of, like, the gameplay is so awful it ruins a great story. It's like, yeah, sure. But if you have a game that's got, like, just basic as fuck gameplay but an incredible story, it's like, it's probably going to be able to carry it. Um... But if I had a preference, it would be, give me them mechanics, yo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All hail Big Onion. Yep. That was weird. A pilot episode for the Chibnall series about a Big Onion. So bizarre. Not in a good way, either. Think of the resources he had. Not fair. Making dumb shit. <laughs> What's funny as well is this, this like clip that everyone uses when criticizing him. Basically, he was like on some kind of show about Doctor Who when he was a kid, or at least a teenager, and he was criticizing it for being shit. And it's just like, oh my god. But as you as you can imagine, he's evolved as a critic now. No yeah, such thing as a yeah. bad Doctor Who episode. They're all rather good. Yeah, they're all great. The last I never. Um, I thought it was a weird choice that they uh, that they thought that the guy who covers his face with teeth is somehow the big bad of the first season, <laughs> the Chibnall season. That was an odd choice, right? <laughs> That's such an edgy boy thing. It's like, my villain puts teeth all over him. You're like, okay. <laughs> uh... I got teeth in my head, to be fair. And, and I noticed that, uh, like, uh, I, even uh, in Jay's video, um, they show some like promotional artwork which is fully lit so all the teeth are bright white and it looks really really dumb but mm -hmm. i noticed the show seemed to be kind of embarrassed so they just always like lit him really dark and edgy with like profile lighting to kind of cover up the fact that he's covered with white teeth <laughs> yeah i think that they realized when maybe in you know concept they were like that could be really creepy and then when they finished it they were like okay this isn't creepy actually no not creepy just really lame yeah the lighting guy tried to save it. He lost all of his teeth um, in a tragic accident a long time ago, and he has had to subsist on like soup, nothing but soup mm -hmm. for many, many years. Uh, they, Nick, because he has no teeth, he can only eat like soup and marshmallows, uh -huh. and he's he's come to loathe his life, and yes. so as a result, um, he 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 travels the galaxy, taking other people's teeth, so, they, so yeah. that. They may know that pain. Well, exactly. So they can understand the pain that he has to go through. And to mock them, despite his curse, mm -hmm. he now covers his head in teeth. Right? Yes. As if he's and... saying to the universe, Oh, you foul, foul gods above. Oh, ye, I spit at you. I curse thee. Mm. I will teeth myself thoroughly. In spite of your, you know, your, your curse to my life, oh, crack your cheeks, rage blow, and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, I figure. It's very, it's very, it's very poetic. I think people, yeah, I, I think that was all metatextual information, so I understand why a lot of, you know, people might not have quite a lot, it. a lot of kids might not understand the deeper elements. He's the key to all this. I'd say so, Teeth Man, yes. I could, people call him the, the Gerber man because he can't eat any uh, chewable food. Hey, Rags, you know if a time-traveling alien was like, come with me, we can do some awesome stuff, and you said yes, and on the first adventure where you hadn't even agreed to come along yet, they almost killed you? <laughs> what, 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 do you feel like you might have something to say to them? I don't know. I feel like I'd always have something to say to anyone. Mm -hmm. That just sounds like me. Just, just like It's kind of baffling, you know? They never talk about it. It's like, you almost killed us. And she's just like, yeah, it's fine. You know, I... accidents happen, tee hee. Because I wouldn't want to be ejected into the vacuum of space. Like, that's my opinion. I know a lot of people feel differently, and that's fine. Yeah. I'd want to avoid that. Hmm. I have a lot of goals in life. Actually, I don't. But one of my goals in life is to not find myself floating in outer space. Unprotected. Yes. That sounds bad. I reckon it just straight up is. 
I just, it's just not a place that a dog's meant to be. Mm -hmm. I seem very, I, I just seem like I'm built for this terrestrial life, you know? And it's like, do you want to go oh. vacuum? And you're like, nah. No, I mean, I'm as a dog, I'm terrified of vacuums. So yeah. I definitely want to stay out of space. Yeah, you don't go to space when you die, you just go to heaven. Dogs go to heaven. Mm-hmm. Wait, do a lot of people end up in space when they I, die? Why that would sucks. you... Yeah, let's say, why would you go to space? Is that where bad people go? Is they go to space <laughs> when they die? Pretty awful. You can either go to heaven or, or space. space. <laughs> what did you do to end up here? <laughs> Better live my life well. No, uh, I can't tell what way is the not way. Damn you, Lego. Oh no, Resident Evil 8 design again. Uh... Has anyone actually died in space yet? Uh, probably like test test flights. I'm I'm sure, right? Yeah, I would assume something exploded in space and people died. I don't know. I think so. Let Let me check because I, I imagine all of the like tragedies with space stations and stuff. It happens when they're like going up into space and mm -hmm. things. Uh, but I don't know if anyone's actually died in space. Um, a lot of people. Um, let's see. Um, okay, actually it says no, nobody has died in space. Uh, people have died training for space, trying to get into space and returning from space, but nobody has really died in space. Um, but people are saying Russians, there's three Russians well, who apparently did. Well, this says the one incident that technically happened in space was Soyuz 11, in which a vent valve opened and caused depressurization. So, I guess that means that... Let me look that up. Um, okay, yeah, so all, like, during flight or takeoff or whatever, training. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Take a look here. Um... Let's see. Um, on 29th of June, 1971, after an apparently normal re-entry of the capsule into, of the Soyuz 11 mission, the recovery team opened the capsule to find the crew dead. Damn. Um, outwardly, there was no damage whatsoever. Um, this is Karim Karimov. His name is Karim Karimov. A, he's added an of to the end of his first name. That's fine. Karim Karimov, chair of the state commission, recalled, outwardly, there was no damage whatsoever. They knocked on the side, but there was no response from within. On opening the hatch, they found all three men in their couches, motionless with dark blue patches on their faces and trails of blood from their noses and ears. They removed them from the descent module. De Rovalski was still warm. The doctors gave artificial respiration. Based on their reports, the cause of death was suffocation. Uh, so it became apparent that they had asphyxiated. The fault was traced to a breathing ventilation valve located between the orbital module and the descent module that had been jolted open as the descent module separated from the service module, blah, 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 blah. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, it was something about the explosive seals. They didn't go off correctly. So, let's see. Da, da, da. It's like they depressurized. Exposure. Depressurized. That might be an awful way to go. Oh, Where yeah. They, it, all of which are uh, exposure to a vacuum environment cause the oxygen and nitrogen in their bloodstream to bubble and rupture vessels. Uh, lots of lactic acid, uh, cyologic stress. Um, let's see. Yeah, I guess that would be the only time it has happened. So because, because this is 1971 USSR, uh, they didn't even publicly announce the exact cause of the cosmonaut's death for almost two years afterwards. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. That's why we never heard about it. I just want to uh, shout out how Russian their names are. It's uh, <laughs> Viktor, Vladislav, Vladislav, sorry, and Georgi. <laughs> Most ru Russian names ever. Yeah, yeah we have Viktor Patsayev. Vladislav Volkov and Georgi Dobrovolsky. Dobrovolsky. Oof. Another terrible way to go. Droidica shooting you into tiny pieces. Yeah, the uh, J 
JX's video talking about the just the astronomical chances of uh, going to some point, a completely random point in the universe, and landing on a planet. He he wasn't he, he was like emphasizing that point, but he's probably even downplaying it. Yeah, that's so so incredibly unlikely that it's it's just. I mean, you're more likely to go inside of a, a you know well well inside of a planet, probably by a astronomical amount. You're more likely to appear inside of like the the planet's core. Um, well, no, you're more likely actually, to be in space. No, yeah, he, way more he's, likely he's to be saying in space. Yeah. Before entering the surface, you're more likely to be inside the planet. Just yeah. But like um, one one common uh, misconception is like um. Uh, how sparse, let's say, uh, asteroid fields are. Like asteroid fields, um, there's tons and tons of asteroids, like millions of them, but they're so far apart that it'd actually be very difficult to hit one. Mm -hmm. It's kind of interesting. He, well, I mean, it's funny because well, that's bullshit. Not just that he was ported to a place <laughs> where he could live, but also with people who are like super powerful and think of him as a god. It's like nice. Yeah, you got yeah. you got to keep narrowing it down. Like he landed, he was able to transport onto the surface of a planet. It's like okay, that's very fortunate. And this planet happened to be one that could sustain life. It's like wow, that's very fortunate. And then um, there has to be people on. Not only can it support intelligent life, there has to be intelligent life on it. Like, okay intelligent life that is close enough to his proximity that they meet okay and they speak the same language okay wow damn all right um also they have incredible powers and think he's a god because he happens to share his likeness with a god that they happen to worship like wow like whoa ooh, boy and i guarantee you the response to this from chris Chim will be like well this coincidence in real life True. Problem solved. Yeah, there you go. There, I agree. Yeah, contrivances don't exist. Yeah, the, that's just... It's so astronomical, it's beyond... You can't even put it into numbers, I, I'm, I'm certain. Like, just the idea that of the 99.99999% yeah. of space, which is empty, you, you happen to land on the surface of a planet nearby the two people who could enact your plans who also worship you for some reason it's like okay cool well it makes for really good storytelling i'd say yeah it, what you yeah, fail to understand is that the emotion is what's important not whatever you guys are nitpicking right now yeah if it wasn't amazing odds then we shouldn't be amazed that it happened exactly yeah. this guy knows what's up so the less believable that it is, really, that means the more amazing it is. Mm-hmm. Which means bigger payoff. I saved all of the people from the droids. I'm a hero. Uh, IG-88 is my favorite bounty hunter. That's fair. That's fair. Pretty neat looking. Big onion. Hi, Mubshly, Ragu, and Indiegogo. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. I've never played Dark Souls or Bloodborne, but the races are really fun to watch. You should do stuff like that more often. We'll probably do some more stuff like that in future at some point. Yeah. Go, Qui-Gon, in your Lego cutscene. No, they're playing the music again. Snap it. I specifically chose the option to not play the music, and yet here they are, playing the music, getting me in trouble. Blah, 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 blah. I can't even skip the cutscene. That's the true evilness of all this. I just have to keep talking to make sure it doesn't overpower. There you go. So like they uh, flattened the music on the cutscenes so you can't you can't turn it off? Yeah. The game is That's a little rough. old. I suppose I couldn't expect them to have all of the options. I got the Super Nintendo version of Star Wars flagged for copyright music. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing with Star Wars games. They fill it with Star Wars music because why wouldn't you, I guess? Yeah, I was just surprised that the Super Nintendo music, like, that's so far removed from John Williams' uh, yeah. original stuff that it's just, I'm surprised <laughs> that that came up. <laughs> it's like bleeps and bloops. Those are copyrighted bleeps and bloops. <laughs> uh, Rags, you'll be proud of me. I uh, went and started replaying uh, RE4 after our conversation. Ah. And uh, um, really liked it. It's good. I, oh, is it, it the first time you played it, or...? No, no, I, I played. I actually played it. I was gonna stay quiet during the stream, but I, I played it first on the Wii, <laughs> right well. after I said the Wii's the, the worst version ever. So, <laughs> well, you did say it was good. Of still. that game, 
yeah, it's, other, still other good. Game. it's just yeah. the worst version of the game, yeah. Honestly, like the controls a lot, but I could see that you could basically just waggle, waggle, stab with a knife and and makes it really overpowered. But um, yeah, no, I was enjoying RE4. I did like a, um, a reshade, kind of give it a different uh, color grading, kind of moody atmosphere. And uh, I thought of you when um, I started opening up the uh, boxes and the snake popped out. I'm like, oh, yeah, we had that conversation about the snake. And oh, I was like, yeah, uh-huh. We talked, talked about the snake in a box. Mm-hmm. Snake in a box. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that was funny. OK. And then, yeah, I, then sure. like every single box after that had a snake. And I'm like, god damn it, Rags. <laughs> hmm. I blamed you for all the snakes. Only fair. I I merely warned you of the snakes. Oh no, droids! Hey, I, I didn't notice that before, but the I forgot that the snakes were actually uh, would swim through the water too. Kind of funny. So they it, the first snake you find in a box is almost like a, a, a foreshadowing what's going to happen next, I guess. Yeah, they don't want yeah, you to feel you too safe. Of church, yeah. But they, yeah, there are sections where the, yeah, they, they will swim in the water, but the, the snakes will swim. They will, they are there on the top of the water, swimming around, just being snakes, just mm. slithering around, swimming on the water. Come on, Qui-Gon, use the force. You can do it. Man. Give me the target. There we go. You remember this part in the movies, Rags, where Qui-Gon has a big old boss fight? By throwing things back at Darth, Darth Maul. Pretty neat. I say to so myself, they've recreated it perfectly. Come on, Obi Wan, you can do it. Oh shit! Let me. I gotta take care of this now. <laughs> Darth Maul's like, now that you've killed my four battle droids. Ugh. Oh, here come four more. They're about to be four mer. <laughs> I like how they try to drum up the battle droids as a threat, and then literally one of the lines that Qui Gon says is like, "They won't be a problem." It's like, "Oh, I thought I was a little I was getting some tension there." Thanks for uh, dispelling that. <laughs> yeah, the the super battle droids seem pretty good, but battle droids. Yeah, they could. Oh, they must yeah, be they, so cheap. Could, yeah, like the ones as in the shields. Yeah, yeah well, droidicas are actually good. <laughs> They even call them destroyers. Yeah. You should call them destroyed. Got him. Can't handle it. It's so good. Just I know. It today. So, um, but enough about me. Uh, do you ever get tired of seeing that press start blinking up there? No. No. Okay. It's pretty faint. I don't mind it. You're gonna do some whole infomercial spiel. It's like, are you ever tired of seeing the start button at the <laughs> top right part of the screen? Well, You've the, got the way product it, for you. I assume they do it literally because they're like, co-op, 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 do it, do it, do it, split screen, yeah. And it's like, yeah, that's nice. Why isn't it online though? Not this game in particular. Just they never, they never did it. It's an old holdover from arcade games. Every arcade game used to have yeah. that to get the the second player to pop in more quarters. So I, I guess they just kind of continued that trend. Kind of neat, I guess, but a little annoying. I I can accept it. I I'm very I'm a kind god, you know. What are those things up there? Those white floating things. White floating things. On top of the ship. Oh, uh, the mini kits. Ship. You played this before, haven't you? It's been so long. They're the uh, the collectibles. The like the most important, I think. Good idea. Oh, I, I wanna... see. I don't want to upset any Lego, you know, pro Enthusiasts. players. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, Mooley, how did you and Fringo watch Buffy and Angel? I bought the full DVD sets for the non-remastered version. Hope to not be swapping discs every episode for chronological order. You might have to do a little bit of that um, at certain points. You can find guides online um, for how to get it in chronological. It's um, it's rewarding. Trust me. Uh, you'll, there's a lot of payoffs that you'll otherwise have been like, oh, I would have missed that. Um, you know, hopefully it works out. And I would recommend watching with a friend. I have someone you can chat about the episodes as you go through. It'll make it more fun. Rags, you being a sussy baka? <laughs> a sussy baka? Not like Chewbacca's suspicious mother. 
It's a uh, Among Us reference, I think. Uh, oh. Well. There you go. Oh, Darth Maul, what are you doing over there? Recently oh. saw this, so. <laughs> If only that had happened in the movie, it would have been a bit embarrassing, I think. <laughs> Even made a weird sound like a Ooh. Which is out of character for Qui-Gon. He'd be chill about dying, he'd be like, alright, let's do it. Tell Mola to play the PC version, it might happen. No, we're playing the GameCube one, okay? It's fine. GameCube one is fine. Uh, is it a problem because it's magical bullcrap? Because characters have been revived via arbitrary scientific methods as well. Steve Super Soldier Serum, for example. I don't think that's arbitrary. Why is that arbitrary? I don't arbitrary? think it's arbitrary. Like, the whole idea is that he's advanced biologically. And once you establish yeah, that, you get to do a lot of things. He's already shown to be far more resilient than a normal person is. Meanwhile, I feel like your brain is in this stone. And so they crush it, and, and it's like, oh, so he's he's gone, but yeah. And they're like, no, actually, he's fine. We repaired him. It's like, what? And luckily, Wanda infused his memories in because she was. I don't even. I'm not even gonna try and explain it. And even there's a little bit of a science behind the whole freezing unfreezing thing. I recently watched a video from uh, Tom Scott, and he actually found. Uh, um, the original, uh, basically the inventor of the microwave, and one of the things that propelled the advancement oh, of the Mike? microwave. <laughs> Mike Rowe Wave, yeah. Yeah, uh, <laughs> they named after Mike. Yeah, yeah, so they talked to Mike, and uh, uh, the Chef guy's Mike. like a hundred, over a hundred years old, um, but he found this guy, he's like just living a quiet life, and yeah. um, one of the, weirdly enough, one of the uh, uh, things that microwaves were used early on were uh, the attempt to revive uh, creatures after being frozen. And so they actually would, I believe it was hamsters, that freeze hamsters to freezing point, you know, uh, l you know, total total actual death. And then they'd use microwaves to uh, evenly heat them up to, and then they'd resuscitate them. And some, some of them actually lived. So there's a little Whoa. bit of little bit of science behind it. It's My really hard God. to do for big bodies, but for hamsters, I guess they're small enough for that to actually work. Steve Rogers is part hamster. <laughs> Neat. He has the superior hamster genes. Um, you, miss, it, you missed the second yeah. part of my super chat, Molly. So the other part of the sussy backer thing was, by the way, I tried to shoot a snake in RE4, but it was clipping on the foliage. Foliage. Oh, no. Not foliage. Oh, go up and stab it. Slice it with your knife. Yes. Just uh, imagine it's like, look, is that Captain America? No, it's Hamster America. Hamster man. They had to freeze him after his Kia Soul commercial. <laughs> yes. Um. Oh, hey, Indigo. Glad to see you on again. You made a lot of good points in the last EFAP. Hey. Oh, thanks. Uh, glad to be on again. And so uh, we do these every once in a while. It's pretty chill, especially with with Legos in the background. So this is pretty intense, I will say. This is going to be me versus Darth Maul, the ultimate battle. I would say the Lego form is the most stressful. He's waiting for you. Yeah, but he's he's going to wow, trick me. What a cock! I know. Roger, Roger. Oh no, loads of droids, and they're saying Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Uh. No. Okay, see you then, long man. I'm currently enjoying the Arkham games. I'm playing Arkham City, also high rags. Hi. I had loads of fun with Arkham Asylum and City when they came out. I haven't played them in a bazillion years, though. Yeah, oh, really good. Oh, I was going to mention that. Remember our conversation about QTEs and how some of them are pretty good? You yeah. know what blew my mind? Yeah. That game is filled to the brim with QTEs. Basically, their entire uh, combat system is QTEs. Literally, if you think about it. Batman? And, yeah, 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 you yeah, think yeah, about Batman. it, all the little, yeah, all the little pop-ups, those are basically QTEs. You got the, yeah, and it's you got like the dodges, you, you got the stuns, yeah. When you see, um, you know, 
people of particular colors. So it, it's almost like guitar here, right? It's like oh, you gotta you gotta do you know circle before you can attack them. Oh fucking hell! Yeah, I mean you know by its core definition, you could argue that guitar here is just a long string of QTEs. It is. It is indeed. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the true Jedi in this one. I died too many times. And can you really be a true Jedi if you just keep dying? No. You can't die now. You have to die in a little bit after, you know, Qui-Gon's supposed to ah, die. No, the blue one. No! Oh, it didn't fall off. That's good. Yeah, it's funny when you think about it. It's like, no, you can't die here. You have to get to the next part so you can die. Exactly. <laughs> it's it's the it, probably the most... Uh, uh, the best example of that is the Aerith slash Aerith from FF7 effect, where it's like, you know, Phoenix down, Phoenix down. Ah, she's good. And it's like, nope. <laughs> Spoilers. Sorry. Wow. All those people in chat <laughs> who knew what you were talking about. Oh. Well, the funny thing is they probably do. I don't, though. <laughs> I'm just like... Mm -hmm. You know what's always bugged me about Phoenix down? What's that? You know what grinds my fucking gears about Phoenix down? You what, know what just... What, what does? You know what just, like... Go like, oh, oh man, oh, this is, uh, ooh, ah, oh. So, <laughs> oh God. here's what annoys me about Phoenix Down. All right. Everyone in chat, pay attention. Hmm? It's called Phoenix Down, right? But the icon is clearly of a contour feather. Yeah, I guess down doesn't down would just look like a bush or something. It wouldn't really look like a feather. So they obviously picked the feather because that's more iconic. For those of you who aren't up to knowledge about this, dinosaurs have two feathers. They have down and contour feathers, okay? Uh-huh. Down is like the fluffy bits to help insulate them and da da And contour feathers are the ones that really help with flying. All right? It's called Phoenix Down, but it would just look like some, like, fuzz. Right? They're not the, you know? But they clearly show a, a, a big old contour feather because it's it's great when you think of when you think of a feather laden pinion, right? If you want to impress a girl, say pinion. That means mm -hmm. wing, right? So uh, when, when when you see a feather laden pinion and you stretch that shit out and you see all the primaries, right, which are like the, like the big contour feathers on the wing, I learned that shit from Sword in the Stone, right? <laughs> Archimedes. Like, man, those are impressive. Those are now when you think about feather, that's what you think about. But these fucking Final Fantasy pricks. Absolute pricks. Damn. They, they call it down, but it's contour. And I I I just it ain't right. It ain't right. It ain't it ain't right. Well to be fair, they didn't even spell their own character's name right. So, you know, the the translation localization wasn't so great back in ninety seven. Uh, actually, really funny. I was playing Final Fantasy VI uh, with my fiance uh, a year or two ago. Um, great game, but uh, one of the there's a there's a typo on one of the descriptions of the items. And instead of members, it says members. <laughs> <laughs> Still on the SNES card after all these years. Pretty funny. Someone, Jay Riley in chat, asks me if if that fluffs my Garfield. Yeah, it does. That does fluff my Garfield. Absolutely, it does. That's a good reference. I know Garfield. Yeah. I know what Fluff. that is. You also, I got true Jedi, Jedi. No, even though I died right. a whole bunch. Maybe dying makes me the true Jedi, actually. Makes me want to fluff my Garfield. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I found a guide already for Buffy and Angel chronology, but I'm work, uh, wondering what medium you guys used. Is it just DVD? Is if you ripped them from discs, etc.? Yeah, we synced online um, with uh, rips. Is uh, I believe both Ringy and I now own Buffy and Angel in totality. I'd have to check with them though. I'm not sure. Give me all them studs. Uh, in Mola's Discord, he's known as the Emperor. What animal shares the same moniker? Emperor Penguins. Mola is penguin confirmed. Well, I never denied it. And the fact that someone in chat would have asked kind of gives some credence to the idea that it's true, wouldn't you say? Could also be a uh, purple em emperor butterfly. Hmm. Wow, I'm already beating the fuck out of Mole. He's so terrible. Thinks he can beat Qui-Gon. 
What a loser. There's Emperor, there's Emperor Scorpions. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Emperor Scorpions are pretty cool. Yeah, actually, no, actually pretty Dude, cool. the, the Link move, it's just OP as hell. I know when I know what you what you when you say link move I know exactly what you mean. Maybe I should have I mean, said uh, links down a. The the down thrust. Oh my God, he's throwing things at me. What is this childish behavior? That was so funny when you got um, uh, downward thrust on the on the podcast. Uh, I, I actually uh, really early in his career he actually reached out to me and we did a collaboration once. <laughs> Hey, so neat. I got to see him much much earlier, but uh, yeah, he uh, he explained his uh, uh, channel name to me where he was thinking of the link move, the down A move, basically, but he misremembered it. It's I think it's called <laughs> down thrust, he, and he did downward thrust, and people started like making obviously all their obvious jokes about it. Pretty funny. Well, that's how you know it's, it's a also, good name. Was also Emperor Tamarin monkeys. Man, there's a lot of emperor animals, I guess. Yeah, here's a here's a picture of the Emperor Tamarin. I'm just imagining I'm um, all our character selection screen is like select your character. You know, like pick monkey or butterfly or penguin. Scorpion, penguin, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure they're all balanced well. No throwing things at me while I do this, mole. Rude. Ouch. Hey Obi Wan, you could protect me, you know. Saying. I guess that would be inaccurate to the films, so you can't do that. Even though I yeah, feel like this is already to... inaccurate, but you know. <laughs> How many hearts has he got left? Oh, still a whole bunch. Gotta tag your friend before you were gripped by the dark side. Ow! What the hell? I'll just do that to a person. Eh. Uh. Up. I like the little uh, gags they have in the cutscenes where they kind of wink and nod about different scenes in the movies. That was always entertaining. Yeah, it's their, um, you know, their chance to just add their own flair to the story in that. Especially yeah. because, like, they have to try and sum up the whole film in six missions, which is kind of difficult. And the early ones didn't have any dialogue either, so they had to just, you know, act it all out and kind of mime it all out. Yeah, do funnies. I think I like the Star Wars Lego games the best, but I do I do acknowledge that uh, I think it was the Harry Potter games introduced split screen. So if you like, if your characters got too far apart, that uh, split, break into yeah. split screen. Yeah, it was really cool because it would really... sync back up then if you reattach and stuff. It's like, hey. Yeah, really impressive. Uh, really, really cool tech. No, Lego qui -Gon. Oh my god, look, they recreated it. It's just like the movie. They're playing music again, God damn it! Rags, talk about random things. Oh man, boy, toasters. Yep. So, I I love them. Toasters are great. But oh, they're so loud. Different, if someone ever, if someone ever says, like, what, what, what distinguishes a good toaster from a bad toaster, it's generally, it's consistency. It's very, very important, especially with the old toasters, which are more consistent. However, if you're not familiar with that individual toaster, because toasters are, you know, they're, they're all individuals and some toasters will just be different than others and the way they heat things up. And that's based on how hot they get and what's the pattern of the coils inside. Then how deep does the bread go inside? Yeah, yeah. So everyone, like if you have your family toaster at home, you learn that toaster very intimately. You know how long it needs to be, you know, bread needs to be in there. You know, you know, what it'll look like when it's done. But, but... Then you, now you have the fancy newfangled toasters where they have like the, the bar with the numbers on them, one, two, three, four, five, for like how how hot it is or how intense it is. And they like my toaster has a bagel button and I don't even I don't even know what it does. I don't even know what the bagel button does. I've never put bagels on my toaster, but it has a bagel button and you press it and it's on and it glows. And I don't know what the bagel button does. What's the bagel button do in the toaster? Maybe. Okay. Actually, maybe I know. Maybe what the bagel button does is it only has the outsides or the inside coils heat up so that you i don't have the heart to stop him at this point the outside of the bagel you heat up the insides of the bagel where you put like the butter and the assorted jams and jellies and whatnots on maybe that's what 
the bagel button does with a toaster. I don't know. I love bagels. I just generally don't eat that much bread. Dude, your fucking ones. face. <laughs> so, there you go. Look at, look at Padme's face. Someone said, yes, it only does one side. Well, there you go. Excellent. That's, that seems like, that makes sense to me. It makes sense to me. I'm no bagel connoisseur, but I, it seemed like that would be what it is for me. Like, when you go to someone else's house and you're there and you wake up in the morning and you're, and you're like, you know, you put some bread in the toaster. You don't know that toaster. This is a new toaster. It's like a new person. You don't know how it's going to react to the bread. So you don't know if you're supposed to, like, leave it in there all the way. You don't know if, you know, you got to get used to toasters. And you learn a toaster. You, they're like animals. You, you get familiar with each toaster. You learn the toaster. So. Was that good toaster, enough? I think toasters I agree. Would be way, right. Toasters would be way better if they had a Whopper button. Yeah, you you ha you always have to make sure to push the whopper button on the on the toasters. A wampa yeah. Because if you don't, then sixty percent of the time your whoppers are gonna get served cold. And you don't want that. You don't want that. No, absolutely not. Rags, I completed episode one. You proud of me? I'm very proud of you. Yay. Now you can play episode two. I wonder what kind of excitement they tried to cram into episode two to make it <laughs> like, you know. Dude, Jar Jar's walking around, so I unlocked him. This is the best game ever. Whoa! Is he in the diner? Do they serve Gungans? I guess it's nice that they do. It's appreciated, I would say. So, so eventually, are all of the characters inside of the yeah, diner? Yeah, I think they just they have a little, little walk around. I can unlock huh? Darth Maul. I can unlock Royal Guard. Padme. Uh, Droid Dekar. How cool is that? Oh. Padme, is she like Kal El's sister? Yes. Or would she Pad be Pad El? Ooh, invincibility for just one, one million studs. Okay, I can't afford that. Uh, How many studs do you have other than your two nine two k? Damn. Yes. Well, actually, that's kind of impressive considering how little you've played. Well, I mean, I've played a third of the missions, right? So. Oh. Well, yeah, but for how long you've put into this game, gameplay-wise, you're almost. Well, you're almost a third of the way there to invincibility. I want the mini kit detector. That's what I want. That's what oh, we're going yeah, for. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Because invincibility, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. like, eh. Yeah, invincibility only really matters to those who can't stay alive. And I, if you guys have noticed, I'm kind of incredible at this game. So. You are great, except the time you jumped off the platform by accident. No, that was on. But purpose. that happens to everyone. I collected. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I collected a mini kit. Yep. It, That's fair it, enough. It didn't That's show up animation-wise because it was like a glitch, but yeah. No, I like it because it's because the game is essentially saying, you know, is it is this worth it? Is is it, is this mini kit worth the life of? Oh, he's already jumped. Well, no, okay. yeah, yeah. Didn't even think about it. Yeah, it's... Um, Rags, check out a game called Phantom Brigade. Let me take a look. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Phantom Brigade. By the Jedi Grapple Jump. It is mm. not out yet. It looks like it is a it is a hybrid turn-based and real-time tactical RPG focusing on in-depth customization and player-driven stories. Outnumbered and outgunned, lead the Brigade through a desperate campaign to retake their war-torn homeland. Rags, we begin episode two with Obi-Wan going to Kamino. We've skipped over so much. What? Really? What the hell? Oh no. Wow. The wow, that's like dying. half the movie is completely <laughs> <laughs> They skipped Jetster Dexter? Yeah, and oh. oh and not not only that, but like they've made a mission out of me being at Camino. It's like what? No. Where's the there was a speeder chase. Why didn't you do that? Yeah, I thought I thought surely there would be a spirit the a sp spirit chase. Speeder chase. Yeah, the whole city chase was a lot longer than the uh, fight with uh Obi, Obi, not Obi Wan. Uh, Boba Fett's dad on Kamino. Obi Wan, what you doing? Oh, I can't get up there. That's ridiculous. I'm outraged. Oh, I can. <gasps> I have a, th I have a triple jump technically, and I've never known to use it. Wow, chat, you didn't tell a me about that. Outraged. You have a triple jump. Technically, so one jump, double jump, one. and then triple jump. Kind of. It makes me go higher. The little stabby thing? Yeah, I go up like another inch, so it's worth it. It's kind of hey, a... Hey, it's always good to go up another inch. Yes. So unless like you... 
unless you already have enough inches. If you have and like it's just 7,000 inches, yeah. Yeah, at that point, you need to, you know, it you should consider fuck out. a surgery, maybe. Mm -hmm. 7,000 inches, like, Rags ego. Got him. What? In length? I measure my ego in girth. Yes. All right, I'm excited. Who knows what's going to happen in this mission? It's going to be great. Yeah, who knows? Or more likely, what's <laughs> not going to happen in this mission because they skipped half the movie. Uh, your guys' thoughts on Destiny 2's retarded new transmog system? I have no idea what I that is. I don't play Destiny 2. Now, one thing I do know I don't like, I didn't like about Destiny 2 is like changing the appearance of things. It was color. You had to, if you wanted to change, I think it was the color of your gear. It would take these consumable charges. Yeah, consumable colors, and uh, once you wanted to paint over it, you'd lose the prior one forever. And some of them were like really, really rare. <laughs> and was... you know, like it's in a Guild Wars too. You can color all your stuff. Is as once you unlock a die, then it's yours forever, and you could put it on anything. You could put it on any of your clothing items, even some of your backpacks, your gliders, your mounts. It's always there for you, account wide. Unlimited usage, and you can remove dies if you want the default dies on things. Okay, Rags, I gotta ask so, you a really difficult ethical question here. What? Is it okay to Kill walk him. into somebody else's house to hack open their um their supply closet to tip open the slot bucket and take the money out of it? Is that okay? This this is a tough one. Yeah. You asked me a really tough one. Hmm. Being a little you know, guilty right now, you know? I don't know. Oh, wait, did you not do it? Oh, well, I, I, I've I done half of it, you know? I was While I was doing it, I was like, You've is this wrong? <laughs> well, because now I've, well, I've I, captured their magical brush just... that uh, I, brushes the point, floor and reveals money. Stop? Like, look at this magical brush. I don't even know, like, what? I don't oh, know how... Oh, are the... you in a freaky circle? Oh, definitely. No, magical brush, come back. Look, it doesn't count as stealing money if I'm saving the universe, right? Um, I think it still, I mean, you're still stealing money. Um, that's just like a justification for why you're stealing money. Oh, as someone just said, I'm technically cleaning their floors. Is, does, is that better? Uh, so you get, so without them asking, you've decided to take one of their objects, clean their floors with that object, and then compensate yourself for the work that <laughs> you chose to do against their will by paying yourself an amount equal to however much you happen to find. Well, okay, closet. but I did it in front of one of them, so if they had any issue, they would have brought it up, right? Um, I've heard that silence is consent, so... There we go. Yeah. It's not, it's not stealing, it's DIY employment. Yeah. You know what? I'm feeling good now. Thank you for clarifying yeah, that. I, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling good about this. If I just, yeah, if I just, oh, if you go all the way around, it yeah. does a big payout at the end, yeah. It makes you wonder <laughs> how many, how many little Lego bits were inside of that broom waiting to be just sh shaken out. I think they did that on purpose. Hiding. They were like, we can convince him to fucking clean our floors if we just put those little weird studs inside him. Yeah, because they don't actually care about those. They're, it's not money to them. Well, they it's not money really... to really anybody. <laughs> it's just no. our Obi Wan. Oh, yeah. you, you can't buy coffee with your Lego studs. I don't think so. I wish a stud would buy me coffee. Nice. Uh, thoughts on the Madagascar movie slash universe? High Rex. <laughs> the uh, MCU. <laughs> I mean, I saw the <laughs> first one. I don't know if I saw any more of them. I think I saw the first one. I remember liking it, I think. Yeah. Um, it's been so long that I just can't quite remember. No, more music from the... I actually stopped muting it. I just remember that uh, they got so many high-paid actors for the Madagascar cities, but the people that I was most entertained by were complete no-names. Uh, the Penguins, for example, um, the animation director wanted to... Uh, was trying to cast somebody as the as lead penguin and he'd like act out what he wants the actor to sound like and everything like that and no matter who they tried casting they just didn't quite pull it off and eventually they're like hey animation director why don't you just do the voice and so literally the the, the uh, penguin leader is just the animation director neat voicing wow. his own character Interesting. He, did the, he did the thanos memes like gotta do it myself <laughs> 
it would cost everything. <laughs> I needed more time on animation, but I had to do voice acting. The fuck? <laughs> Uh, can charisma apply to forcing slash persuading someone to do something that they normally wouldn't, even against their free will or self-interest? Also high ranks. Hi. I don't think it's charisma if they're doing it against their will. Like, if you... you I, I think charisma sort of implies that you're convincing people or fooling people into doing something. Well, I, I, this is why... Um, I, I know in, like, D&D &D and Pathfinder, you have... Um, there, there's, there's the base charisma, but you have the skills... That it governs, which persuasion. are one of them is persuasion and yeah. the other is intimidation. Yeah, uh, intimidation, persuasion. Uh, there's a couple other stats, but yeah, those are the primary ones. Yeah. So, but as a whole, I guess if you wanted to be very, um, like broad, I, I bluff, still, I still think if you're well. just, well, it's like if you're coercing people to do something or like enslaving their minds, that's not being charismatic. <laughs> there's nothing charismatic about that. Well, within D&D terms, um, there's, I think there's three main paths. There's uh, persuasion, there's intimidation, and there's bluff. So you could be extremely uh, persuasive, you know, have really good arguments, be really friendly with them, you know, kind of uh, gain their trust, gain their side, find out their kind of their ruin, you know, do the whole sales technique on them and get them to think that they actually want something. Um, then there's like the, uh, uh, you know, intimidations like you do this or you're going to be in trouble or you're going to, you know, you're going to go to hell or whatever and kind of like scare them into something or or bluff is uh, you make them believe something completely untrue, but you're so convincing in it uh, that they go along with it anyway, but based on a false premise. So Maybe I guess that, to... that's all. Because yeah. I think charisma can be it's, it's like your force of personality in a way. Yeah. Um, it's not just how much people like you. It is sort of a measure of how much by your presence and your like, your communicative efforts, be they verbal or nonverbal, how much you can get people to do the things that you want them to do, which comes in its own number of flavors. Yeah, it, it's you know, you really can... specific and contextual how you would rate them versus like convincing versus, uh, I don't know, tricking and influencing. Versus persuading, versus like manipulating, it's like puppeteering. You know, it really depends. Because, like, if I had an argument and someone provided a counter, and then I changed to that, it's like, did they manipulate me into adopting a different argument? It's like, well, I mean, they gave me information that I didn't have. So, and it's like, but like this, the same information could be said in a very kind of uh, uncertain, very well, you know, timid way, or they could be very persuasive. Yeah, as well like. With it. It could yeah. be two people were going to give this information to you, but the manner in which they delivered it made it so that one was actually adopted versus the other was just ignored. And that can totally happen, but... We have to separate yeah. it. I wanted to highlight, by the way, this creature is trying to take me to where I need to go for the, the bolt, but it's the door that only R4 can open. It's like, uh... What's going on? <laughs> it's like, do you not have a key? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'll hack your systems, I guess. I completely forgot about that weird, uh, long-necked droid that led him around. Was it a droid or was it an alien? It's just an alien. Oh, it's alien, okay. Kind of fucked up. You just assume they're a droid because they don't look like you. <laughs> but you know what? It's fine. We've got a long way to go uh, with bigotry. Now she's got a long way with that neck, yeah. So. Uh, hey, Malorn gang. Hello. Hi. Somehow missed the Suicide Squad video and finally just watched it. Did you read up on any of the original script changes? The helicopter scene sounds hilarious and makes her reaction make sense. When you say her, I'm not sure who you mean. Maybe uh, Harley Quinn? Is it Harley Quinn? Yeah. Or are you talking this about Katana, everybody? I guess, maybe. Oh, well, could be. Well, because the helicopter... I assume they're talking about oh, when I Harley Quinn was going to get rescued. Oh, maybe that scene. Yeah, oh, yeah, which helicopter? Oh, I, I think we're all thinking about different helicopter scenes. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's... There's quite a few helicopter scenes, you're right. <laughs> yeah, there's the, there's the, uh, this is Katana uh, scene, and there's the, uh, the, cra the initial bad. crash scene, and then there's the, uh, the scene where I think Joker tries to save Harley. Multiple crash scenes with helicopters. Yeah. Guys, the Kaminoans are watching Star Wars. Oh. My controller disconnected, but it's all good, we're fine. Oh, okay. No. I'm creating speakers. It's going to play Star Wars music again, isn't it? Ugh. I'll fuck you up if you do it. Um. 
After listening to some patented philosophy rants, I have deduced that Fringy is a Sigma male. Change my mind. Oh, I don't know what a Sigma male is. Yeah, I don't know if that's offensive or a compliment or a neutral thing. I do not know. I'd have to go and Google it. And that do you really like think I have the time to Google? No. Let me, that sounds like I, one of those. I, go ahead. A Sigma male is a man within the socio-sexual hierarchy who chooses to live his life outside of the normal soci social dominance hierarchy structures of society. Okay. Uh, Rex, look at this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, they're dancing. This no, guy showed stopped. up and he stepped on the things and now it's party time. We'll get back to Star Wars later because <laughs> we're at Star Wars and... I have the Star Wars now. Oh, I stole all their money again. Not guilty at all. I will do more with their money than they ever could. Thank God Music That's All actually works. Yeah, I mean, in cutscenes it doesn't, but in game they just they just dance into the tunes of ambience. That's what's happening here. Yeah, I'm assuming that the cutscenes are probably just, you know, an MP4 play <laughs> file yeah. or whatever, just all flattened. They don't have the music separated. Oh my God, Kaminoians are immune to lightsabers. Why didn't they just, just, well, I guess some people say that they were involved with killing the Jedi, so, you know, this kind of explains it. It makes, it makes more sense that they are in on it, yeah. Yeah. Womp, womp, womp. What doesn't make sense is why they're uh, bipedal uh, land creatures on a, a literal planet of ocean. Maybe they moved here, you know, they didn't come from here. Maybe not all, is the whole planet ocean? I guess we don't know. It looks like it, but we don't know. I mean, why would it they build it, an entire this... base? On the water. Well, I mean, Novaria from Mass Effect, you know, you want it out, out of the way, you want it really separate from society and secluded so that you can do weird shit like throw clone armies. Wow, Obi-Wan. You just pushed past you, dude. I'm thinking of uh, Bioshock. It's like, does a man not, you know, is not owed the sweat of his brow? <laughs> Andrew Ryan's awesome. Yeah, he's cool. You hear me, Atlas? You can kill me, but you'll never have my city. Oh, that game was so fucking fun when I first played it. I was so into yeah. the story. It was one of the uh, the games that had just a really, truly unique and interesting and well thought out. I mean, I haven't I haven't gone into critical eye, but at the time, it seemed like a very well thought out world. Like it felt believable, weirdly enough. You yeah. Know? Kind of, yeah. Well, it helps that you have all these audio diaries from what sound like very normal people. Like, yeah. um, McDonough is Ryan like the, uh, uh, plumber, I think. I, I think that's his, his job, and he's just like, the pipes are getting leaky down here. I don't <laughs> need to tell ya. If one of them pops, the old bloody place is coming down. <laughs> it's just like... So seawater is colder than a witch's tit. Yes, that's one of the things. Yeah, it's... What's it's cool about, um... The pipes freeze. The pipes freeze, they burst. The cool thing about McDonough, well, this this applies to so many audio diaries in Bioshock. It's so cool. You can so he as he's talking about how Fontaine is like rising up and he's gonna help Ryan and stop them all. Then you find an audio diary where he's like, uh, "They saw us coming, and it, this wasn't like a bunch of people repelling us. This was like an army. Fontaine has been building an army because the way it works in that world, I think, is that." Um, Ryan has the security under his thumb, and he sends people out when, when people are just off course of what he wants. But Fontaine built yeah. the plasmids, and, the, and he's like corralled everybody to fight against Ryan's system, and so they, they catches him off guard. And then McDonough, when you find a further audio diary, just wants it all to stop. Oh, fucking music! Alright, there we go. <laughs> um, and so... Uh, he like, like he basically says like I'm gonna have to kill Ryan because Ryan will never stop, um, but I can't beat Fontaine sort of thing. And then the last audio diary you find of him is when he's been skewered in Ryan's uh, like main room. It's just like oh shit, that's the end of his story, I guess. It's really cool, and there's a lot of yeah. stuff you can only pick up if you're looking around rather than just even just listening. Like a lot of visuals, you'd be like ah. I think Sullivan I like is like the main detective that does everything for Ryan and he's sent after um, someone who's competing with Sander Cohen and he says like he couldn't uh, he, he killed a woman in a bathtub and you can find that and it's really grim and he says like uh, you can tell he feels like super guilty about it 
and that um, he finds a scarf and takes it because he said like it shouldn't be wasted, someone should wear it or something like that. There's just lovely little like wow. little bits and bobs that really help to humanize these characters that are stuck at the bottom of the sea. Don't know which side to fight on. Yeah, the uh, um, what's his name, uh, Levine, um, Ken Levine. Yeah, yeah. I think Ken Levine. Uh, yeah, Rational Games. Um, he kind of came out of the uh, the Looking Glass Studios camp, who did uh, System Shock games, and actually, uh, System Shock was co-developed by Looking Glass and uh, Irrational. And uh, you can see a lot of the the kind of uh, footprint of those games in there. Like, I think yeah. I, I want to say that System Shock One was the first game to ever have audio logs just lying around, and it was a, most of them were like voiced by just devs. They weren't professional voice actors or anything like that, but. It was an incredible thing at the time because it really added so much character and life to everything because people were just, you know, doing their their uh, day to day stuff and if occasionally mentioned something odd that kind of stuck out in your mind or would accidentally leak uh, information to you unintentionally, you know, intentionally by the game designer but unintentionally by them that would help you progress. Like, oh man, this 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 damn thing keeps on uh, glitching out. I'm just gonna reset the password. It's you know four five six seven. Yeah. You know, ho hopefully hopefully I can uh, that'll fix it. You know, things something like that. Yeah, there's also really fun clever stuff like that. Um, and as someone in chat has just mentioned, it's like, nah, best way to humanize is to have them shout a name when they die. Like, The Last of Us 2, I guess they're making fun of. It's just like, oh, yeah. Steven was a prick. This is the thing about um, finding the McDonough stuff and knowing his full story. It's like, when I see his corpse in Andrew Ryan's like trophy room, I'm just like, there he is. I know that guy. All, all he did to try and stop him, and he did it when he was almost a friend. Like, you can catch me standing still looking at it and thinking, and it's just like, why do you care? It's like, well, because they made me care. <laughs> like, they put effort in. And it's all optional, too. It's uh, you actually actively fi uh, finding the world building. Like, it doesn't stuff down your throat so much. Like, yeah. you get the, the a baseline, but you actually have to go seek out and find all these audio logs and messages and things like that. So it, it actually... It kind of tricks you into think that you're discovering it all, you know. Uh, yeah. In, in a good way, not necessarily like tricking you, but it, it definitely gets you more invested into everything because you're actually uncovering it all um, intently rather than just passively. Oh, I love it. It's, um, it's, it's there's plenty of things to pick up on on like flaws and stuff, but oh, Bioshock is just uh, my kind of gameplay, my kind of story. Plenty of fun. Um. First Super Monkey Ball, then Lego Star Wars Episode 1. Molly, you absolute... Oh, fucking Chad. Have more money. Can't wait for House of Ashes stream. Ah. Looks like some people do like this. This Lego stuff, I believe. The speed of chase is added in the Complete Saga. Plus, Complete Saga doesn't have cancer pod racing and cancer gen genosis level. Ah. That's well, the one that combined go. the uh, OT and the prequels, right? I believe I so, yes. Yeah, so they must have updated uh, bits and bobs. Oh, no. You know what? I got True Jedi already. I can lose all the money now. It doesn't matter. Django. You bastard. Django is better than Boba. Um, yeah, I prefer Django. He knocked your hair off. At least for now. Depends on what they end up doing with Boba. Maybe they'll make him worse. Maybe they'll make him better. Who knows? Um, how many inches is enough, Rags? Well... Hmm... Honestly, it depends. I mean, I'm not gonna say it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter as much as all the memes and the stuff, you know, would, would, would lead one to believe. Because there, there's so many aspects of the whole experience that, you know, add up, and that's just one part of it. Um... Hmm... I don't think there's an answer for that, really. Um, a part of it depends on what you want to do. Because there is a point where you're just not going to be able to do certain things if you don't have enough... Um, you know, if, you, if there's not enough of you to... <laughs> enough to of you. Certain... certain uh, well, that's why there are tools, right? You know? There are tools. There are, absolutely. Um, but there are so many different things that you can do that should be the least of your worries, really. Um, uh, you, you can always find something to do, and so I, I certainly wouldn't worry about it. Yeah. You're A-OK. -okay. It'll be just fine. Yeah. Uh, I think you can get Monkey Ball to work again. 
Probably not. We tried all the back ends. Um, yeah, boy. I do intend to get a new PC by next year. I don't really know. It depends on how everything's going with the chips and stuff. But um, that might be the time where I can really redo all of my dolphin stuff and see if I can get it working. Um, or maybe. Damn robots. Oh, wow. These things are just spawning. Damn. Oh, R4 can stop them from spawning. Excellent. You know, a lot of people don't appreciate R4. You know, he's, he's a lad. Playing. Yeah, see? Rags wouldn't say that unless he was a lad. Mm -hmm. Run, R4, run! Okay. Okay. There we go. Uh, this game and Jedi Out Outcast 2 were my childhood. I saw a few people asking me to play that. I don't think I ever have. Have you played it, Rags? Hmm. I have. Is he good? I did play it many years ago. I, I liked it, yeah. What do you do in it? Do you Jedi? You Jedi. And you Whoa. shoot. And, the, and you jump. Nice. And you force. Oh. You force yourself on others. Oh, no. Using the rape. Like, you can't call it Whoa. that. Call it the force. Jeez. Much more PC. Uh, judging by Banner's dialogue in Infinity War, the Mind Stone is more like Vision's power source than his mind. Uh, I would have to listen to it again. All I know is that it was a guaranteed death if they uh, remove it before separating it. But then it wasn't. Well, because of crazy, crazy rules. Um... For Fringy's notes on Endgame, has he taken into account that the Avengers undo the snap willy-nilly without notifying the world's governments? Hi, Rags. I think that's Hello. probably going to be the crux of his main criticisms for the world building. Obviously, talking about all the damage they do is not just going to happen anyway, but it's also as a result of not warning anybody that they were doing it. Which is kind of nuts. Ma mass starvation, just... Everything. Could you well, just think that? of the preparation that you could do if you were like, in six months we will bring back five million people that we lo oh, sorry, not five million, fifty percent of the people that we lost. You'd be like, oh shit, okay, well, this is gonna be really difficult for us to prepare. Like, we're gonna fucking... add three and a half billion people to the planet in a snap. <laughs> Get yeah. ready. Like, oh, that's a bit much, isn't it? Haha, uh -huh. I hit Jango with his own bolt. His own, his own bolt. Why are there turrets bolt. on this platform that I can activate? R4, help me! Useless droid! Uh, hey, it's the sound it. that um, Slave 1 makes when attacking. Everyone likes that. <laughs> Gotta destroy all the turrets now, you annoying ship. Uh, yes, I'm sure Fringy will be mentioning that. Uh, RE Suicide Squad, Joker originally pushes Harley from the helicopter before he gets shot down because he didn't like her making friends. That's why she tosses the pudding necklace after it crashed. Oh, that makes way more sense. Because remember, she hates him because, um... That's a plot point in Birds of Prey from what I've heard, that she's she hates Joker for ditching her for that reason. But that didn't make sense in the movie because that's not what happens. So, Joker doesn't like her because she made friends? Well, she Jared later's Joker, so... You know, anything can happen, really. Nothing makes sense, but... Mango! Eh. Guess anything makes sense when you're an idea. Shut up, Harley. Leave me alone. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and then people were like, oh, he's so good in uh, Snyder Cut. He's just so good. He's been redeemed. No. Shit. It's like everyone forgot why he was cringe. They don't. They don't remember what the argument was. It goes through a really uh, deep arc. He has the the damage tattoo on his forehead, and then the Sander cut at the end. He doesn't. So it's a really really long arc. Like he he was damaged. He's no longer damaged. Which is funny because um, uh, I think Zack Snyder said like I appreciate David Ayer's interpretation of the character. I think it's like it's awesome. It's like so why'd you change it? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't appreciate it that much. It's like, well, yeah. 
Oh no, Obi-Wan's injured. At least they didn't use the shot with him with the crown of thorns. Did you see that promo shot with uh, Jared oh. Leto's... Uh... <laughs> Someone called out false sleep. advertising. They were expecting maybe a Joker cult or something. I have a feeling somebody was like, come on, Zach, come on, seriously. <laughs> Zachary, we can't do this. <laughs> it's, it's outrageous. It's terrible. He rightfully might believe that his audience is full of idiots, so he has to be extremely blunt about some of his imagery. Mm -hmm. It's Gal, Gal Gadot saying, Snyder, no. Snyder, Snyder no. no. <laughs> Snydendorf, no. <laughs> Yeah, you know, give him another few movies and maybe we'll finally have a Jared Leto Joker that doesn't make us all go, ooh. Ooh. You know, those sounds. Yeah. Um, anyone see Tonal Dead Space video? It's almost as much of a masterpiece as Dead Space is, but it's a shame he also loves Lost of Us 2. Hashtag Seth did nothing wrong. Um, I have not seen Great. his Dead Space video, but I would hope that, I uh, delves into Dead Space's strengths, of which there are several. Have you guys seen the Speed Racer movie? No. Nope. I have. I wish I didn't. Oh. It's actually have you seen not, a, not a terrible movie. It just, it, it was, uh, it, like, it, it captures, it actually captures the high energy of, like, an anime really well. But unfortunately, that's really difficult to make not, uh, not incredibly awkward on screen. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it tries too closely to capture, like, anime, the anime feel. And, and that was, like, the old, uh, Tezuka uh, Productions, you know, uh, Speed Racer, I think, was an old Tezuka uh, anime, and it was, yeah, very, very high energy, very silly, 1960s cartoon, so, you know, it, it has a certain style to it. We're on Geonosis I already. Haven't... We've skipped so much. What the fuck? Well, I haven't seen the Speed Racer movie. Um, did you ever see Herbie Fully Loaded? Is that the one with Lindsay uh, Lohan? Starring Lin Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay Lohan. Lohan yeah, I've, I've seen a bit of it, And Justin yeah. Long. <laughs> wow. Justin Long's in a million Long things. In yeah, he was in everything. Like, take like I, I want to say like 2001 to like 2009, he was in every movie. I swear. Dodgeball. That was good. <laughs> I like how the on, the on the people also ask section, the first question that pops up is, "Did Herbie die?" <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, Michael Keaton was in it. Holy shit. We're already in the Droid Factory. What? A, what in about Her the in Herbie? Right. Yeah. What about all of the film? What about all of the film? Correct. Well, before you started this, I said, I wonder what they're going to do to try and put all the action into the movie. <laughs> it turns out I was wrong. They did the opposite. They just said, fuck it. We're skipping to Camino and Geonosis. What and Camino is not a combat section. That's why, what I mean, yeah. Why would they not have the chase sequence, but they have Camino? That's and what I mean. Camino, too... nothing happens on Camino. Well, you have the Django fight. They clearly just wanted the Django fight, and then they were like, how do we justify this? Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there there was like one fight on on Camillo against uh, Boba Dad, and then there was the whole chase. Not really a fight, but like a chase and, and stuff like that through. Uh, but I wonder if Cor uh, Coruscant, or Cor <laughs> uh, what do they say? Uh, uh, if that was just like too expensive, too many uh, assets, like a, a big city that you're flying over, maybe it was just too difficult and they decided to go stick with water. All right, easier. you guys got to appreciate this, okay? So Geonosian comes at me. I use the force. I push him about a meter away, and then I separate him into pieces. Like, that is grim. I just pull his body apart with the force. That's what's happening there. Oh, no, Sian. You guys need to appreciate that that is what Anakin is doing, and Padme is fine with it. Even if they scream, it's fine. They're screaming because they're from Geonosis. They scream because they are infidels. That's how it works. Jedi probably consider yeah. them disgusting infidels. Hmm. Oh no. Yay, more coins. Oh, I can't get in there. So this this scene in the movie was epic. And it's so cool that they've recreated it completely. I think this is probably. Wait, is this not? Wait a second. Is this not the movie? Oh, you're playing the Lego game. Oh, I was confused for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, I was thinking, oh, how does the AI deal with getting through the... Oh, okay, she didn't have a problem. This part reminded me of uh, the parody scene in, um, what was that, uh, Galaxy Quest? The yeah. Chompers. <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy Quest is awesome. I love it. It's great. How am I supposed to get through here? 
There is absolutely no way that I can get through here uh, whatsoever. This is broken. The game is broken, everyone. Can you believe it? Oh, I can just walk through it. I guess it's not broken. Maybe I've jumped to a conclusion there. What's going to give the game a 1 out of 10, but, you know. What makes the Trapper so great is that the whole premise is that the aliens recreated the ship just because they saw it on TV. So, like, the the theory is is that, like, those those things literally do nothing but just chomp for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's R2. Or R2. Might... Um. Do, do. Uh, he was born, reborn as Joker the White. Well, he, not even that could save him. Um, I don't even know if we're going to see Jared Leto Joker anymore. That was pretty much out of the picture. I think I think he was just brought in for that little teaser at the end, but uh, I mean, they'd obviously replaced him for the Joker movie. And I think that uh, I don't think he'll be in Joker 2. Well, I don't know about you guys, but when you think of Joaquin Phoenix's Joker and his uh, Jared Leto's Joker, it's not the same feeling, you know? You're like, oh, that one. Yeah. Versus that one. You're like, oh, that one. Mm. It's a tad different, you know, uh, a, little yeah, different. a little little different. Um, if you lads got the time, watch Bad CGI Sharks and Kung Fu Hustle. Kung Fu Hustle, sorry. Um, highly recommend. I think a couple people have uh, recommended that now. I want to see oh. some EFAP movie flumps on it. But you know what? I understand why. Makes sense. Also, oh, there we go. Mm, wait, can I turn it again? Ah, uh, on a timer. Damn it, Leia, I need you alive. Oh, they took my double jo Wait a minute, am I just dead now? How do I get back over? Oh, that didn't feel safe. Did you guys ever watch uh, Doctor uh, Doctor Sleep, by the way? That uh, Flanagan movie? I did. Movie? What'd, you, what'd you think about it? Um, I thought it was fine. The problem is, like, I'm not good to judge it because I don't... I didn't understand a lot of what was happening, to be honest with you. Did you ever watch The Shining? Oh, yeah, but, uh... I, I'd have to rewatch them both to know if I think that it all fits. Kind of weird. Yeah, I definitely remember Barry's like galore. Yeah. But um, I did like. Uh, I don't. I don't want to spoil it because I think they're pretty good scenes. But like toward the end, some of the what what you've called like Flanagan, like Flanagan kind of uh, scenes were just like a long, quiet scene with dialogue. A couple of those were I thought were really well done. He's pretty like, good at those. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like th those are the things that hit me hard. Like the in uh, Hill House and. Uh, Bly Manor. It's like the long monologues that just really hit you in the gut. Mm -hmm. Some flanagisms. Flanagisms. Flanorgisms. Oh, now Flanagism. I gotta make green. This is a cool little puzzle. You gotta know how colors work. Ain't that neat? Unless you're colorblind. True. <laughs> that, mm, well. Colors don't work. They're, they're leeches. They're parasites in the system. It's actually pretty good. Uh, the colors are different enough that you'd be able to tell them apart. Um, and the green one, the green and red are the, the tricky ones, but they have a green one reverse, so it's like black with green. So that would have been that would probably be fine for a colorblind person. Let me grab the thing. All right, I'm not angry. Okay, it's fine. Can I not jump on this? Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his jump? Oh. Feels like I'm so close, but it's not letting me. Maybe if I go from here. Eh. Oh, look at this. this! Come on! Let me have it! I don't want to be Jar Jar. <laughs> like, you shouldn't have to make me. <laughs> you shouldn't have to make me be Jar Jar. Can you jump on top of the three green light thing? No, it's like a invisible wall. Nobody deserves such a fate. Ugh. I assume the only way you're supposed to do it is with Jar Jar. So close. If I had the, the coin magnet thing, I'd be able to get it. Um, well, I should have had a coin magnet in real life. Any plans for a Death Note watch through? I think it's probably the best anime ever made. Don't read this aloud, Muller. I bet Rag says low bar. Low bar. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I really like Death Note, but... It's it's a, it's a thing you have to kind of get in the mood, and honestly, like the last third is not not as good. But first, I like, keep hearing that. Half. 
Like the first half is really good. Yeah, I I speak to a couple of people about it. I love I love this show, and I I don't actually mind how it turns out, but I it's definitely the first half is better. Apparently, uh, some of the not the not the Netflix adaptation, but the uh, the Japanese live, live action adaptations have a better ending. Apparently, that's what I heard from a friend. Mm. So, mm -hmm. but Whoa. I don't know. I, I I can't really watch live action Japanese movies. I don't know. They're they're kind of they're weird. <laughs> you trying to say that cringe? Unlike anime, which is definitely not weird. <laughs> yes. Anime is completely normal, not weird at all. Uh. Also, I couldn't say at the time, but Rags, that chase impression was almost perfect. Fringy's was terrible. Needed more lonely cat dad vibes. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like my impression of Chase. Yes. Fringy needs to go to impression school. He needs to become an impressionist. Mm-hmm. I hear there's schools for that. There are. They might not I'm have the same ideas, but similar enough. I'm still impressed by your Heisenberg impression. You you nailed that really really well without much practice. I was very impressed. Oh, thanks, thank you. I think it honestly comes from how much Rags really like wanted more Heisenberg. I really <laughs> want more Heisenberg. He just like mumbled to himself in Heisenberg like, Ethan, you should really reconsider my offer. He's a he's a good lad. He deserved better. He did deserve better. Uh. Hello, beautiful massives. Hi, Rags. Hello. Hi. Uh, have y'all played Battle for Middle Earth 1 and 2 in both Star Wars Empire at War games? I have played one of both of those series, and I enjoyed both. They win. Uh, which games? When did R2-D2 go? Uh, Empire at War and Battle for Middle Earth. No. Oh, well. When did R2-D2 go? But Why I... is he fucking around? I liked Battle for Middle Earth. It was fun. The second game, they changed a lot about it. Like, remember how the first game, uh, you had to build your city within that ring? Like, you couldn't expand beyond the city limits, so to speak? I think they changed that in, in Battle for Middle, Middle Earth 2. But they're both really good from what I remember. Mm-hmm. Did I think you play that, um, it was for the Xbox and PS3, the... It was kind of like a Star Wars Battlefront, but Lord of the Rings. It was made by the same guys who made Star Wars Battlefront. It was, uh, yeah. yeah, you remember the game I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I played a bit of it on 360. I can't remember. I, I really wanted to be have it better than it was. It wasn't that great, but I did like the idea of it, with the idea you could have different classes. You could have, like, the, the elf archers and things like that. You could even kind of, like, trolls and stuff mm -hmm. like that and the bigger oh, I, battles. I, I, I have become a troll. Yeah, Strikes is a troll. See, now this seems to. to be the actual way, so now I gotta go back. Ugh. Can't tell which way is the way. But I don't want to go the way I'm supposed to go. I want to explore and have my... I have my freedom! Exactly. Can't You can't take away my freedom. I is freedom, is freedom, freedom, freedom. All of you, always have. Um, also, Rags, how are you liking Apex S9? Oh, so far it's alright. Um... Yeah, I'm fine with it. Doing well. Doing better than I've ever done, actually. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, doing fine. Looking, uh, seems alright. Sweet. Oh, this was the bonus room. I knew it. The broom. You need to find the fucking bonus room so you don't miss out on the bonus room. See how it works. Oh. Uh, no section where you slaughtered, slaughtered Tuscan Raiders. Not just the men, but the women and the children too. Had to break that up yeah. where to send this. Huh. Yeah, the game definitely could use some improvement. Yeah, that's missing. And there's probably not even going to be a section in the next game where you get to kill all the younglings. You know what? If they don't but have I that, will... I'm refunding. Enough. Not only will you not be able to slaughter all the younglings, but you won't even get to say, now this is pod racing while you do it. <laughs> I made that joke earlier in the comments. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> slaughtering young Link. That's, now that's this is pod racing. <laughs> this is pod racing. Some people would say that's I insensitive. Never. I'd say you're celebrating the lives of those young Links. And that's beautiful. This you is actually that. The, uh... This is a section I played drunk once on Twitch in like 2017, and I forgot I had C3PO, and I basically was like, ranting for a while about how impossible this is. 
<laughs> so I was like, C-3PO, I got R2-D2, stupid game. <laughs> How do you not realize? Like, game design bad. <laughs> just screwed it up. That's what they did. Alright, Anakin. You gotta get C-3PO over there. It's important that you do this right. Did you ever see the youngling scene in uh, Robot Chicken Star Wars? That's like one of my favorites. Um, I probably have, I just can't remember which one. It's pretty good. Hmm. Uh, wanted to say I love going to Watto's junkyard and the first thing I see is a thumbnail of you choking out Batwoman, lol. Yep. And it'll stay that way until more playthroughs are done. The way it oh, should give be. Me that, give me that young chart. Young chart. Give me that young chart. Lord Longbone of Mubeslington Abbey. You've done a Godzilla huh? EFAP, so would you consider doing one for Peter Jackson's Kong? I'm curious as to your take on it, if he's structured, but the attitude it was made with. By the way, what have your wagsies squitches for the good boy? Oh, thank you. So nice. Um, yeah, we'll probably cover that one day. Don't know when, but one day. I remember, did, did you guys experience this? Uh, I saw Kong in theaters, and then I saw it much later on DVD. Um, they toned down the bug scene on DVD, didn't they? It used to be a lot more grotesque in theaters. Unless I'm going crazy. Hmm. I not cannot sure. remember myself. Remember the bug scene with like the bugs oh, yeah. swallowing people? Yeah, I know yeah, the scene. Like... Yeah, I just don't know the difference between the two. Yeah. I, 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 I remember it being like really disturbing when I first saw it. I mean, I, I don't know, maybe it was just at the time, but you know, I was probably like 20, 22, something like that when I first saw it. But, uh, yeah, I remember being like, wow, this is actually, like, kind of getting to me. Like, this bug's swallowing his head whole. I um, felt bad because it was Andy Serkis that they kill, and I like him. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, ah, I finally have a shit get to show my face. Oh, no, I'm a bug. Yeah. Poor Andy Serkis. Andy, Andy Serkis is awesome. Um, one game, actually, is kind of cool. If you, It, it kind of went under the radar, but um, I think it's on, on Steam. Uh, I want to say... Enslaved Odyssey to the West. Uh, Andy Circus plays the main character, kind monkey, of a, a barbarian. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, monkey. Yeah, yeah, a barbarian in like a post-apocalyptic future. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, he's got a little bit of live-action um, footage later on, but like he's yeah gets kind of flex his, his acting talents and stuff like that. And not be not be yeah. a monkey. Well, yeah, well, he is a monkey, monkey, but he is. Like, he is yeah. It'll be neat to see uh, <laughs> what he does. Uh, he's playing Alfred in the new Batman movie, so. Oh, heck yeah. yeah, he's awesome. I feel like he could nail that. I'd like to see a more... I want to see an Alfred that can punch somebody, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, I, like, I didn't I didn't love the show, Irons. but I actually, I actually liked the Alfred in uh, Gotham. He was actually pretty cool. I like that actor. I think he's Australian, if Did I recall. Sean Pertwee? Yeah, I, 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 only, I best know him from... Um, uh, what, uh, what is it? Equilibrium. He was the, yes. the father. Yeah. I actually like that movie, but I'm sure it has tons of problems. I, but yeah, I, I remember liking Equilibrium, but I'm sure it's nonsense. There's the, the obvious one. There's like a famous plot hole in that, which I guess I read up on it. Apparently it was a, a unfortunately created in editing. Something happened at a sequence. So if a, a certain scene had happened before, the plot hole wouldn't have existed. But because it happened after, because the editor didn't, wasn't paying attention, I guess. So the, the gun switch. I don't know if you remember that, but. Um, again, I haven't seen it in so long, but... Yeah, that'd be a good movie to watch. Uh, it's definitely got some silly scenes, but I, I thought it was a, it was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I liked it. Oh, dude, R2-D2, fucking OP. You can turn Droidicas off. What? <laughs> Is that ugly? <laughs> I guess so. Literally makes every single Star Wars movie broken because he could have just turned it all off. Swiss Army it's knife. Like a, it's like bzit, droids, bzit, Death Star. <laughs> <laughs> he probably actually could have, when you think about it, disabled the, the Death Star cannon or something. I guess they could have turned it back on too, but. Um. EFAP Gaming Enzai falsely accused when? I hear the game's a buttload of entertainment. I have no idea what that is. Me neither. Uh, Rags, why'd you break Mola's heart? Bad doggo. References EFAP 106. Hi. Also, hi Rags, hi Mola. Hi. I've broken. I've broken many hearts. If I'm gonna be honest, I'm a bit of a heartbreaker myself. Mm -hmm. So many, so many want me, mm -hmm. but there's only so much rags to go around. There's all. There's, there's only so much that I can do. I'm only one dog, right? True. I'm not a whole pack. 
Um, and it, the tragedy happens as a result, and it, it's nothing I can do about it. It's just intrinsic to the nature of things, really. And what, what, what am I supposed to do? That's the tooth. There's only one of me. Hmm. What? Now, if, if Yoda could pick up an X-Wing, couldn't just Jedi just fly? <laughs> By lifting themselves, or is there some lore well, reason why that is impossible? That's one of the things that explains how they can fall from really great heights. Is that you assume yeah. they can sort of cushion the feather fall. fall? Yeah, but, um, push the planet down a little bit. Yeah, but like, couldn't they push themselves up then? Um, theoretically, yes. But the fact that this kind of like um, a lot of things in Star Wars where there's an unwritten rule of look, it seems like this is something you probably do, but if we all agree not to do it because it'll ruin the stakes, then that's that's there we go. Yeah, it's one of those things that um, if you really think about it, you could probably use the Force at, uh, as it's technically you know feasible in so many different ways. Like you could pull triggers of guns across the room and all other stuff, but like. I guess in cool. until they show it, it's not in the forefront of people's minds, so it isn't mm -hmm. too much of a problem. It's one of those things. Yay, we rescued Obi-Wan. This doesn't happen in the movie, though. Oh, Obi-Wan didn't die? <laughs> well, um, we don't save him like this. This this is this is a fiction, and I can't I can't have that. That's ridiculous. This fiction is a work of fiction. Yes. Oh, right, I was thinking of Qui-Gon Newman. Die. He's trapped by like four things. I've released three of them, and now I can just be like, "So, oh, bet you want me to release that fourth one, huh? Bet you do, Obi Wan." Now let's talk about how mean you are as a trainer. Let's talk about <laughs> how you won't let me kill children. You can't keep calling them no. children. Oh no! A bunch of droidicas turned up without their shields. If only I could. Oh, I lose. Apparently. That doesn't seem right. That seems wrong. Oh, uh, no. But Indigo Jedi can fly now. Ray just easily floats and troughs. True! She's the first time we see that happen. Um. Oh, yeah, she and, levitates. That is so... And you might think to yourself, like, <laughs> well, you know what? I thought that was possible the whole time anyway. And it's like, yeah, okay, but how come she doesn't use it when she needs it later on? <laughs> it's like, uh, shut up. Ignore that. Yeah, you know how... Shut the how... fuck up. Useful it'd be to be able to float around and fly and. Yep. You found movies on the new Army of the Dead? It reminded me of what you would dream if you drunkenly watch aliens in a zombie movie and fell asleep. Ah, uh, well, we're oh. watching it Sunday. We'll let you guys know what we thought once we see it. I'm sure, it's great. I'm sure you guys are just yeah, nitpicking. Yeah, I think it's gonna be great. Who would win in a three-way fight? It's just too smart for you. You just don't understand it. Yeah. So who would win in a three-way fight, weapon in parentheses? So Chris Chan with Pepper Spray, Movie Bob with Obesity Gauntlet, and against Wings of Redemption with Pistol Grip. Pistol Grip? So not a pistol, just the grip? Is that, what, is that what's happening? I don't understand. I feel like Bob wins. The Obesity Gauntlet's very powerful. Wouldn't underestimate it. We just be able to like point at somebody and they just become like grotesquely obese. I think that's he can like convert power. people into sugar and absorb them. Oh, okay, that's good too. <laughs> that's good too, I guess. It's pretty powerful. <laughs> I just oh imagine God. like little. I'm Waste Mindu. Here's my purple lightsaber. Now I feel Where at home. Are there critters or the animals? The big monster guys. Oh, um, they didn't have the budget are we for just that. Not doing them. Oh. Come on, Rex. Oh, that sh I mean, that can't be sucks. doing that. They've even got layers captured when she was the first person to break out. What's that about? They're just getting everything wrong. I don't have that. Oh, super battle droids are finally here. Nice. Wow, you made the chains explode around her and she's fine. <laughs> <laughs> she's got strong arms, okay? Makes sense. Ooh, Ooh secret the... minicure. The muted Legos aren't uh, so C-3PO can't say, oh, this is such a drag. Yeah, they're, they're removing the comedy. These the Lego comedy. games, man. Can you believe it? It's a funnier character than you ever had before. Yeah, I'd say he's the key to it all, in some ways. I can't believe they dragged C-3PO through the dirt by not dragging C-3PO through the dirt. <laughs> exactly. 
This is like the only place we can speak honestly about these films, you know? I feel like everyone else is just posturing. They don't even know. Oh, I was going to share a story. Um, it, uh, it was reminded me by um, uh, your point about something recent. I think it might have been the previous Super Chat. Mahler, where are you talking about... Um, Oh no, I was actually a call back to um, your Twin Perfect talk uh, with you oh, and Rex, no. um, where oh, no. you're trying to you're coming up with like the most absurd example, George Lucas, uh, using George Lucas as an example. Like, what if George Lucas said something ridiculous, like the it's about a penguin in a chair? I think that was your example, right? Mm -hmm. um, would that still be would authorial you know intent still be you know valid? Is it oh okay, Star Wars is actually about uh, you know penguin in a chair? Well. <laughs> George Lucas has done things like not too far from that. Like uh, well, apparently during, um, I think it was the development of one of the Star Wars games. I want to say uh, Force Unleashed, one or two. Um, apparently he and a bunch of like Lucas Arts guys were in a room coming up with a story, and George Lucas was there and he was uh, he said, "How about we make uh, the other Sith call? How about we name him Darth Icky?" Oh, and everybody laughed. And then he didn't. Because <laughs> he was serious. Because <laughs> all of the uh, all of the Darth names are like very uh, mildly obscured, like Darth Invader, Darth, you know, yeah. Insidious, things like that. So he was like, Darth. Icky. Darth and Maul. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess Maul is an exception to the end. Maul is short for Maul. He was named Darth, after me. Darth. Darth Maulin. Oh He's doing Maulin. One hundred percent. He's going around Maulin. So that means Darth Maul's a penguin. Yes. Darth Penguin. Well, you mentioned the authorial intent. My mistake was probably not mentioning the Who Shot First thing. Yeah, there you like, go. He basically told his fans that, like, nah, what you saw wasn't what happened. Instead, it was what I said it was. It's like, oh, well, that's, that's nice true. that you said that. I don't but... think that hold up in a court of law. <laughs> but yeah, um, I met, Twin Perfect I was, a... in his own Discord was just like, wow, bringing up extreme examples because that's all you have. It's like... No, that's not all I had. I had lots more. <laughs> like you gave yeah. up. I got the JJ example. The JK Rowling example is obviously the you know, all the shit she said about fucking Dumbledore and all that post the stuff coming out. Yeah, I'm sure none of them would have uh accepted her kind of you know, retconning everything just by talking about it, not actually writing any sequels or anything, you're not not actually retconning it through the fiction, just saying, Oh yeah, actually this was that and that was this and this was that and that was the whole thing. So, yeah. Um, it's not well. This is, I guess, that's why it's a bit baffling. Cause like I've, um, I've been around the block, if you will, with with video essayists. I know about death of the author and reader response theory and all them. But the way I was talking to him, it's like he'd never heard of death of the author, or that he did, but he didn't believe in it. Which is like, oh, that's not tenable. <laughs> I'll tell you one even, even more. Uh, apparently, the guy who wrote the the essay "Death of the Author" um, went back on it and and uh, wrote a, uh, an essay that kind of, in his mind, negated his previous writing. And so people were like, "Oh, okay, so that proves it." And I'm like, <laughs> "Well, I mean, he brought up a topic. He this, just because a guy wrote an essay doesn't necessarily mean he's now he can now decide what is and what isn't." <laughs> yeah. Um... I mean, yeah. It doesn't. It was just a good name for it because it gets the point across pretty yeah. quick. Yeah, I mean it's a bit harsh, but uh, I, I I prefer like authorial intent because that's like okay, that that describes exactly what it is, um, what your intention is versus what actually is. Like you could, you could start out uh, to create a story that has X, Y, and Z, but if you are really poor at storytelling, people aren't going to get X, Y, and Z. And yeah, and does um, that mean does that mean that X, Y, and Z is what actually what it was, or was it? what people thought it was. I think it's it sounds really reasonable at first. Um, the idea that's like, well, if the author said... like, So, you know, if something obscure happens or something that's a little bit muddled and the author goes, oh, well, sorry, that, that was meant to be this. And then that person goes, oh, well, that's what it was then. It's like, that sounds reasonable. It's like, it's not. Trust me, it's not. It's not how it works. Yeah. Can't have it this way. But, uh, I, again, I get why it's like... Tempta uh, tempting at first to hear it, you're like, oh, of course, the author made it. What do you mean? Like, hmm. I think that fame simple? really, fame really probably gets to people's heads and and warps their perception of things, and so you get a lot of that with pe with creators who have lived through much of their work's fame, but like with yeah. people like you know H.P. Lovecraft or whomever who were barely known until well after they died, you know they don't they don't get to you know. They don't get to talk about their work because obviously they're not around to discuss it, you know, to a large audience, but...
Um, That's interesting. Death the author's canon, author clarifications, post-publication edits, Twitter account, etc. are not. I mean, this is the thing. Why are they saying it afterward? Uh, it's probably because it wasn't clear in the thing. You know, it happens. Um, spoilers, I guess, but I hope the Bucky and Falcon show doesn't ruin Zemo. I sense an Infinity War to Endgame Thanos-type transition to generic supervillain. I think we got through it um, relatively we unscathed. Yeah, I mean, Zemo was, yeah, he he did all right. He has done way worse. I mean, uh, I'll settle for what we've got. With him, at least. Okay, well, look Otherwise. here, look, listen. Wings would knock your teeth out with a mag light, then scoff down your insides like the succulent Wendy's chili real talk. Better oh start appearing God. offline from now on. <laughs> Again, we need a documentary on Wings at some point. That needs to happen. We'll try and, you know... We'll try and fund it, but I don't have much hope on it. I don't know what's gonna happen. They could call it Wings of Depiction. Or, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> just call it just Wings of Star Wars Story. Could, just call it Pathetic Fat Mean Man. <laughs> that will be the name of the documentary. It's like you're willing to pay him to make the documentary under the proviso that he allows that name. He's like, mm, yeah. really though? <laughs> like, well. Yeah, well we, can call it, we can call it Jerk in a Chair if you want to do that. But... I think uh, Frederick Nelson did a down, down the rabbit hole for him. He did indeed. Probably a little yeah, bit out of date now, but yeah, this stuff is pretty good. I should have been a Jedi. I regret this decision. Look, Padme, you're cool, but you're not that cool. You're not Jedi cool. She's not, though. She's not cool. But cool is relative, okay? Everyone has a little bit of cool. Even Hitler had a little bit of cool. That's true, yeah. And I would say cool is, cool, it's like Resident Evil, cool is umbrellative. Ah, oh, look at you, doing their memes. Oh my god, he came onto the platform, what a psycho. Wow. Can't handle this, so, so much pressure. Give that, oh god. Anakin, can you give me a hand here? Jeez. Can you give me a hand again? <laughs> Anakin? Which, you know, maybe that's offensive because he does lose his hand, so. So, so someone does need to lend him a hand again. Yes. Uh, reminder, predators came to Earth seeking the superpower of autism. Just because someone writes up an idea does not make it a bad idea. Yeah, Doesn't mean it's not happens. a bad idea, sorry. Yeah. Um... If someone said, like, try and execute that idea, I'd be like, I think you've already gone too far with it. Like, we need to roll it back. If the idea was, can we alter the Predator's history to be something else? Like, maybe. We're gonna have to try and keep it in line, though. Why? Why do you want this? That's, yeah, it's just like, yeah, maybe we could, but... <laughs> Why? What's the angle? What do you want? I rescue Obi-Wan. God, I'm like the best Jedi. Everyone's been watching that that entire time. Yeah, I mean, they didn't really help. Also, I've been killed so many times, but I already got true Jedi, so it doesn't matter. You can't prove otherwise. Oh. Oh, I died again. Is oh, it about God. how many studs you collect? Yeah, and as soon as you pass it, you're good. You don't have to keep it. What a shot. Evap quote a context out of context without the day. Efap quote without context of the day. There's English. I feel like you're an adequate yet sloppy lover. Rags to Mola. I remember that. Oh my. I usually expect not to remember the quotes, but I remember that one. That was. Hmm. It was something to do with Welsh, I think. That's that's, that's all I got. I'm sorry. Oh, it's like special red droids. I see. Um, I caught up with EFAPs the third time now and wasn't even bored. Also, I started from the start again because what else am I supposed to do? You'd think it wouldn't even necessarily be possible, but they can do it.
Um, you guys watch the Chris Chan documentary? It's really good. I considered it, but then I saw that it was a bazillion years long, and I was just like, how is this even possible? And it turns I mean, out... I don't care that much. The, um... Well, I, this is the thing. If it were, like, a one-hour video, I'd probably entertain it, but I don't know if I want to watch... Maybe. Like, yeah. that much on Chris Chan. I, I gave up after I saw it with, like, 17 parts or something like that. I'm like, my god, man. <laughs> It's like documenting Chris Chan's entire life, and I'm just like, I don't know. I'm sure it's amusing, also tragic, but I don't know. Did you ever see that, uh, when somebody turned the name of that really, really long uh, Welsh city into a song? You ever, see, or ever seen that video, Mahler? Um, the Lanfair... So -so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 go, go, go. You know, that one. I don't think I've ever heard of anybody trying to put it into a song, but, you know, it's brave of them, yeah. I would say. There's there's a song. It's actually really catchy, weirdly enough. It's uh, like, should be the, na the national anthem, I think. I heard I was wrong about Do You Bleed Martha and came as fast as I could. I don't know what that is referencing exactly. Hmm, me neither. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yo, like, in what way, yeah. Deadwing yeah. Dork did a stream where he mentioned EFAP and covered a terrible video by Neo Jesus. Recommend getting YMS on if you ever cover it. Um, yeah, maybe. You know maybe. Oh, my, my, oh. Uh, Mola, why are we here? Just to suffer? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. That just, it sort of, it just tends to happen. Mm-hmm. You should really watch it. Chris's life is fascinating. I'm sure. I'm sure it is. Well, there's all kinds of ups and downs, craziness. Ups and rounds. Maybe one day. Who knows? Maybe there's like a really good episode that I'll watch. I could have swore uh, uh, Frederick Nutson did one on him too. If I recall, I could be wrong. Those good chance. ones are usually pretty good. Yeah, he, those ones are usually. Under an hour, or if it's over an hour, it's not yeah. that much over an hour. It's like a one-parter. Has he uh, has done any lately? I I follow him. I haven't seen him post anything for a long time. Um, mm. Either YouTube's kind of like a you know not recommending, or maybe he's taking a break. Yeah, it could be. Um, Rags, he's just a hate machine, and he won't work for nobody. But insert reference. Yeah, baby, you got to sing it, Mola. Also, told Gary about that meme. I am so lost. I, I, I assume it's a reference to something I should recognize. Maybe Chad can help me out. That's probably contextual. <laughs> yeah. You see, I'm under so much stress right now trying to find a red stripy droid. Like, has anyone ever faced this kind of difficultness? I don't think so. But I will keep an eye on chat. Who are, um... Characters suffered through more pain than, uh, than what's his name looking for a red stripy droid. I'll wait. Yeah, I don't think they can. I don't think they can. 2K losers had their chance. Oh. I remember that, yeah. That was another, Twi Twin Perfect says a lot more inflammatory things on Discord than he did in the call. A lot of people yeah, like I, that, and that's fine. I miss, I miss that, but uh, when you referenced it on the other Super Chat, I, I watched a bit of it, and it's amazing how he, how kind of two-faced, in lack of a better word, two-faced <laughs> it was, where he would just, like, say all this stuff and, like, kind of puff himself up and amongst his allies and you know discord and then he was like weirdly kind of uh he'd always back down and uh, you know try to be agreeable and everything in person it's like he well you know, he was full of contradictions they were really funny the one that i think rags you you, you enjoy this one quite a bit is the uh believes in death of the author zero percent but at the same time demands that his video speaks for himself and he doesn't need to cover yeah, it at all just, yeah definitely one of the one of the goldies for efap never forget it Never forget that happened. And his whole video was about the outrage he had for people who were getting facts wrong. It's like, okay, I can understand that. And then he comes in, I'm like, so you got this shit wrong. And he was like, yeah, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Like, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, even even if it's just like, oh, you know what? I messed up. Like, that's a better that's a better take than just, you know, completely having no standards whatsoever. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's ongoing for us. It's the whole, like, people like the whole trying to be objective about cause and effect thing right up until it gets in their way. And then they're like, actually, no, fuck that shit. Can't you appreciate movies for their emotion? And you're like, oh. All right. 
Yeah, you actually, uh, I haven't watched, I think you did a, an EFAP on it. I have not actually watched that episode, but I think you uh, broke down Interstellar at some point. Um, I really like Interstellar, but I the whole um, love angle thing at the end really always took me off, even when I first watched it. And I'm sure also you probably talked about the uh, the, the mountain waves on the water planet. So um, I used to piss people off quite things. a bit when I kept saying Interstellar was terrible, and I wasn't giving them yeah. like my breakdown because I was going to wait for it. But I eventually like started just saying the summary of how they solved the issue, quote unquote, in the end of the film. And I feel like yeah. that is enough to embarrass the film because it's so stupid. Um, but there's lots more that's wrong with it, and I do intend to make something for it one day. I'd like to be a part of that conversation if, I, if there's no putting, because I, I, I really, really like the film, despite it having a really, really stupid aspects to it. Because there's like some really smart aspects to it too, like uh, in terms of like technical execution. Like I probably argue it has some of the best uh, outer space, you know, physics uh, action of probably any movie. Like way better than movies like uh, Gravity and stuff like that. But yeah, the whole, um, what really upset me, even my first watching, was the idea that um, uh, Coop uh, correctly said that, hey, you know, using love to solve the problems <laughs> in the universe is kind of dumb. He literally said, he literally tells uh, Anne Hathaway that, and it's like, okay, cool, yeah, that's that's dumb. And then later on, he does it. <laughs> it's just kind of like, ooh. Yeah, well, the, that's what the film's message. about, is that love is possibly the most meaningful and powerful thing in the world, and that we should appreciate it that way. A lot of people get a lot of meaning out of that, but I think it's absolutely retarded how that's contextualized. It's like actually navigating space through love. It's like, what in the hell are you talking about? That's not how we yeah. do anything. Yeah, I mean, you could read into it and say that, oh, he's using the advanced technology from the future humans, whatever, and that's just his interface for it, but uh, it doesn't... <laughs> It doesn't. It, 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 it kind of makes you fill in the, the blanks, so to speak, with that. It, well, you have to do a lot of interpreting with that one. Yeah. They, uh, they spoke to him in the fourth dimension, in the library of time or something, and he put binary code into a watch through time. I was like, you've lost me several times already. Hey, people loved it. Bells. See? I loved it. Yeah, that's good stuff. Oh, I will I'm, say though, I'm I'm gonna have to be heading off in the next uh, probably five to ten minutes. No problemo. Um, I'll probably I'll go for a little longer, and any that are directed at you, I'll keep for you. Um, Yo, Kidoki. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any of you see the doorman? It's all the greatness we miss of Kate came with amazing soundtrack. Uh, we plan to watch it. We've not seen it quite just yet. I hope it's fantastic. I do. Um, I missed like three videos on Moolah because YouTube changed notifications from all to personalized. Make sure to check your settings. Chat, YouTube sucks. Agreed. Ring that bell. Um, that's the thing. I, I figure people will do that if they want it anyway. So like, I don't tend to tell people to do that. But at the same time, it's like YouTube, can you please just make things work the way that they're displayed to work? I yeah, subscribe to someone, little... therefore I would like to know when they upload a video. It's not complicated. You gotta make a little animation that pops up uh, every three minutes in the video that has a little click, you know, click the subscribe, click the drop down, click the bell. Yeah, that's what YouTubers are supposed to do, right? Just make that little animation and it will pop up window every every few seconds. Yeah. Uh, finally watched The Prestige and good fellas, good shit. Yeah, yeah. Both, both are pretty awesome. Uh, using the word uncowardly irks me as the word they're looking for is brave. Um, have we ever covered someone who said that? Because uncowardly does come across as strange to me. I don't remember if anyone said it in front of me. I feel like I would have flomped it, you know? I would have pointed it out, been like, what's that about? Uh, hashtag I stand with Mac of the Toxic Brood. And I, I just don't know who is referencing you. Lack in that context. Oi Morley, you liar. You personally told me that this EFAP was going to be you showing us why Civil War is inferior to Iron Man 3. Rags, love me tenderly. Oh, well. well I mean, it's definitely a possibility, but who knows, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, EFAP plus crocheting plus T equals an evening well spent. Well, that sounds nice. 
you having fun with your crocheting. Um, I hope you had a great week so far. Simola, have you had a good Tuesday Thursday as well? Also, hello Indigo and Best Sheeb. Oh. Hello. Yeah, my Thursday's going well. It's only been two hours into this Thursday, but you know, it's something. Maybe. Um, I hope that one day when you upload the complete video of the TFA Critique series and it ends up being 12 hours long. It'll happen. The whole thing's written, and I look forward to redrafting it too, because I can give it the old nibble-nabble improvements and, uh... Ma you see, Mahler's a freak. He likes, he enjoys and looks forward to redrafting your <laughs> script when everyone knows that YouTubers are not supposed to do that. If you yeah. write a script at all, you're supposed to write it sort of haphazardly and just... Uh, uh, Maybe you'll, I don't know, you just say it, and whatever, just fuck it, get it out. It's fine. That's the way to do it. The best advice. It's not like, you know, book writers redraft or get editing or anything like that. It's all like, first, first draft, publish. Oh my god, this I mean, controls like ass. Ah. I hate this level already. Oh, this is what the person was talking about, the shitty Geonosis level. This is what it was, wasn't it? Already, it feels horrible. Yeah, you can definitely tell that they didn't spend as much time on the, uh, the vehicle sections. Ugh. It doesn't feel right at all. What even? It's like you push forward, but you go in diagonal. Ugh. Oh, I'm dead. Wait, why did I go down? I'm a spaceship. That doesn't... <laughs> why? There are holes I can fall into, even though I'm a spaceship. I don't understand that. Also, I can't collect that? Okay. Oh my right, I'm goodness. I'm gonna leave that here. That's the results of our poll. That I thought were interesting. Let's have um, a look at this. Yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. We got undecided if it's good or bad, but I like it. Is the top result, 50% of all votes. And then coming up next is 15% of all votes with it's objectively good and I like it. And almost a draw with the the next up being a subjectively bad difference, but I like yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, um, so it's pretty much tied. It's uh, people liking it but thinking it's subjectively good and liking it but thinking it's subjectively bad. Interesting. The lowest vote hmm. was it's objectively good and I dislike it. Well, the top 3 of all the six options, the top 3 are the I like it's and the bottom 3 are the dislike it's. So it's Seems that it certainly seems to be that this is a a, a liked section of the film. Which doesn't surprise me. This, this is actually ass. I hate this, by the way. This fucking mission. What the hell is happening? Give me back the pod racing. That was way better. Ugh. Anyway, I'm I'm going to head on out. Uh, but I will see y'all later. Are you are you Gonzo's for the day or? Um, I might be back late tonight, but I need to go and do a couple things before tomorrow. Um, That's all good. So, maybe. I don't, I'm not sure how long it will take, uh, but if I'm back, I will let you know. Yes, sir. I probably won't be back for the stream, though. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, well, whatever you're up to, have fun, and we'll catch you around. Yeah, I will see you later. I can't see even... See you, dude. <laughs> I can't imagine having to collect the fucking mini kits in this mission. This is actually cancer. Like, I'm yeah, just hoping like, I, can I can shoot enough that I collect enough coins that I can get what I need to fucking have the true Jedi. That's what I want. I'm just, uh, I don't remember how this plays, but it just looks like your ship has so much acceleration, deceleration, where it's just very slow to react to your movements. It's not, it doesn't feel right at all with where I'm aiming. If, Feels yeah. all wrong. This feels like one of the oldest vehicle sections of the LEGO games because it just feels like ass. Oh, now look yes. what I'm doing. This is something, I guess. Is it just collecting coins for me, too? I can't really tell. I say coins. They're not even coins. <laughs> I'm misrepresenting. Collecting uh, Sonic Rings. Why are you saying Welshman instead of Welshman? Welshman? I say man for everything. That's, that's a favorite of mine. Um, I have a cynical theory that Hollywood knew about the virus, hence most 2010s films are rushed first draft scripts to cash in before theaters closed. Uh, I don't know about that. Didn't they? Didn't loads of shit go wrong for Hollywood with this? Like, they've delayed the shit out of lots of things. I don't know that this is something they accounted for, you know? Yeah, it went really wrong for Hollywood. Like, they lost a lot of money. Like, 
you know, the Oscars w- w- had half, literally half their attendance this year as the, the previous year. Um, they would have had a little bit of a, of a head start, though, because technically I think COVID was announced uh, worldwide um, in late 19, uh, 2019 before it became like lockdown time in the States and other places in early 2020. So they would have had a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, forewarning, I guess, but yeah, I don't, I don't believe that. That's a little bit far-fetched, I think. Oh, I was supposed to be doing something else this whole time and I didn't realize. Whoops. I think we lose. Also, this shoots as fast as you can press the button. That's wonderful. Look how oh, fast you can do this. Things. Yeah. <laughs> This is why I was like unbeatable on the button press things from Mario Party. Oh god, yeah, I always I always get those too. Um people get so frustrated. But I'd probably give me I was like border on giving myself an aneurysm whenever I'd like, smack the button so hard so fast. It, it turned into almost like a um, almost like a, a spasm rather than an actual yeah. button press. <laughs> you move on it's like you force a seizure in your arm and then you can do <laughs> yeah that's the way you're like you're like wow you oh, you won you're like you know like drooling on the floor <laughs> <laughs> i got the points that's what matters <laughs> you know what i'm close to true jedi i think i can do it oh we're running out of time though come on What? Ugh. This game's full of that shit where it's just like, you were too late. It's like, was I though? It was like, mm. <laughs> I wonder what the Lego de uh, game developers are doing nowadays. TT Games used to be like. the tits for a while. I haven't seen them make a game for quite a while, actually. Yeah, uh, Telltale, you, you said, right? It's Traveler's Tales, yeah. Oh, Telltale right. is the guys who did the. Um, like the Walking Dead and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Tra Travelers Tales, those guys who did all the Lego games. Oh. What's that English? Oh, I should have done it to begin. Just circle around, kill them all. Oh no, they're making the Skywalker saga, like us <laughs> Star Wars. Oh no. That's probably that... good though. Like, cause Lego, oh. you know, they can be fun. Oh, okay. It's 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 OT. Okay, cool. They're making a new. Uh, they're making Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga. So they're making well, a brand new OT. Like, well, it's all of them. It's the nine movies, I think. Oh, are they? Oh no, yeah, I didn't get True they, Jedi. Ugh. Yeah, they considered that part of the Skywalker Saga too. Oh no. Okay. I guess I have to play this mission again. I didn't want to, but what can I do, guys? What can I do? I hated this part. Yeah, that mission was awful. But we can't be going through these levels not getting true Jedi, because that is not what a true Jedi would do. Oh, that's not what I want. Vehicle, uh, kind of uh, haphazard vehicle sections in these Star Wars games are always kind of tough, because they, you could tell they put about like 5% of the development time into them <laughs> compared to the rest of the game. All, the, oh, all they didn't, the but jank. it just couldn't translate, you know? Yeah. Like, but they kept trying to make it work, it was just, it was ass. I can believe that too. I grew up with the uh, the SNES games, and I loved how much variety there was. There was like, you know, you could ride a Tauntaun in the snow. You could, you know, ride your speeder through the desert. And yeah. There were like uh, in parts where you're like flying through the Death Star and stuff, but it was SNES tech, so the mm -hmm. 3D sections were very rough. I so. swear to God, they try to kill you when you don't, when you're not on land, and it's like that's dumb. I'm in a spaceship. I mean, that's so annoying with that guy following you and shooting you from behind, and you can't shoot any other direction. Yeah. Well, how are you supposed to take that guy out? Maybe there's a control I'm missing. The, the dude's on the ground. Oh, it's so annoying. It's all annoying. This would have been better as like a like a Star Fox kind of sequence, I think, where you're like flying around. You're like on rails, but you can kind of move around horizontally, vertically. I think that could probably work. Yeah, they, they needed to to not be the way that it is. I know that much. <laughs> Let's start there. Uh, yeah, box quote. This needed to be not be out is. Uh, anyone see Phone Booth? Just rewatched. Pretty good. I haven't seen that in forever, but I remember liking it. I saw that on Netflix way back when. Yeah, I liked it. Uh, I like the, I like uh, 
Colin Farrell, or like uh, Keith for Sutherland. He's he's yeah. the man. He's good. Got a good voice. You do. You do indeed. Oh, I maybe got all the mini kits. That could make up for the fact that I died. Uh, or didn't get true Jedi, rather. <gasps> Why? 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 Oh, you, you actually suck, video game. What is this? Like, it doesn't <laughs> let me shoot the mini kit. I'm not sure exactly what I was supposed to do there. Like, can I drop nukes? <laughs> That'd be nice. I just gotta get ahead of it. It could be worse, you know. It could be worse. Just keep thinking about that. Again, uh, I, I think some Star Wars, Star Fox uh, inspiration. You had those bombs that cleared the whole screen. That was a nice mechanic. Yeah. Where's my that? Yes, Mole. The gunship level is the cancer level I was referring to. It's awful. Just wait until the last section. I find the last section easier than this part, honestly. I think it's just because of how it controls. And I can just spam the shoot button. But this this bit, like, I, like, how am I supposed to get that mini kit? Unless it's just like, it'll work eventually. And I really hate it when games do that. It's like, just keep trying, it'll work. <laughs> this game holds up graphically pretty well for a GameCube. I was noticing some of the textures in that uh, arena were still pretty sharp. I was, I was surprised. What? It, oh, look at that. Look at the way I got it. It's just like, yeah, you did it right this time. It's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was expecting it to not let me, but then it did. Alright. Let's do it! Oh. Makes me want to play a rogue leader or whatever it was, where you had to like uh, trip the ATAT -AT walkers. What was that game? Like rogue, rogue Squadron, I think. Yeah, that's fun. I clearly have no patience for this particular part anymore. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> <laughs> shoot everything. This would be a good time for a turbo controller. Just yeah. Flip that sucker on. I'm pretty sure, because I had a turbo controller, I was faster than the turbo controller, so I was like, well, that was pointless. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I think you can technically be faster than them, because they, they do a very specific repetition, but um, it definitely saves your, your thumb. <laughs> Mole is refusing that. to use extras, pro gamer. Hell yes! Doing it the original <laughs> way. Also, yeah, we got all the mini kits, and uh, we don't have to play that mission again, right? That's how that works, please. I think the intention was to unlock the minikit detector, that's, that's the goal. Then we can get all the minikits and I can 100% this game, which I know you all want me to do, because you guys love LEGO. Um, place your bets, everybody. Which Black Widow will be released first? Disney's Black Widow, that's 100% finished, just waiting to be released. Or Axel Braun's Black Widow porn parody that's just went into production <laughs> last week? Ah. Oh. Probably the porn parody at this rate. <laughs> yeah. Especially if there's like a COVID part two. I have no uh, idea what they're doing with Marvel nowadays. I saw some trailer for like a animated Modoc show or movie or something, and I was like, "That's so weird." Yeah, I've heard very, about that. Very, uh, people are asking like too. thoughts, and I was just like, "I don't even, I didn't even know it existed." It looked. It, I thought it was done by the robot chicken guys because it looked like that type of animation, but I couldn't. I couldn't find any evidence of that. So mm. it's very, very odd turn for Marvel. I don't think they really know what they're doing right now, so. After Avengers, it was like, oh, that's cool. Let's just do stuff. Uh, personally, I like superhero movies that handle personal stakes rather than world-ending events. That's why I love Spider-Man as a concept. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with both. It's just that we've had so much world-ending stuff. It's like, yeah, I could go for some other stuff at this point. I like that too. I mean, you can yeah, you can do both, but like, uh, I still I probably would say that uh, Daredevil season one was probably some of the best because it was just so grounded. It was very down to earth. It, it, it uh, acknowledged that some other things were going on, you know, in the larger world with superheroes, but for the most part, it was just about a dude who didn't like what was happening in his bl in his particular part of the city. It wasn't even about New York proper. It was just about Hell's Kitchen, you know just a really good 
small scale. Sometimes small scale means a lot yeah. more than just, you know, end of the world. Did you ever watch those, uh, that show, Muller? I did. Um, I thought I'm season one was, was, was like decent to good. I remember season two, it was like the height of my enjoyment, the Punisher stuff. I thought that was great. Yeah, and then that's Punisher sort of his arc ends, and then the hand comes in, and I thought they were lame as fuck. Yeah, it really takes a drag on the second half of the season. Did you ever get to the third? I did, and I thought that was kind of like season one, where I was like, I like it, but there's lots of things I don't like too. Um, I'm not sure about Bullseye. I would have to rewatch it to give a better take on it, but man, he is like... OP, you know? Yeah, he definitely OP, but um, I just love how much and like probably of any show well i get unless it's like the titular character i they really 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 well developed their villains in that show like yeah every, every single villain well, just has a backstory motivation tragic history all that kind of stuff like you really kind of feel for them almost as much as you feel for the for the protagonist for reference it's better than like most tv that i've I watch these days um yeah and it's a shame that you know the I don't know, the, everything sucks. <laughs> it'd, be like, it'd be nice if things weren't so shit. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm not going to say it was better the, uh, development than, say, like Breaking Bad or something like that, because that's obviously, that's the main character. But for having a clear protagonist and a clear antagonist, they did a really good job of not only uh, developing the, the villain, but also making him somewhat, honestly, somewhat... Uh, empathetic, like you actually kind of feel for them, feel for their plight. Like they actually had messed up stuff that they went through, and you actually almost kind of hate to see them go. You know, mm -hmm. it's really kind of interesting. But yeah, uh, get a little bit into the supernatural stuff, like the hand. I, I don't like the hand very much. I, they did a lot of that in uh, uh, what was it, Iron Fist, which is not so great. But yeah, the the kingpin, kingpin, daredevil, um, bullseye, Punisher stuff I liked a lot. Mm -hmm. I was uh, the 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 roof conversation, obviously, which I think comes directly from a comic. Um, I was very happy with that. I thought it was really good. Yeah. Um. I'm only up to EFAP 78, but I've heard that apparently Jay turned into a chick. Is that what too much rhino milk does to you? I don't know that it's rhino milk, but um, rhino milk will definitely get you to see a different perspective on life in a good way, right? So it'll unlock doors, it'll open windows. Not the program, of course. You should be able to open windows anyway, unless your computer's having a bit of a tough day. But yeah, rhino milk is, is the, the ambrosia of the gods. Its power is unparalleled. Also, Dooku, I'm just gonna I'm just wrecking you here, buddy. You gotta do better than this. I'm maybe just looking around the, the, the boss room for coins. I'm just like, where's the buddy? <laughs> uh oh. Everyone's gonna get wrecked. Oh no! Anakin's hand! You know. The Lego versions are just a little different from the movie, I will say. Yeah. Just a little bit. They curved his lightsaber, though. That's neat. Oh, if you play as Yoda, you just bounce everywhere. Like, if you're trying to walk, he just bounces. He just bounces the entire time because <laughs> yeah, it's too cause... short. <laughs> I think if you, you can get him to go on his little floaty machine if you want to. Oh my god, this is insane. This is almost a meme. It's like... Yeah. Because people are like, oh, Yoda, he's just bouncing around all over the place. It's like, well, the Lego games, he really is. I mean, he did that in the movies, too, but it wasn't on a constant bounce. No. It... <laughs> this is funny. You know what? I need them studs. Oh, we're so close to the amount that it's full. Can I destroy Dooku's ship, maybe? I remember the uh, Game GameCube exclusive version of one of the Soul Calibur, uh, Soul Calibur games. Uh, had Yoda, maybe it was the Xbox version, I don't know, one of, the, one of those, they had the uh, Yoda as a special character, and he was, like, short, so all high attacks just didn't hit him. <laughs> it was really annoying. Just broken at that point, unfair. It's like, uh, Odd Job or whatever it was in, um, in the GoldenEye. 
Just like do you know that a um, random task? Do you remember that joke from Austin Powers? Yeah, yeah, it was totally just a, uh, a nod to Odd Job. Yeah. yeah, the guy who played that guy is like in jail for like multiple yeah. tortures or something. It's like, what the? Like for some horrific crimes, yeah. Yeah, the actor that played uh, Random Task. Yeah, I, re I heard about that. Isn't that crazy? Insane. It's just like, oh yeah, that was a funny meme, wasn't it? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. So weird. Oh, this force fight is getting weird. Odd Tales. Yeah, I'm a bit of a... I think I've now finally watched every single James Bond movie, and there's like 24 of them, so it's actually quite a feat. But Neat. It's a lot of them. Not all of oh. them are good. Some of them are pretty good. Did it. I got true Jedi. I am the true... One true Jedi. Um... J is a special kind of tism. Well, everybody has a special kind on EFAP, I would say. Can't confirm. Put rhino milk in my toaster and now it's a supercomputer. I not rags. I guess that's you. <laughs> guess I've now Do the Lego rags. Yoda death sound? Okay. <laughs> Maybe Yoda. Kill me, come on. He keeps attacking Obi-Wan. <laughs> He's got a grudge. There it is. Gotta turn up my audio now. Classic death sound. Oh, I just missed it, damn. Well, you can only just hit the left key, left arrow. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Wow, episode two complete already. That just that just felt so quick. <laughs> um, you know, it makes some sense, I think, to probably stop there. Like in four hour, four and a half hours, that went by quickly. Still gonna have to do a couple of these to catch up with them. Super charms. Um, hello there! Relating to Game of Thrones, will you be reading Winds of Winter when it comes out? And if so, what are you most excited for? Oh, I don't know, man. I got completely put off Game of Thrones after all the shit that happened. As for the books, I'm a little bit burnt out on the fact that it took him a bazillion years to not do anything as well. I wonder if he's going to, like, kind of metagame it and see how the reaction to his initial plan and kind of, like, cheat and change it now because people didn't like how the way it turned out. Because <laughs> I know that, obviously, the execution was very different, but as far as I know, he supposedly gave him the, the, the story beats of what was going to happen in the books. I think that was part of the contract, right? Um... I guess I don't know any of the specifics, I just know that he's said, he's like admitted several times he's kind of behind, it's just like, oh. <laughs> well, yeah, well, some people may have been able to guess that, actually. Yeah, a little bit. Um, so, yeah, that's a that's a decent portion of the uh, 127 Super Chats, and today's aren't backlogged or anything. Like I said, you'll catch me and Rags in future probably doing more of these, and I'll be playing probably a lot of LEGO Star Wars. It is a very chill game to do catch-ups to. Uh, everything is... yeah, that's about that. Imagine if the clone showed up with a rocket launcher and just shot Dooku's ship down. Yeah, that... That ship totally could have been taken down if he wasn't careful. Didn't seem very strong. But episode 3, though, that'll happen next time. As well as uh, replaying the whole game, probably, with all the characters unlocked. Plenty for us to do. Yeah, thank you all for hanging out. Thank you, uh, Indigo, for joining me for a bit. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. No problem. It's been fun. And, uh, yeah, so guys, you got a new video from me coming out Friday. And then the debate coming out Saturday. And catch-ups wrinkled in between with uh, just more things on the way. You had Batwoman today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you don't know about it, it's on Moolah. Go have a look-see. Um, uh, I wasn't aiming for the ship. Very true. Very good reference to Yes. Good night all. Have a fun one. Uh, we'll see you next time.